Uh, why are you laughing? I'm right, just happy to be here. Ah, oh, try not to uh, trip on that. Don't Is trip it? on the cable. No, scooch the little thingy up forward so you don't. This trip. thing. Yeah. It's hardly a little thing, Al. Well, I know. Yeah. There's something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we've just opened the That's show and it. we're just talking about. There we go. That's Don't want to listen. Health, health and safety, and all of that. Yes. Good morning, lovely jewelry makers. Yes. How are Happy we Monday. all? Happy Monday. Did you have a nice weekend? We've all just been talking about our weekends, yeah. and it sounds like everyone's had a lovely one. Lovely weekend. Ethan, I haven't spoken to you yet this morning. Do you have a nice weekend? Yeah. What did you get up to? I actually went roller skating. Roller skating. <gasps> Brilliant. I and were you good at roller skating? Not amazing, but I didn't fall over. Anything. Fair play. That sounds well, very good. Because I'm fairly sure I would definitely yeah. fall over. With like the, the old very school good. roller skate. Yeah, like, a, like an old school, like roller disco. <gasps> Ooh. A roller disco? Yeah. What kind of music were they playing? It, unfortunately, it wasn't like 70s. Like not 70s. It was like current. Like current charts. Yeah, not as good oh. then, is it? Yeah. Not, yeah. But I'm taking the roller now. skates though. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, did, you, did you have a pair of roller skates when you? Were I think there? so. Yes, I think they were. Yeah, blue and yellow. Blue with yellow. Yeah, stripes. mine were blue and yeah. yellow as well. And the stoppers on the front. Which, let's be honest. Yeah, you just putting go. stoppers on the front is probably yeah. not the best, is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. How many yeah. of us broke our nose on roller skates? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, lovely weekend had by all. And I hear you had an amazing weekend as well. If you joined, tuned in to Jewelry Maker, text in if you've been out and yes. about, if you've been up to anything. Did you go see the rugby? Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. So I was in Cardiff for the rugby, so in amongst it, but didn't go to the rugby. So I saw the mm. vibe. I went to see Disney on Ice. Yeah. With the little girls and uh, um, they loved it. They absolutely loved it. So, yeah, got completely stung with uh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so we got lots of Mickey Mouse toys now at Aww. home. But it was all very good. Highly recommend going to see that if you get the chance. We've got a fantastic Monday show. Firstly, we've got the gorgeous Claire McDonald. Oh, thank you. Looking beautiful as always. Thank you. Amazing kits. And I haven't even yes. had a chance to look at your jewellery yet. Let's have a little sneaky peek. Oh, it's, do you know, absolutely lovely. So um, two very different kits. So the nine o'clock, simple. Um, but really, really uh, high end, lovely, lovely, chunky sterling silver bangles. So that's a nine. And then at 12, just uh, uh, so lovely. Oh. The, the gemstones, the carvings, the, the strands, just gorgeous. Yeah, really Look, gorgeous. you've got little seahorses. Look how sweet they are. They're and those nice. are in different gemstones as well. You've got, um, yeah, seahorses carry them in. Yeah, the boy, the boys carry the, have the babies. Yes, and they're in their tummies, aren't they? They carry yeah. them in their little they tummies. They shoot out, don't they? Like tiny, weeny, weeny miniature. I, I watched a documentary once about about seahorses, mm. um, and <laughs> genuinely, and uh, there was one little seahorse. It was they they were in like a, um, I assume kind of not a zoo, but they were obviously aquarium. Aquarium, yeah, yeah. that's it. And there was one seahorse that just couldn't get the ladies. Oh, so no. I was really rooting for this seahorse. And, and he was getting on a bit. Yeah. And it was like really his last chance to have babies. Yeah. Um, and in the end, he had lots of babies. Oh, so it was happy really ending. Nice. So, That's yeah, you know, I never thought I'd be cheering on a seahorse. Yeah. yeah. Bless him. He yeah. did have his babies in the end. Yeah. Um, so, look, we've got beautiful carvings. They come in different gemstones as well. You've yes. got some lovely lapis lazuli, some beautiful amethyst. Some amazing um, stone and silver spacer beads in there as well that are lovely. And your little turtles as well. Yes. You've got some yeah. lovely little carved turtles. Yeah. We've also got, which I think would go beautifully with your yes. kids. Word. Spiny oyster. I love. I'm obsessed with this stone. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Saw quite a lot of it at Tucson actually a year ago. Um, so yeah, you've got spiny oyster or oyster. I almost said then uh, spiny oyster there alongside your beautiful turquoise. That's wonderful lovely. reconstitution. Always very very popular. So just be uh, be be aware of that mm. when that comes to um, comes to oh, air. Um, your that. deal of the day today. I'm just looking around for it. Uh, it's a spiny oyster. Sorry, yeah, but I wanted to show you the rounds in particular because, oh, no, we have got a piece of jewellery made up in it. But look, we've got the, these amazing kind of like trapezoid shapes and we've also got it in rounds, which we don't often see. Don't often actually oh, have beautiful. it in those round shapes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is coming up at 10 o'clock today, lovely jewellery makers, but it is a completely and utterly jam-packed show. We've got loads of goodies, including tools, lots of mixtures of your gemstones as well. Um, plus, it's Monday. We want it to be a lovely interactive show, so do text in. Tell us what you've been up to. 
to? Have you done anything nice this weekend or just want to say hi? Um, we're going to start the show as we always do. Your fabulous creations in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Okay, starting us off this morning, number 319 is lovely Molly. Molly, these are beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Look at those lovely yeah. colours. Um, hi, all. Claire recently demoed some lovely pieces using bare copper. Oh. So I brought the kit. Um, but since I couldn't aspire to Claire's level... Oh, Molly. Molly's doing great, I, I think. think. Amazing. Pieces, yeah. I flame-painted the copper and made these simple earrings and pendants. I think it works, but need more coaching. So can we have similar demos, please? Can Ooh. that be arranged, Claire? Yes. Yeah, I'll there do. I'll tell you what, Molly, actually, watch on Thursday because I'm trying to get a, a bare copper kit then. There you go. Then. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the kits were a great value as usual. Thank you for so many great demos and the helpful hints. Best wishes to you all. Yes, and to you, Molly. You. That's yeah, beautiful. Uh, 320 is from Elaine. Hello to you, Elaine. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, I like those. Very pretty. Um, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame bracelet made with freshwater pearls and earrings to match, all from Jewelry Maker um, and the findings. Good luck to everybody. Beautiful. Elaine, absolutely amazing. <clears throat> Good luck, Elaine. That's gorgeous. I've got a uh, three, two, one, and this is um, Janet. <clears throat> Latest make for me this time, golden rutol quartz, sterling si silver toggle clasp, and a Claire McDonald star. Uh, made for me to wear double wrap bracelet thank you for all the fun frolics and wonderful friendship keep smiling and that's from janet oh, oh it looks gorgeous janet. janet hope you like them good luck uh then i've got 322 uh, and this is from sandra arnold hi all at jm here is my entry for this week's wall of fame not made much in a while as i've been busy knitting for the grandchildren but I couldn't resist the lovely selenite and I had to make a necklace straight away. Hope you like it as much as I like wearing it. Thank you. And that's from... That's, that's from amazing, Sarah. Sandra. And I that's love lovely. the yeah, clasp yeah. that you've put on yeah, that as well. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Really lovely. Good luck. Uh, and then lastly, I've got uh, 323 three, and this is Fran Porter. Lovely Fran. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully there's been some sunshine down your way. I've attached four photos, one of each piece as it's a rectangle with four different combinations on each side of the rectangle. I think it's an agate and quartz, but I've never been completely sure. One mil and uh, 0.4 wire to wrap and to make the bale. I hope you like it and that we all get some sunshine. Uh, not too long until the clocks change. And that's from lovely Fran. That's gorgeous uh, wire work, if, Fran. Yeah, we're almost in March, aren't we? Yes, it was so we? light this morning, wasn't it? Was it was really yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, Tiggy had us up at five o'clock this morning though, so uh, yeah, <clears throat> wasn't like them, was it, Tiggy? Definitely not like them. Um, amazing makes yeah, as always. You've everyone. still got time to send your entries into the Wall of Fame, so um, send us an email and a photograph of your creation. The only stipulation, of course, is that they are jewellery maker products now. Um, remember, the first hour, Ross is back. Yay. He's back from Prague. He had a lovely little adventure away with his gorgeous girl, didn't you, Ross? Did you have a nice uh. time? He said, very nice. Did you see the sights? Yeah, bit of culture. It is beautiful, Prague. It, Prague is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, really nice city. I like Prague. Um, it reminds you of what? Krakow. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so he's back. And remember, that means your eight o'clock hour is lounge hour. Um, items are all already selling about. Um, oh, hang on a minute. It wasn't just Rossi Boy who had a holiday last week, he says. We did. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Oh, we've got to whip us back into shape now. Oh, uh, okay. What? Playtime's oh. over. No joking, no laughing. <laughs> <We're not laughs> it's being a bit tyrannical, isn't it? No eye contact with the producer. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me, right. If, do do you believe that? I can't take no. Ross seriously because he's the least well, person in the it? world. If he's, if he's trying to tell Every us Every time that. he walks in, no. Just yeah, do that as worse. he walks in. You all right, Ross? Yes. Come on then, let's get cracking. So pop onto the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, if you click watch live and you can scroll down and see all the items that are locked, loaded and ready for you to snap up. Now, remember some of these. Oh, um, look at these. 
these. I know. Oh. Some of these might be going lower. Some of them are already set at their price point. If there is anything in particular you want me to bring oh. to air, then drop us a message into the studio. And I can surely do that. Look at the selection you've got there, Claire. Oh, look at these. Beautiful. Ooh, nice Keshi pearls, well. some aquamarine, that topaz. beautiful topaz. Ooh, jadeite. Some lovely jade. Oh, I'll oh, make jade. Oh, I like um, that necklace as well. Nephrite slab as oh, well. Oh, my favourite opals are there. They're there. Oh, I know they're very limited. <clears throat> Look, sold out already. Some sellouts already. There are only six of those opals left. Oh, though. yes. Yeah. Um, so, yes, do shop ahead and know uh, and trust the fact that we will take them to your amazing early bird price tags. You've got some diamonds. You've got, look. Ooh, I like that crystal quartz, that bracelet. Isn't that lovely? $4.99. Oh. Not even worth making no. it yourself is it no. at that price point um miss it coated topaz oh, no. you've made a mistake where what was it hang on 49 pounds yeah what is number 24 <gasps> oh how have you done that then they're six mil as well you he's made a boo-boo straight away he's even shouting at us and straight yeah. away he's but you're the one making the mistakes roscoe I have to whip you into shape won't we um, snap that up, snap that up. Um, rhodochrosite, look at the quality of that rhodochrosite. Stand. Yes, it it's looks good. And, the, um, and that puffy heart that was next yeah, to it. Yeah, amazing. Well. Um, okay, should we get cracking? Shall we? Let's get cracking with. I love these, Claire, and I know yeah. you are too. Oh, oh, look at that. They're super sweet. So, no, I, every time I see elephants, I go to sing Teddy Bear's Picnic. And that's not right, is it? Um, oh, gorgeous. Up, two, three, four. Keep it up. Two, three, that's what I mean. Hang on, what's going on with my tweezers? There we are. And look how um, beautifully they're standing up. And you're getting two. Look at the detail of this little Ellie flump. Oh, and I was saying, we were talking about them saying, why am I making such a hash of this today? Um, sorry, we were saying about, they've got to be one of the most loved creatures. Oh, These absolutely flew on launch. I know I don't have many of them left. Look, you've got 20, there we go. Um, even down to his little chunky legs. Look how beautiful he is. <laughs> the detailing on his trunk upturned trunk apparently means happy elephant oh does it yeah apparently so apparently he's he's so beautiful you've got these lovely filigree details you do get both of them as well they look like little they look like little, it could be a she hey <laughs> it could be baby elephants it could be mummy and daddy elephant you know, everybody loves elephants, don't they? Yes. They are one of those creatures. Oh. Um, genuine 925 sterling silver. Heads up, we have only 20. And a couple have gone already, says Ross. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's £10 That's per wonderful. sterling silver elephant charm. I mean, you could literally just put these on a chain, chain. couldn't you? Yeah, perfect. You know, next time, and we say it every single time, but next time you walk past that, you know, charm shop, lovely, and I'm not criticising them at all. I think it's genius what they've done in terms of their marketing, but you are not going to pay £10 per charm, are you? I don't think oh, I like so. Those. Um, we started, yeah, at £15 per elephant. How about both elephants for £15 today? That's brilliant. It's isn't great, it? isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of people collect elephants. I know our Hannah Osborne collects elephants. Oh, does she? Yeah, Ellie Flumps, as she calls them. That's where I've got it from. Um, £7.50 only. Look at them. Do you know they can run faster than Usain Bolt? They can? No. Yeah. 35 miles an hour. I know. What are we doing, Russ? Under a tenner? No. They are 925 sterling silver. These aren't base metal. But it's base metal prices, you're right there. Um, oh my goodness, I think they'd be 40, 50 pounds each, absolutely. Look how beautiful they are. They've got a proper little character, haven't they? I don't know, Dumbo. I just I love the way that they stand up as well on their own. I really <laughs> <laughs> It did just stand like I got to Dumbo. It didn't even register as well, that's more worrying. No, I was just saying they're quite nostalgic, aren't they? Because for me, I look at elephants and I immediately think of, of Dumbo, the film. That's heartbreaking, that film, isn't it, it is. Dumbo? Yeah. Name some other famous elephants. Who? Sky Blue Sam, is he, is he famous? Who is he? Oh, Coventry legend, apparently. Right, okay. Uh, there's the one off the Jungle Book, isn't it? Up, two, three, four. Yes. Keep it up. Yeah. Two, three, yeah. four. Da, 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 da. The one, the little, little baby elephant with the tuft on his head. He's really cute. Aww. Really cute. Five pounds, seriously. That's an absolute giveaway deal, isn't it? 
I don't know, just pop them onto a little stretchy bracelet. How nice would those gifts be? How be beautiful. Be lovely, they, with, uh, check these out. Oh, yes. Those. Are you going for your elephant colours? Yeah. How nice would these be? Just simply on a bit of elastic. And I bet lots of us can think of people that love elephants. Uh, good morning, Susan. Good morning, ladies. I cannot, uh, I can't normally get on this early, but hubby has gone to work and Alfie, the dog, uh, has been fed. Now I can relax in my coffee. Amazing. Oh, Amazing. That is, nice. is Alfie oh, curled up yeah. next to you? Just happy as you like now with a belly full of dinner. Nice. Nelly the yeah, elephant. Yes. Nelly the elephant. Yeah. Packed a trunk and said goodbye to the circus. Off she went with a trumpety trump, 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 trump. Oh. Yeah. What about those pink elephants? What 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 film was that from, by the way? The oh, pink. They, they, were they ballerinas? Is what they dance? The dancing ones. Was it was it was Fantasia? Was Dumbo? Was that Dumbo? No, the. Was it? Was it? Yeah, when he's hallucinating. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Because he gets drunk, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well done, Dan. <laughs> um, Nelly gets drunk, doesn't he? Not Nelly. Sorry, Dumbo gets drunk, doesn't he? On the on the apples. Is it the apples? I think it was the apples. Oh. Um, <laughs> He was tripping, yeah. Um, <laughs> amazing. Well done, everybody. They're going to sell out. Congratulations. Um, shall we do... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, not what I was looking for at all. Now, tigers are, you automatically assume oh that they gosh. are... Um, you did say blue, yeah. Um, you automatically assume that they are kind of that wonderful, kind of uh, deep mahogany-like colour. Fantasia, thank you. That's what I was thinking of, Karen, yeah. Uh, Fantasia. Um, that wasn't at all what I was expecting, Fantasia. I remember the first time I ever saw that. Wasn't at all what I was... Very clever. Yeah, very clever. Um, so, yeah, Tiger's Eye normally has that lovely deep golden mahogany-like colour where you've got wonderful chatoyancy. This is blue Tiger's Eye. Um, and you'll see this wonderful midnight colour. You can even see from there, can't you, the level of chatoyancy. I love these. I think if you're a fan of gemstones like Petersite yeah. or Lavakite or Labradorite, then you'll absolutely be a fan of this. Um, it has... It? Yeah. It, it looks on your screen quite black, but it's not. It's actually a very deep kind of midnight color mm. um, really beautiful you're getting a full parcel 140 carats for 29.99 you get a mixture of your cabochon so you might get ovals you might get some sort of uh, trillion shapes or if I show you this one you might get some lovely pears all with that amazing level of quality and you can see there the chatoyancy oh look at that it is very moody, stormy. Mm. I've been watching a documentary on, um, I think it's Netflix, um, talking about sort of the, uh, the earth and its natural well, occurrences like typhoons oh, and gosh. things like that. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy and tsunamis and things like that. You know? And the reverse as well. I was listening this morning about there's no rain, is there? So places with no rain oh, need really? a bit of rain need a bit yeah. of rain yeah 14.99 for these but they have that the reason why i'm saying it is because they remind me of you know the, yes. the, the storms yes. um yeah. 14.99 i've got 20 available elephants sold out in a minute these are going to as well because we are going to follow suit with that amazing price point how about these under 10 pounds too um come and say hello as well do text in we'd love to hear from you victoria hello to you denise hello to you hi michelle wish me luck please off to the dentist soon for an extraction oh bless you dreading it it should be i should be back to watch later you'll be okay michelle you'll be all right my lovely yeah. you'll be yeah. all right You'll be fine. We'll and and yeah, we'll be here to give you a virtual, yeah. a virtual cuddle yeah. when you get back. Lovely. Yeah. That's not ideal, is it? Once they start, it's the anticipation, isn't it? That is. I've never had a tooth out, so I don't Ooh, know. I had a lot of braces when I was younger, so yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. You'll be fine, and and then just do nothing for the rest of the day. Yeah, you, bless you. Can you can, ice cream? Isn't it? Isn't that what you meant to have? Ice cream, or is that for tonsillitis? That's sore throat. Isn't okay. It? Yeah. Either either way, go with ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream's always good. We'll look after you, Michelle. Yeah, we're thinking of you, easy. darling. Yeah. In three seconds, we're taking these under ten pounds, though. Uh, Libby, hello to you, new customer. Morgan, Muriel, Debbie, nice to see you. I actually, yeah, I'm one of those weird people. I like the dentist, but I haven't had anything. I've never had a, a tooth out, so I don't know. So mm. 
bless I've you. I've got a very, very, very handsome dentist. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's not good, really, is it? It's very wonderful. I'm not sure I'd like a handsome dentist. No, it's not ah. good. It's not good, but he, he's very, he's lovely and he's, he's got eight dogs. Has he? Yeah. So how do you have that conversation? Ah. Yeah, so he tells me all about his dogs. <laughs> 9 99 So you go to the dentist a lot then. <laughs> <laughs> He's been my dentist for a long time. Yeah, he? Lovely, yeah. And he That's rescues nice. dogs. So, yeah, he's lovely. Nine ninety nine only. That's funny. I'm not sure how I would feel about um, a hot dentist or a hot doctor either. I'm not sure I'd feel no, about that. It's not good. Is it? I mean, no. <laughs> no. One of those. Either of those. I'm not sure I'd be comfortable with. Um, <laughs> Um, see where you are everybody make sure you do check out these are totally natural by the way they're not dyed you've only got 40 minutes to make the most of this price point and then they will disappear literally off the website so make uh, check them out as soon as you can if you're inspired by um, was it Fran the last yes yeah, it was, was it Fran's, Fran's amazing wire work, wire yeah. work then um, grab hold of these and they'd be perfect I think for that fabulous mm. Um, let's bring some beautiful mm. aquamarine. This is a lovely graduated strand. I'm just going to steal this bus for a second. Because all you need to do, I think, is restrand it as is. You That's could very nice. Add a yeah. few spaces in between if you wanted to elongate it. Within this strand, you've actually got the fusion of colours of aquamarine. Aquamarine can be a lovely <coughs> greeny colour too. Sometimes that's actually heat treated out of aquamarine. Um, but many of us uh, absolutely embrace those beautiful green colours, teamed perfectly with those summer's day sky blues mm. that we're all absolutely craving. Aquamarine, of course, next month's birthstone as well in this beautiful graduation. I mean, think about it this way. Uh, if you wanted to make this graduated necklace, you would have to buy probably three strands, wouldn't yep, you, Claire? Yeah, you would. Yeah, definitely to get those different sizes yeah. I mean not that maybe put one of your elephant charms on there if you wanted to yeah, or team it with your beautiful carvings that are yes, coming up at nine nicely, are they, they at nine they are they're 12 they're at 12, yes, 12 um yeah. in the 12 o'clock hour 29 pounds and 99 pence you've literally got that you know green blue green blue green blue haven't you yeah, Alter, uh, oh, yeah. alternative design so it's all done for you really Totally and utterly natural, under £20 for you today. That's 140 carats of aquamarine. They would look very nice with the... the oh, um, under the sea. Well, yeah. she was there, by the way, Disney on Ice. Very athletic. <laughs> she was, Ariel. She was doing some ma amazing acrobatics. Um, look at that. So you've got some lovely sterling silver, little starfish in there. And they shells. Are they little shells you can see there. I can't... Starfish, aren't they? And then, I think it's just like a filigree. Oh, like a little filigree yeah. detail. Yeah. How pretty. 1999, but we're going even lower. Uh, even lower. Even lower. Ross is back. That's why it got, got mixed <laughs> up. Ross, <laughs> even lower, because Ross is back. Um, yeah, and he fancies doing an amazing Monday morning deal. He had a lovely week in Prague. Did you drink lots of beer, Ross? Yeah, a few pints, yeah. Nice. Did you go out? Did you go, did you go clubbing? It's a good. It's. A, were you? I went clubbing in Prague. It was very good. I mean, I was in my twenties at the time, so you know, mm. I couldn't do it now. Definitely couldn't go clubbing now. Not my cup of tea these days. Too lazy. I'd much rather sit in a bar with a nice civilized drink. Yeah, or a nice meal. Nice meal yeah. or something like yeah. that. Or in the bath. Yes, that would be fine too. Um, right. Let's take. <laughs> <laughs> uh, totally natural uh, aquamarine. Good luck, everybody. How about this? Those cashew oh. pearls that are on the website. Um, so again, if you want, if you like this combination, we'll actually bring it next. So you could even alter, alternate these. Add some of the cashews to a, um, take That's it to nice. a longer, maybe yeah. over the head style necklace. Always, always complimentary, aren't they, mm. aquamarine and pearls? Again, alongside some of the lovely components that we are bringing you this morning. Uh, good morning, Lorna. Hello to you, Glenda. Hello to you, new customers, London. Nice to see you've got the graduation of three different sizes in your aquamarine. You've got six, eight, and ten, uh, ten millimeters. Um, these pearls will literally bring to you in a few moments' time pure nacre um, because they are your lovely cashies. Likewise, how nice would this be alongside something like your Olmec blue jade? Mm. I think that would be a nice yeah, combination. Yeah. Oops, one of those opals is jumping into my hands. Again, I think that yeah, really works, doesn't it? Yeah, the greens and blues and with the, um, the topaz. That yeah, lovely, nice. lovely. Um, let's do these lovely pearls, shall we? Because... 
they're always very, very popular, and there's only five of them left. So um, let's dive straight into that. Okay, Keshi pearls, we all know this, don't we? It's pure nacre. That's because they are little anomalies of nature. I always describe them as little stowaways um, as part of the culturing per, uh, process. You can't describe them as natural pearls because they are still cultured, even though we're replicating what Mother Nature would actually do. Um, but what I mean by these haven't been initiated. There is no nucleus bead in the center of these. They're often quite sort of flat. Um, and that's because it's where the mollusk has actually secreted more nacre. Um, and that nacre is literally formed just away from the pearl, if you like. So it's a separate, separate beautiful treasure. Widely embraced for their wonderful, you know, unique formations. No Keshi pearl will be exactly the same as another. Um, they are all, as individual as you and I. If you pop along to somewhere like Asail, Asail Jewelers, they celebrate Keshis massively and they've got a lovely write-up on their website. So I do encourage you to have a read on that. At £499, these are not small Keshi pearls. Ordinarily, the Keshis that I actually see here in the studio would be, I don't know, about seven, eight millimetres in their size approximately. Um, they tend to be much, much smaller. These are gigantic, to be honest, um, for a Keshi pearl. So again, that in itself brings an amazing interest intrinsic value and not £299. If you were to see these outside of these four walls, you'd be paying significantly more than that price tag. Um, but we're still not done though. There are there are literally five of these left. Look at those beautiful, beautiful undulations, heightened iridescence, and that is because it is pure nacre. Heaven forbid if you were to cut one of these in half, then they would literally be this amazing uh, uh, rare material, this beautiful material that gives pearls their desirable beauty. Now, the pre-closing price on this amazing strand was £199, which is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely incredible. Um, and they've sold very successfully at that price tag. We are not going to stop there, though. January this year, they closed at £199. Today, because we have five left, and that's not a viable quantity for us here at Jewelry Maker, um, we're going to bring you a big closeout deal. So this price point is only available literally for, what, 33 minutes? 33 minutes, or until stocks last, £149. Taking a whole £50 off that price tag, 25% of what was... Gorgeous in them as well. It's yeah, like beautiful. Is beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Again, I'm thinking with, with, with your kits at midday, Claire, mm. they'd be absolutely lovely. Yes, you think seahorses, yeah. your under-the-sea inspiration. They'd be yeah. absolutely beautiful. There are only five. Um, plus, you can get hold of it on your 0% interest split payments. That's a £50 saving for you this morning, but it's available literally for 33 minutes. Um, hello, Linda. Morning, lovelies. Usually at work, but today is the start of my phased Ooh. retirement plan. Such a treat to be able to watch Jewelry Maker on Monday. Linda, congratulations. Oh, yeah. So what, you're, you're easing yourself into your retirement. I assume. Oh, good for oh, you. Oh, have a lovely day. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. So I hope you treat yourself today. Yeah. You deserve it. Yeah. Hello, Gloria. Morning. I have a I have a gorgeous dentist. <laughs> I get lost and mesmer uh, in his mesmerizing eyes while he's doing his work. <gasps> I hated the dentist, but not now. It's now I not Luke, is it, Gloria? <laughs> um, See, my dentist growing up was always my one of my dad's best friends, so... Oh, OK. Not quite that no, same. No, Not quite that same. No. We've got a different dentist now, and I wouldn't... He's not my cup of tea, just put it that way. No. He's a lovely person, don't get me wrong. Yeah, um, yeah amazing. Mesmerising eyes. I'm yeah. just... It's so romantic, this is. You're painting a scene. <laughs> um, what's that, Ouroborealis? Oh, the Ouroboros ring. Yes, absolutely. I did clock this earlier on. Oh, Look yeah. how beautifully carved oh. this is. Absolutely amazing. Text in, have you got a gorgeous dentist? Any, uh, boys, any, anybody got a gorgeous dentist? Anybody? No? No? Have you got a gorgeous dentist, Adam? Every person oh. in your dentist is attractive. Well, so even like the um, like the receptionists are really d attractive. The dentists, uh, dental nurses, wow. I, I I I I wouldn't feel comfortable. I don't think. Just say that you're there dribbling. Ah, <laughs> ah. Just spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this detail. Sorry. Back to this beautiful carving. We are talking about lost treasure of Guatemala. Literally hand carved type. A Olmec 
blue jadeite. If you're wondering what the Ouroboros is, it's a serpent-like creature that is literally depicted throughout history over thousands upon thousands of years as an ancient symbol. Um, where the serpent is actually, a serpent or a dragon-like creature is actually eating its own tail. And you might, might think that's a bit strange. Well, it's actually uh, um, symbolic, basically, of the circle of life, um, rebirth, you know, moving forward, so steeped in history. But not only have you got the meaning behind this amazing piece, and it can be worn as a ring or as a pendant, whichever you wish, um, you also have it literally from Guatemala itself. Now, Guatemala and Jade, I think most of our regular viewers know this, um, was lost literally up, up until very, very recently where a couple, um, the riding has rediscovered this gemstone. We knew it existed. We knew it was, um, or I should say, we assumed that it was in Guatemala within the dense rainforest of Guatemala. But where exactly? Because it literally died out um, 450 years ago. Now, there are just three of these remaining in the vault wow. That is it. Once they are gone, they are gone. To get, you know, if you look at the archer ring, that in itself is a really complex thing to carve because you have so many different fractures, um, so many different, uh, the risk of actually it shattering or breaking. But then to add to that intricacy and that challenge is actually carving the Ouroboros symbol itself. At 149 pounds, an absolutely amazing deal. Look at the quality, look how gemmy it is. Yeah. Does it literally look wet to you? If it looks physically wet, then that is top crystal, amazing fine texture of your jadeite. This is the final, th do you say three or two? Three, three, two, two, two. And we are over allocated. So Sally, well done to you, uh, snapping up a couple of these amazing. Victoria and East Sussex, if you both check out, that's it. That's the last time we'll actually see the Ouroboros. Oh gosh, it's very exclusive, isn't it? That I would encourage you as well. I can certainly send you information if you wish. I would encourage you to have a little look at the, the, the Ouroboros history as well. It's so, it's fascinating to know. And it's, you, you, you'll also see how, not Ouroborealis, that's obviously the Nor Northern Lights, and that's what I assumed it was initially. Um, but yeah, it's literally like a serpent-like creature. And you can see it carved perfectly into your, um, into this amazing ring. Heather, you've joined in. Now, there are literally two, two, two left. Three of you in for the final two. Heather, Victoria, and I can see Sussex there as well. Make the most of the 0% interest uh, split payment. If you wish that is there, you can get it home today for just £49.66. I'll leave that with you because, like can I said, I, see it, I feel like we, we won't see it now. Will I don't we? think and we will see uh, it again. Oh, um, and, and Ross was just saying I'd wear that as a pendant. Mm. Absolutely. Just little, little lark's head knot. I think yes. it's really cool yeah. on a bit of leather or cord. Um, here is the strand. Now, again, I know how limited this is. For me, Guatemalan jade is actually one of my favourites. I really love the distinctive colour. And if you think, not just in gemstones, but in, in, in uh, Mother Nature, quite literally, very few plants animals birds will actually have this natural color and it is totally and utterly natural um, it's the only location in the world that produces a blue color which is so beautiful um, and as i said there was a husband and wife team literally uh, um, spielberg molded uh what was his name Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, there yeah. we go. Yeah. On the back of this amazing couple um, who set out in 1974, Jay Ridinger was on the, tra on the trail for the lost source of Mayan jade. He ran across the Smithsonian publication, The Mineralogical Studies of Guatemalan Jade, written in 1957 um, by William Foschag, the curator of geology at the Smithsonian, uh, Washington, D.C., um, basically, he said, Foschag published a map which indicated X marks the spot. I always say it, it wasn't as simple as that. We are talking about dense Guatemalan uh, jungle. Uh, Ridinger and his wife, Mary Lou, traveled to Guatemala and found the jade source exactly where he had said, situated in, on the Montague Valley. Um, this is on a tectonic plate boundary between North America tectonic plate and the Caribbean tectonic plate. Um, so a real ge geological phenomena for it to actually occur and form. But as you can see on this map, it's a vast area. We're not talking about just a, a simple 
there it is. Um, you know, it's a vast area to actually scour. Anyway, it was relaunched to the world. This amazing treasure that was lost for hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of years um, in 1987. <coughs> Even then, people didn't believe that the Ridingers had actually found this gemstone, um, or rediscovered, I should say, this gemstone. Um, but here it is, literally draped across my hands in your amazing jewelry collections as well. What amazing story behind um, this beautiful treasure. Totally natural again I'm going to say these words look how gemmy it is it's beautiful fine crystal amazingly translucent you see that wonderful wet appearance we only have seven seven available beautiful six millimeter round seven beg your pardon what would you do with yours would you knot it yeah, I think not it as well. And if you were going to, maybe if you wanted to have the ring with it as well, wouldn't it? As, as, if Where that's have it a, as a pendant, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. That's not classic, it. isn't it? Just well, jewellery that is... If you think jade, from whatever the location, it's knotted, isn't it? It's really simple, mm. knotted over the neckline or maybe with a clasp at the back. They are always very simple because it's about the beautiful gem yes, itself. Yeah. The treasure itself and what a conversation you know to be able to tell the story you know oh i love the ne your necklace what's the stone or oh, this is guatemalan jadeite it's the only location in the world that produces blue jade um, <clears throat> and this is what's referred to as the lost mayan treasure it was rediscovered only in the 1980s super 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 limited it's not an abundant gemstone you're not going to find this on your local high street um, this is something that, well, we say all the time, this is the Antiques Roadshow of the future, but to be honest, this is the Antiques Roadshow of today. We're at three figures for 145 carats of type A, Olmec blue jade in your seven millimeters, beautiful gemmy crystal. If this was a coarse crystal, and we've shown you photographs before, I think it was from the Ridinger's website themselves, you know, if it was a coarse crystal, they look quite opaque. They're still lovely, don't get me wrong, um, but quite textured. You can see a pattern, if you like, in each of the each of the rounds. The finer the crystal, the more desirable the actual jade eye is. These are beautifully translucent, which is what we look for in whatever the location of your jade. We're going to bring you a huge price crash for seven millimeters. Wow. £199 only. For me, I would knot it with something like a red silk and it would go on a gold class. Oh, stunning, yeah. This is legacy jewellery. This is the jewellery that I, 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 I hope to be able to pass on to my children and my children's children and so on and so on. Because this is incredible. This is one place in the world that actually produces blue jadeite. One place in the world. Mm. Jadeite is one of the rarest gemstones in the world, but the only location of source that produces Olmec Blue. Now, we have six available. Ross, sorry. Ross has just said we're going even lower for, what, 20 minutes. You've got 20 minutes just over to make this confirmation, to make the most of this price, uh, price crash. This will go back to its previous, still incredible, uh, jewelry maker deal after this if they are still available totally natural certified as such get it whilst you can this is going to be an unbeatable unmissable Olmec Jadeite opportunity there is uh, do you want to do you want to know if they've got any Olmec Jadeite on order at the moment do you think we've got any like in the pipeline or no there's nothing this is it this is it this is all we have we are down to the final, we've got a handful, if you like, of Olmec Jadeite. And right now there's six. I can see people with it in their baskets, though, on the website. Make the most of this opportunity. It is not only one of the world's rarest gemstones, and I'm talking Jadeite collectively, you are sourcing the only location that produces this beautiful, very distinctive blue. But even beyond that, Claire, you're getting some of the best quality. Up you can close. see that, can't you? I, mean, yeah. I love that that uh, rainforest necklace, but it, it's very different, isn't it? So different, and that's yeah. a coarse crystal. Yeah, it's lovely, but it's 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 a coarse crystal. Ideally, what you want is a really beautiful, translucent, fine texture like the one that we are showing you mm. under magnification. Look at this recording. 
Have a little, sorry, Dan. Have a little look at this recording. We are right up close and you can see just how fine that texture is, how uninterrupted that color is, that translucency. That is one of the lowest prices I, I think I've seen on Almec Jade of this quality. 145 carats. You can get this home today for 49 pounds and 66 pence. But Mrs. Wender, Suzanne, Elaine, Maker and Judith. Judith, uh, you've got two in your basket right now. There are were only six, and I say were past tense because Elaine's jumped and uh, uh, made her confirmation. Genuinely, we've been very fortunate here at Jewelry Maker to bring you, I'm never going to say a lot of, of type A jadeite, um, and definitely not a lot of Olmec jadeite either, um, but we've been fortunate enough to see it. You know, this is that very, very unique window of opportunity um, that, with the fact there's nothing mm -hmm. in the pipeline moving forward. Um, so you've got 20 minutes now at this amazing price point. If you see it moving forward, and that is a big if, to be truthful, it is going to be uh, more than what's on your screens right now. So amazing. Hello, Isle of Wight. I can see you there on the phone lines as well. If you've pressed your option one, um, you'll get through to our call centre and we can guarantee you at least one. Mrs. Wender, I can see you've put two in your basket. Oh, Judith, you've upped your quantity quite significantly, but there are only four available, so I can't. we can't fulfil that five quantity that you've got. Make sure you check out if you want to guarantee your success. I'll leave that one with you amazing um okay shall we do some more elephants oh these are nice aren't they these are super cute you do get all three of them look ellie flumps ellie flumps they can hear each other as well through their feet a few elephant yeah. facts uh they mourn they mourn their their lost loved ones do they? yeah and the entire herd Look after baby elephants. Oh, how beautiful. We're at five pounds per bracelet. And again, these are double sided as well. So you've got the detailing of the elephant on front and reverse. If I just flip this one around, you can see there's the little jump rings waiting for you to attach whatever you wish. Um, maybe a bit of wire work, I think would be quite lovely. Um, maybe uh, even you took some of the strands that you've got maybe in your stash or from Claire's lovely kit. You get all three of them at nine pounds and 99 pence. These were only launched last week in Ross's absence. Oh, sorry, not in Ross's absence. It was just before Ross went, uh, went away and ditched us for, you know, a week. You basically did, Ross, didn't you? And we'll let you off because you were with Chloe. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Um, but you launched them. And how many have we got left? 50. That's not many considering we had hundreds. How about three pounds per slider bracelet? Even without the elephant. You know, these, yeah, these very, cords. Very, yeah, absolutely. And I love the colour of the cords. They're beautiful, aren't they? Lovely quality, lovely detailing of the elephant. Oh, this, I forgot how stupid this deal was, in the best possible way, of course. This is mad. You know, to be able to get hold of components like this that are that in, on trend, if you weren't with us, if you didn't see the original launch of these, um, start dialing now, because it's already silly, isn't it, at £3 Absolutely, per slider. Yeah. You know, Monica Veneda um, have got these oh, lots and lots and lots of corded bracelets, not necessarily with the elephants either. That's £2.50 each. That's madness, isn't £2. it? £2.50 yeah. per slider bracelet. And apparently, still no way near where we closed. We went even lower. Were you with us when we no, closed wasn't. these? No. Aren't they beautiful? What would you do, put on these, Claire? Well, you could put anything, couldn't you? Absolutely anything in between. I mean, it, I, and I, I, I do like, because I think that elephant is so lovely. I mean, I would be tempted to do longer line necklaces as well and have that bit at the front. That's he, a nice he's idea. lovely, isn't he? To, so whether you have your chain or, um, I mean, and there's nothing to stop you from having it, you know, back or, or front if you were going to do it. That's a nice idea, because you could do- lovely. You could do beaded, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Like long line beaded necklace. Or how about seed beading? Yes. That'd be quite nice yeah. with some uh, yeah. um, sort of vibrant colours. Yeah. The clock's ticking, we're going even lower, even though they are £7.50 each, which is just amazing, absolutely amazing. Again, it takes me back to sort of the conversation that most people absolutely love elephants. Hmm. I've, who, who There's wouldn't a grace like... to them, isn't there? Oh, that, totally, even though they are so clumsy. Yes. Yeah, but they're, they're just... Uh... Yeah, and lovely eyelashes and eyes. Beautiful. And Remember, you're getting all three. You haven't got to choose mm. between the colours. Yeah, love it. 
I, they're symbolic. Wow. They're symbolic of family as well, aren't they? The yes. elephants. So yeah. because they, um, uh, the boy elephants. I'm sure there is a. Are they called bulls? I don't know. I think yeah. I think it might be a bull. Is it a bull is elephant? It? I think so. Well. They they go. They leave the herd. Off to you know find their own herd probably. Right. Um, but all the the female elephants all stay together. Stick together. They all stick together. So often within one herd you'll have like the, the grandchildren, the mummies. Uh, the mummies. Yeah, they are. They're wonderful. Vibrant blue. And these, again, would go really beautifully with um, the kits that are coming up at 12 o'clock. So I think we've got less than 20 of these. Now I can see multi-buyers. Yeah, four, two, two, four. Yeah, there are, which I'm not surprised at that price. That is brilliant. If you are thinking of doing any craft fairs, anything like that, I mean, you could just sort of um, put them on their own, couldn't you? Maybe let people, if you're going to have jump rings as well, and maybe some pliers on your stand, and let people add in, add in in the centre. That might be quite a nice thing for children as well to do. Oh, children would absolutely yeah. love them, wouldn't they? Yeah. I know if I showed these to my girls, they'd love them. Yeah. Um, wow. Five ninety nine. That gets you all three of them. They are going to be on screen sell out as well today. Fabulous. Make sure you check out your baskets. Lots of multi buyers there. Fabulous. Um, I'll leave that one. Let's not stop singing Teddy Bear's Picnic. <laughs> I don't know why I sing that. <laughs> Up two, three, four. Um, okay, let's do. Did you say topaz? The saucers? Yeah, this strand is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I need this, this is for the um, to go next to the spinel one. Ooh. My lovely spinel. Do you still I love wear that it. one? Yes, yeah. All I those do. years ago. Yeah, I do. I that was really that. the first saucer strand that we yes, ever had, yeah. and it's still as beautiful today. It's a gorgeous shape, isn't it's it? It's quite Marquise-esque, mm. isn't it, in its appearance? Yes. You've got these yes. really lovely angles. Look at that. Topaz, you know, um, loves to have. It's actually one of those gems that produces some of the best brilliance. Um, it can be faceted in many cases more times than that of a diamond, and um, certainly in the smaller sizes. So again, you get more and more and more scintillation, more brilliance um, when it has more facets. Although you do need to be quite careful with topaz because if you cut it, cut it too much, it can create uh, cause what we call a blurring, similar to that in your... Um, in your zircon as well. Um, 15 carats, I mean, it's a stunningly sparkly stone. Um, one that will absolutely complement so many uh, so many of the gemstones that we've brought you thus far and moving forward today. Pristine in their eye clean clarity. There has been already lots of sellouts on the website. And remember, you only have got 14 minutes to make your confirmations. We're at 39 pounds and 99 pence only. How many have we got? 30 available. Who wants this under £20 today? Look at how pristine that colour is. It's pure, isn't it? It's pure brilliance. Under £20 only. I'm visualising these on tassels. I think they'd be mm. absolutely gorgeous. Yep. How about just one little saucer cut? Maybe in between sort of lengths of your chain. I think that would work beautifully as well. Nineteen ninety nine. Every single one of those amazing, natural, genuine gemstone treasures faceted to perfection. We're not even stopping there. Sorry, Ross. What did you say in terms of quantity? 30, okay. Wow, 14 pounds. I'm more than happy at 14.99, yeah? More than happy. That's a great price point for Topaz. Topaz is a beautiful, genuine gemstone. We're not talking about cubic zirconia or crystal or glass or, or plastic even. But it gives you, doesn't it? It gives you that bright look. Yes. It, you know, but it's a gemstone, well, which is wonderful, isn't it? Our sister channel will often use Topaz instead of diamonds. Mm. Because they can produce more brilliance than some diamonds. I mean, look at how pristine and pure that white colour is. Look how flawless, you know, under magnification in particular. Look at how flawless that, you know, the actual clarity is on these. The fact we're going even lower is shocking me, to be truthful. It is natural Brazilian topaz. Again, in these, you know, quite reminiscent, I always say, of like a Marquise cut, which tells me instantaneously that these will be quite wasteful. So we should be paying a premium for them, right? Clearly not today. I'm intrigued. Look at the quality of these. Look how it, almost the light travels from end to end on the strand. 
Wow. Super, super low. Do you remember we've had we've had that Zircon strand, haven't we? And we brought you, um, yeah, yeah, and that that we brought we brought another reorder, and then we had the faceted round topaz strand, which earned that title as well. This is that topaz mm, saucer mm. strand. Saucer almost doesn't do it justice, I don't think. You've got such a beautiful level of skill in that faceting process. I mean, look at the girdle, which is like the circumference, if you like, of your saucers. Even they are reflecting beautiful brilliance and light. Straight away, London, Mary, Denise, Shelley, hello to you. Lots of new customers getting involved. Hello, Hampshire, nice to see you. We've got multi-buyers there as well. Lovely to have your company this morning. Um, yes. Yes, yes. Um, something that would go beautifully alongside this strand is literally coming up next. And we spoke about sort of sections of sterling silver, didn't we? Um, a little bit like a sort of Elsa Peretti inspiration. Um, now, just before I dive into that, no, I do. Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Are we doing this now? I'm just going to give you a heads up. No. Now, these are coming up at nine o'clock today. Love rice bead shapes, mm. really elegant. Um, Wayne has literally just given these to producer Ross, and he has said you can do a special deal on these. Okay. A manager special, essentially. Gosh, look at those. Aren't they beautiful? We don't see this shape um, or cut very often. You've got 220 carats of type A grade. Again, goes back to, can you see that wet, beautiful, gemmy quality? Isn't it? We're going to do a brand new low mm. on these today, Claire. A major, major manager special deal. Um, we could hear them sort of discussing, couldn't we, in yes, the background yeah. in our ear just a few moments ago. Is that what you were talking about then, Ross? Yeah, I thought so. Um, so this is coming up at nine o'clock. Massive closeout deal on this one. So make sure you're with me. You can't shop ahead on those, though, because you have to be watching at nine o'clock. Um, OK, let's do again. I'm going to borrow this lovely bust. We launched this not that long ago <clears throat> and... It absolutely flew. Today is going to be no different. If you are a fan of the Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra necklace, then I think you're going to love this one too. Um, <clears throat> it's some of the Alhambras, you can get them asymmetrically. We've shown sort of the, uh, okay. the Princess of Wales wearing Alhambra, where she's got the four-leaf clover, sort of just to the left or the right. Um, or you can have the big long line necklaces. This is much more wearable, in my opinion. Um, because, you know, it's a classic sort of chain-like design, sits at 18 inches, so just below the nape of, nape of the neckline. Solid 925 sterling silver, and again, you can see the four-leaf clover motifs in every single one of these lovely details. Isn't it beautiful? It is, really nice, and I like that it's a, it's a slightly more substantial chain, isn't it? I really like this. Yeah, it's a big investment yes, of sterling silver yeah, into it. Yeah. Um, it was, it was, it's relatively new. I think we launched it only a couple of weeks ago, if that in actual fact. Um, beautiful. I also can see quite, I don't know, uh, sort of quite Celtic connections mm. with these as well. Quite sort of medieval in those beautiful like designs. Ten pounds. That's crazy, isn't 10 it? Ten pounds. I mean, it's, it's a gorgeous. finished piece of jewellery. Yes, it is. It is. But then I'm also looking so many areas as well that you can add into. Yeah. Which well, that's is what really I was thinking nice. with the topaz. Yeah. Know, can you imagine yeah. just putting a few of those? Yeah. Um, a few of those sources, maybe kind of just wrapping them around or creating the lovely little yeah. clusters that you do, Claire. Yeah, that would be perfect really nice. for that. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful. And as Claire said, big investment of sterling silver mm. into this. Let me just slide it round so you can actually see. There's your class. There's your lovely little sterling silver element there, adding that level of luxury. And just so you know, yeah, all of those details, literally, it's 360 degrees all the way around the neck, uh, neckline. So even by the class, you can see these wonderful, um, these beautiful, beautiful Alhambra four-leaf clover inspirations. Make sure you check out every, uh, pretty much everybody's multi-bought. Victoria snapped up eight. Well done. Susan, Jan, Muriel, Pat, Vivian, new customers, amazing. Um, again, make sure you do check them out. I know they were only launched, what, two weeks? Was it two weeks ago? Last Saturday, uh, last Saturday and Sunday, we've got the final few of these remaining. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I'll leave that there. Remember, there's, what, seven minutes left on this hour. Oh, gosh, time's going so quickly. Shall we do a pair in a little... T are they? No. Um... Oh, and it is. <laughs> Sorry, Ross. How about some cashmere peridot? Okay, let me just put this into perspective. Oh, wow. Cashmere is Columbia, is the equivalent of like Columbia is to your emerald, like Mogok is to your ruby. It is regarded as the best location of source, not only in sapphires, but also in peridot. 
Um, it's because cashmere peridot produces, um, you, get, you get beautiful intense, like a fresh grass shoot. Peridot should look, and it's a really hard color to describe what we should be looking for, but if you imagine you're in the summer when you just cut your grass, and you see those really baby shoots at the bottom, you know, that wonderful, vibrant green. That's what peridot should look like. It can get a little bit too dark. It can be a little bit too yellowish. This is that desirable color. And here is a gemstone that has literally traveled 50 miles to the Earth's surface. Um, you've got the lights that sort of, sort of opals and malachites, and, um, which form, you know, relatively close to the Earth's surface itself. And on this diagram, you can actually see um, you've got sapphire and ruby, which is a little bit lower than that then you've got your sapphire spinel and tanzanite but right down actually into the mantle of the uh, of the planet this amazing gemstone forms you consider the heat the pressures the intensities that diamonds and peridots will actually incur um, before they work their way to the earth's surface it's totally natural that's unbelievable totally and utterly natural there's no enhancement you would imagine with that kind of level of saturation that actually it had undergone some kind of treatment not the case this is all mother nature's doing to, again 49.99 is just a crazy low price tag um, I've got to tell you as well, just for people that are maybe new to the channel, my friend, it was actually one of my neighbours, uh, uh, approached me a few years back, this was, his wife was turning 50 and he wanted to, and she's an August baby, hence, hence Peridot, wanted to make her or, or get a really special ring. Um, he spoke about Peridot and we said, right, okay, um, really you want to be looking at cashmere then, so let's see if we can find you a loose cashmere stone. We sourced one um, and he spent, I think it was just under, I mean, I'm not saying, it's a, it was a considerable amount of money. Um, with the platinum, with the diamonds, with the cashmere peridot, he spent just under a thousand pounds. It was valued at eight thousand pounds. You know that is the prestige of this gemstone. The quality is unprecedented, and here we are bringing it to you at a cool nineteen ninety nine. That's absolutely amazing. These are, are not small. They are huge, yeah. aren't they? And you'll notice it from distances away as well. You yes, know, yeah. You know, like the it's necklace that you've just seen. Imagine just mm. sections, if you like, of sterling silver separating this out. You're going to notice that natural cashmere green from meters away. You absolutely be beautiful with pearls. Maybe those uh, um, keshis that we had a few mm. moments ago yeah. because you've got those really lovely mm. facets in this strand. I love this. Um, they are totally natural. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12 individual stones it should never be under 20 pounds never to be honest i'd be very surprised if you can source cashmere peridot i'm not saying it's impossible but to see it less than three figures is absolutely amazing um usually it, it carries quite a weighty price point um channel isles well done to you sussex well done to you susan multi buying lynn hello to you in kent new customer lincolnshire i can see you there in london um i'll leave that one with you because we have literally just a few minutes left on this hour make sure you start checking out your baskets because a lot of these items well all the items in this hour will literally disappear after at the end of this next auction they will all disappear sorry what was that um i just want to give you a sneaky peek because this is happening in a few moments time um this is happening at nine o'clock you can't shop ahead and pre-order on this as of yet today's early bird um, and, and we are promising one of the best manager special deal. It's literally just been negotiated in our ear, hasn't it, Claire? Mm -hmm. A few moments ago, Wayne, um, and if I, I heard correctly, is going to, yeah, uh, Wayne and Ross have, uh, have, have, have agreed an unbelievable, unmissable price point. Don't see this cut very often. Um, let's bring you now those amazing loose stones that you can see on the website. I was eyeing these up this morning. Where have they gone? There they are. Um, absolutely oh, wow. beautiful. The quality, Claire, is absolutely amazing. Amazing. I know these are right up your street, but also there's cuts that we don't see very often in loose stones. Um, you've got cushions and emerald cuts. Hang on. I can, yeah, hang on. Let me just show you that. Oh, let me show you. Just before we get into this, Ross wants me to just show you. Oh. Oh. There's the price point. We've just, there isn't many. Um, it's the only Olmec jadeite bangle that we actually have. A few of you have asked for this, so we've just crashed the price for you. Type A Olmec jadeite. There is four of these in existence. 
that's it. Once they've gone, they've gone. At the end of this auction, the graphics will disappear and the opportunity uh, likewise. There was only ever 25 of these made in the world. I mean, how amazing is that? So I'm going to leave that one with you again. You haven't got long, but well, I say that you've got 30 days. You know, when you get this home, you've got 30 days to justify your purchase. If you don't, just send it back to us. Okay, these, I'm blown away by these. They're absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to try and show you each. Look, you've got your this cushion cut. a lovely cut. one, isn't it? Look at that. Woo. And you are guaranteed, is that right? Because it says mixed shapes, but you get one amethyst, which is a brilliant cushion cut, which is the one that I'm showing you. That's eight by six millimetres. How beautiful is that? Then you've got an amethyst that is an octagon. And again, this is absolutely gigantic in its size. Look how amazing that quality is. Nine by seven millimetres. So hang on a second. You know what I'm going to do. Imagine that in a finished piece of jewellery. Look how beautiful. Look at how beautiful. I love the fact that it's almost Rose de France, isn't it? It's actually pushing the Rose de France wow. colours. And then last but by no means least, you have their sibling stone. That is your citrine. The citrine is in a beautiful baguette. Far less facets in a baguette cut. So you have to have, well, in actual fact, definitely the baguette and also the octagon because there is less fats, uh, facets in these, um, in these stones. You have to have a cleaner stone. Um, beautiful quality. There's your lovely citrine 49 pounds and 99 pence claire this is right up your street oh, isn't it because you I could, could set stare at that recording all day it's, it's magical isn't it yeah just oh, they look so luxurious and expensive and the colors are amazing it's the cut every, it's everything isn't it it's just it's just perfection per stone you won't believe this that's crazy I've told you the story, but when, when I worked in that jewellers, there was a, a piece of jewellery that I absolutely loved. And I don't mind telling you, about this is about 20 odd years ago. And the staff cost on this piece of jewellery was actually £800. So it was, it, I'll be honest, it was hugely overpriced, massively overpriced. It was an 18 karat gold and it had a couple of little baguette diamonds on either, either side. Anyway, I saved and I saved and I saved. And we used to have one of those schemes where you could, you could put money in each each mm. week if you like and months later i managed to actually get this piece of jewelry um i can tell you the stone i've still got it to this day was lesser quality than that and i'm going back 20 odd years mm. this you know it's it's look at them <gasps> yeah look at how eye clean the fact you yeah. can literally see the tweezers through through the actual gem tells you how beautiful that quality is uh, just impeccably faceted and that's because we do have our own cutting house um, over in Jaipur I visited it you can see that quality we're at 29.99 and they are furthermore they're calibrated sizes so if you wanted to get them out you can set mm -hmm. them Claire can certainly teach you that you've got a matter of minutes uh, hello Gloria and don't forget your discount code oh uh, we had we did we did didn't we Ross we did well done gloria well done eagle eye gloria yeah do you know what gloria last night i bought some bedding online and it had a sale on and it's like oh yeah use sale 10 as an extra discount code and i saw it when i was shopping thinking it's brilliant i know what I'm, I'm, I'm on this website for and i still forgot to enter that discount code oh no still forgot to do it yeah too late checked out and everything i was like oh god oh, so no. yeah believe I, i'm i'm very forgetful ross are you forgetful he says, well, clearly it's not, is it? Claire Ross has just said his memory is his best asset. I would say your humility is, Ross, definitely. <laughs> well, it's not because, look, 20% off amethyst and... Oh, important stuff. Well, that is important. It's 20% off. Humble Ross. Adam, Adam, yeah. would you agree with what Ross has just said? Well, yeah, but my memory is terrible. So I don't know. <laughs> he might just be fooling you because you've got a I've got forgotten. a terrible memory as well. Okay. <laughs> Just clearly not with discount codes. We're going even lower. Going even lower. Three carrots are beautifully faceted again. Look at that citrine. It's literally like sunshine, isn't it? 
Wow. wow we're gosh. at five pounds each we've half that price point for you this morning that's why we all get up early that's to catch these amazing early bird deals good morning lincolnshire victoria valerie iris lorna jackie lynn dorothy thank you to gloria as well for messaging in yeah. about the discount code we had forgotten as per usual and we'll do exactly the same next month and the month after that and the month after that we just forget because to be honest the website is run very uh, separate if you like to the the live channel so we don't have anything to do with what's on the website um obviously the live show ross does but uh, yeah if they put discount codes on there or competitions it's n we have n no idea generally uh speaking so well done to gloria for flagging that one up hope you're using it on your checkout muriel lincolnshire annette hello to you sorry victoria um lots of new buyers lots of multi buyers and claire these are calibrated aren't they Yes, I think they are, aren't they? And just, I was just thinking then, I mean, at that price, you know, maybe multi-buying, because we'll, be, we'll have earring findings, won't we? Yeah. The, um, so but then I'm also thinking with the citrine, to, I'd, I'd love a, a gorgeous cocktail ring, and I'd, I'd multi-buy and have two of the citrine either side of the... Of an um, amethyst. Yeah, oh, yeah. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Sounds beautiful. Mm. Five pounds per stone. Can That's you believe crazy. that? But time now is what you need to be concerned about because this hour is about to close. You've got your beautiful rice jadeites coming up um, on the other side of the break. That is going to be your, is that right? Or maybe just after. That's your early bird. We're going to go straight into the early bird. Then we'll dive into the break. Um, but right now, you've got literally a matter of minutes to make your confirmations to check out not only this auction, but any of the auctions that we have brought you thus far. There is a load of you there hello sean in cardiff i was down your neck of the woods on saturday i love cardiff it's such a beautiful city you know mm. it's such a beautiful love city wales um yes absolutely it's such a lovely country yeah um amazing um make sure you check out your baskets everybody fabulous right everything is going to disappear in a few in three two one Who is ready for one of the most spontaneous manager special deal that I've ever heard? I literally heard it going on in the background. Did you? I could hear. I could hear voices. I tend to zone out a bit. Sorry. <laughs> you know the, the little conversation that was going on. Yeah. That what? Don't worry. That was yeah. That it was what, real. It was real. Um, that <laughs> that was that was Wayne, and that was Ross. Yeah. And. They sowed a seed that this might happen, but it hadn't been confirmed. Well, the voices that Claire and I heard in our head a few moments ago was Ross and Wayne basically negotiating this manager special deal. And from what I can gather, what I heard, if it was correct, it is going to be one of the best closeout deals ever. We don't see your rice beads in type A jadeite very often. When we do, they always fly out. Add a manager special to the mix then. It's only going to make it uh, accelerate everything. It's your early bird that's up next. <clears throat> Do you know what I love about Jade? Sound. Oh, it's just the most amazing sound. Rice beads, you get. <sighs> Do I like that description? Do you like that description or don't you? It's one of those that I'm on the fence with, really, because I get why we describe them as rice beads, because they do almost look like sort of grain of rice shapes, but so much more beautiful. For me, they're, I think I would, they're like smooth marquise to me. Mm. They're very, very, very elegant. You get this wonderful curved shape that creates a really beautiful linear look. Um, and the tendency is we, if we see jade in a strand, it tends to be, not always, I'm not saying, but we see rounds a lot more frequently, don't we? And that's because cuts like this are incredibly wasteful. You know, if you imagine, remember Davis shared with us in the past that all jade is, is sliced first, isn't it? And then they'll navigate, they'll draw, you know, um, sort of what the shape of the bead or carving is going to be or maybe cabochon. So just the whole 
I mean, it's going to make the most of that slice lengthways, but it's cutting quite considerable amounts, if you like, around the actual body of it. Um, OK, slightly digressing. Type A Burmese jadeite. This image here, we're under magnification. So how do we grade jade? Well, firstly, it's colour. Um, but we are learning more over sort of the last sort of few months, couple of years, to be honest, that it's not really just the colour that drives the value of this gemstone. Um, actually, translucency bears um, much more significance. OK, so how do we assess translucency? Well, does it look wet? Jadeite should look like an ice cube, literally melting. You should have that mirror-like luster, and as you can see, almost be able to see the surroundings um, um, reflecting on the surface of it. Now, that will come from another point that we need to mention. It's fine crystal texture, because like many gemstones, you can have um, different textures, you know, uh, whether they, if they're coarse, for example, they tend to be much more opaque. I'm not saying this isn't an opaque gemstone. It is, but there is a level of trans Lucency. If I was to get my torch, and we've shown you this many, many times before, get the torch behind and you would see each of these stones literally light up and glow. Now, the fact that this manager's special deal has been negotiated literally about five, ten minutes ago, um, from what I heard, I can, I, I, you know, I can reiterate, it sounds like it's going to be one of the best ones yet. It's an amazing deal. 220 carats, seven by what, sorry, seven by nine millimeters in their size if i can just double the strand over it is more like a barrel isn't it yeah i get that if i double the strand over you can see they've got quite generous drill holes as well so even some of your thicker cords or leather mm. or even wire will absolutely breeze through there but look at how light reflective that beautiful translucency is there are only 30 though ross is that what you said 35, beg your pardon. So there's 35 available within the vault. That actually is a big quantity when it comes to jade, um, certainly in this day and age. We know the current status. We know this gemstone is not being mined um, currently within Burma. And we know the world, well, the West have woken up to jade. Um, the East have always had that amazing uh, desire for this gemstone. And they will pay enormous amounts per carat for this beautiful gemstone, this amazing treasure, particularly when it is of this quality. 35 available. We don't see it very often. If, like so many of us, you are completely captivated by the jade fever that has taken over, not just us at Jewelry Maker or Gemporia, jade fever has taken over the entire world. It has a history in the East, of course, um, but the West are waking up to how beautiful this gemstone is. There is something, I don't know, there is something magical about it. It has this presence, doesn't it? That it just draws you to it. Are you ready? The auction is open. They're not small stones. Immediately, confirmations, well done. And another one, well done. There was 35 opportunities. So beautiful. Can you imagine? I'm visualizing it um, with some black jade or maybe some of the red jade. I saw those carvings that you had this weekend that were absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, just alternating it, maybe put some of your honey jade in there or quite simply just knotting uh, it. Yeah, knotting. Because I think this is like, you know, when you talk about that, that melting ice, I feel mm. like this is that... The Absolutely. pinnacle. Yeah, totally, when you're looking at that. It really is. And then, you know, th there's a, a, a presentation, and it was about the, um, just that, you know, what makes it amazing, and you just can't put your finger on it. No. But you can't put it into words, and that's, I feel like that is, it's that feeling that you get when you look at that. Totally. Story. Mark said something about this on air, and he's always said that, actually. He's like, you know, um, he doesn't necessarily go with the sort of metaphysical side of gemstones mm. or anything. And, and however... He gets that emotion, if you like, being around Jade. Yes. And I'm, I'm yeah. the same. Yeah. I kind of get those feelings. Yeah. Now, we are just opening at the auction uh, where it could be elsewhere. You know, if you were to look on your Bonhams, your Sotheby's, your Christie's, you know, those three auction houses that tend to have this level of quality of Jade. And it tends to be a sort of an, a, a, an upward auction um, going to the highest bidder. You know, this is reality. That's what this kind of quality of Jadeite can and does fetch on those auction house sites. You know we are not stopping here. That even a normal day here at Jewelry Maker, that you know we wouldn't do. We wouldn't bring this strand to you at one thousand nine hundred ninety nine pounds. But when we've price promised it at a manager's special deal, the fact that we are saying we're not even bringing it today at four nine nine, 
already multi-buyers. Well done, Valerie. Well done, Susan. Hello to you, Louise, Susan, Muriel, uh, Muriel, sorry, Beverly, Maker, Julie, Gloucestershire, London. Remember, these won't hang around. I'm about to show you the lowest price that this beautiful strand has ever been at. Sold significant quantities at this next price point, and you'll see why. And I guess then we're going to bring then afterwards your manager special deal. Use this time wisely. It is not abundant in its quantity. The days of us having hundreds in, uh, in jade eye, they are so behind yeah. us. You know, we've been in such an exciting, unique jade bubble over these past couple of years. And how many times have you heard myself say, make hay while the sun shines because this window opportunity is closing. The next price point is the lowest price that this strand has ever been previously. On a cut we rarely ever see. Yeah, 220 carats of type A, fine crystal texture. They, uh, with that shape and, and the stone that it is, I mean, you could, they look amazing on it, but you could, in, in the same way with like large pearls, you could you could separate and have one of those. Yeah, you? One absolutely. On, one on in fact, you know what, Claire? Necklace. We've sold them individually. Yes, yeah. We have actually sold yeah. them individually. Pop onto Mason and Kay and you see these drums individually. You absolutely yeah. do. Let me just move that bust out of the way a second. You do. This is an entire strand. We are going lower for you today. As promised, it is going to a closeout. Manager special deal. Look at how beautifully reflective that luster is. That's down to the quality of the texture. That's down to that wonderful fine crystal structure that we've been referencing. Not all jadeite will actually have that level of um, uh, that icy wet luster mm. that we've just been referencing. Um, in fact, you know, comparing with ourselves, when we first introduced jadeite here at Jewelry Maker, it was lovely. I bought some at that present time as well, um, but it didn't have the fine texture that I have draped around the neckline um, right now. 23 seconds, we are going even lower. Patricia, Louise, Valerie, Julie, Su uh, Susan. Uh, Essex is there. We've got multi-buyers. Uh, if you want that quantity, Susan, I would definitely check out ASAP because we only have 35 of them. It's already an unbelievable deal. Already an absolutely amazing deal. But this is your manager's special deal. Imagine with a tassel at the bottom or mm. a couple of your little sea pearls in between. £149 wow. only. £50 saving for you today um, on a limited opportunity. It's the cart, it's the luster, it's that translucency, it's that really distinctive, quite a steely, bluey green. It's got everything, hasn't it? I love this strand. Yes, me too. Probably one of my favourite strands, yeah. actually. Would you put it along something... Yeah, like this. Do, yeah, with the blues and the greens. That would you compliment? Yeah. yeah. Or would you completely transform it with something, something like your different. amethyst? Yeah, in the same way, like maybe a vibrant silk, I think. That would be lovely. Um, so, Claire, mm. you've got a pretty exciting day, haven't we? We have, yeah. Some lovely carvings coming up yes, a bit later yeah, on the show. Yeah, we have, yeah. Got an amazing deal of the day with your spiny oyster. They would work very well, actually, wouldn't they? Oh, the nice little filigree yeah, details. Actually. Should we go even lower? That wasn't your closeout deal. This is what I thought I heard, but apparently was not what the, uh, the management team finally decided on. The lowest price that this beautiful strand has ever been before is 199 and please don't, don't be disheartened. Um, if that's what you paid for your strand, it's still epic. It's still an unbelievable saving on what would be outside of these four walls. But today, that was not your manager's special deal. 220 carats, the elegance of your beautiful rice bead shape. I don't know, it creates almost like a linear look. Um, if you can, if your budget allows, maybe think, consider multi-buying. You know, this is a beautiful long line necklace, I think would look absolutely amazing. I'm also amazing. wondering, because there are multi-buyers, aren't there? Several, yeah. uh, whether, you know, like a graduate, you know, oh. multi-strand, you know, you think about three of those. I mean, that nice. is, that's, yeah, it'd be fa fantastic jewelry. We are over allocated. There's enough, with, enough of you with it in your basket to sell out already. Remember, we promised a closeout deal. Here it is. Plus, you've got your split payments as well. Wow, that's a big price drop. 
Good. What? What? Ross is sorry. Ross has just said it's still not the final price, Al. Wayne has promised one of the biggest deals. If you've figured it out already, I think you might be right. Have I, am I guessing right? Am I guessing yet? Yeah, okay. It is going under £100 for Ooh. you this morning. It's literally going to be half the original sale price, which was absolutely amazing at 199. It's never been lower than 199 until this morning. It is gonna sell out for sure. I can see Susan's got five in their basket. Another Susan's got 13 in her basket. London, Anne, Midlothian, Muriel, Elizabeth. Hello to you, lovely. Gloucestershire, Maker, Beverly. Make sure you check out Patricia, you've got yours. Valerie, you've got yours. It's a one-time deal. And one that is going to sell out in a heartbeat it is for sure it is going half the original price of 199 pounds which is absolutely amazing this is not a lesser grade strand we're not talking about a strand which is maybe not a little bit more opaque is maybe not so beautifully cut and polished quite the opposite this is actually one of the most desirable strands and shapes that we actually bring you in your type age aid and today and today only at 99 pounds um look at that split payment that's unbelievable yeah Absolutely amazing. London, well done. Anne, well done. Patricia, well done. There's Carola there. Congratulations to you. If you've got it in your baskets, it's not hanging around, believe me. Who was that? Libby, you just got yours. Amazing. Congratulations to you. There was just 35. And please, when I'm calling out the names, know that I'm not just talking about single purchases. Many of our viewers, if you think mm -hmm. about it, I, oh, well, I can get two for the original price. So why not? If your budget allows, do it. Maybe you've looked at strands like this because let's be honest, the rice bead shapes do tend to be a little bit more considered. Mm. And so they should be, by the way, as we spoke about during, our, um, during this auction opportunity. Um, they are quite wasteful um, in their cut. Very difficult, actually, to shape, I believe. Um, leaves no room for error whatsoever. You know, so if they've been out of your budget prior to today, then here's the best opportunity that you'll ever have. The lowest price that this strand has ever been previously was 199 and today it's under 100 Mural well done amazing congratulations i've also got people on the phone lines now um fabulous make sure you do check out again all of our amazing gemstones are laboratory tested and certified you are sourcing type a burmese jadeite with amazing translucency and texture today and today only you can get it home for £33 on 0% interest now i'm going to give you uh, this opportunity for literally 60 more seconds and at the end of this auction, we are going to move on. That is your price point. We're not going a single penny lower. That's it. I don't even... Yeah, no, we, we, we can't, we can't, I don't doubt we can even source it for what's on your screens. In fact, I know we can't source it for what's on your screens because even our um, our suppliers, um, the likes of Sally, for example, she's she said, look, we're, we're only dealing with your type B and type C at the moment. So um, it is an impossibility to currently source type A uh, jadeite directly from her. And I think Bernard's reiterating that story as well. In 32 seconds, this is going to, we're going to move on from it. The final 10, massively over allocated Catherine Somerset Carola Elizabeth um, well done to you uh, you've got to check out though down to the final eight opportunities just stunning aren't they absolutely beautiful oh, I'll be sorry not to see that one anymore I know it's beautiful, beautiful especially there's none on order strong. there's none on order we mm. haven't got any more yeah so who knows Memor memorable memorable strand it certainly is well done a hundred pounds off today Fabulous. Now I've got one more and then we'll dive into the break. If we roll over in the next hour, not a problem. We can do that. We're not necessarily sticking to a schedule. Uh, oh, have you seen this one? No, I don't think so. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's got a very Game of Thrones like vibe. It has, isn't it? I think it's that section at the top. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Does anyone have a mobile phone handy? Just because I want to show you the translucency. Look at that. Look at that detail. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you. Just because I want to show you this amazing translucency. All of our master carvings are hand carved. Oh, wow. Look. Mm. Look at that beautiful quality. Hand carved in the same techniques 
the same manner that was literally mastered hundreds upon hundreds of years ago. These aren't machine cut. They're not, you know, computer mapped um, like many diamonds or other gemstones are. This is done physically with hand. Sotheby's, head of Sotheby's, uh, one of the gem experts actually said, jadeite is, consider it not as a commodity, rather a work of art created by Mother Nature and shaped with human hands. Each and every single jadeite carving, which is all the rage at the moment, you know, is all about the master carvings. Um, thank you, Ethan. Uh, talk about the wow factor. So if, the, if, if this had that reaction with you, then yeah, you know what to do. Reach for, uh, reach for the phone lines or the website. Um, yeah, like Claire's just highlighted, it's that framing, isn't it? That beautiful filigree work at the top. You've got that, uh, you've actually got the, uh, the drill hole at the top as well for you to suspend it from a, a piece of cord if you want or keep it quite traditional to uh, some sort of jadeite roots or maybe put it onto some of your precious metal. Because that one, that one really does have it. It's like that wow factor, but then it's it's got such balance, hasn't it? Yeah. It almost has that effect on you, like a calming. It's just it's so aesthetically pleasing that it's it's just so even and balanced. Yeah. That's, that's what's really coming across with me, especially with the light behind it. The last seven, we've only got a limited quantity. Look at that! It's an absolute work of art. Everywhere at the moment. And this is what our team who went over to Tucson at the beginning of this year, only a few weeks ago, were saying. Um, it was all about the master carvings. So if you follow Dave on social media, you'll have seen him as well unpack those amazing master carving sculptures. Um, again, the level of intricacy and artistry mm. behind these do come with a, with, with a significant price point. Not today, though, because to be honest, to get something that is... As rare as it is in terms of its natural gemological formation, we know that jadeite is one of the world's rarest gemstones. Then to place it into the hand of quite literally an artist that has you know, mastered this skill over decades, it's not, you know, they, 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 they learn, they actually uh, have to be an apprentice for longer than sort of the, uh, the average doctor does here in the UK. So they learn this over decades and only then are they entrusted with this beautiful treasure Hello to you at Caroline. I own this piece. It's stunning. Caroline, I'm quite envious. It's so beautiful, isn't it? And do you wear it as a piece of jewellery, Caroline? Or do you have this maybe under lock and key? Do you display it maybe? Because I think that could absolutely be... It's a work mm. of art, isn't it? It is, yeah. We're going to take this to the lowest price point. There are only seven available opportunities. You've got your beautiful dragon, which of course is massively poignant and significant within Chinese history. The fact that you can wear this piece as well, I mean, if I, if I hold it up to the neckline, you can get an idea. Mm. Look at that. Pop that onto a lovely precious metal chain and wear it as is. £129. Gorgeous. So, so, so beautiful. You can get this work of art home for £43 on your 0% interest, but incredibly, incredibly limited. Look at how the tendrils of the dragon literally overlap. Look at that level of detailing. It's almost three-dimensional, isn't it? You can actually see the areas of almost light, light and dark, night and day. Um, you can see the, 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 sort of the shades within, the detail of the scaling of the dragon. Well done. Already collectors getting involved congratulations there's just five of them left there's a couple of the rice beads there's uh, only seven left of those five of that pendant Stunning. amazing yes, yes. your dealer day is coming up your beautiful spiny oyster we've got beautiful mandrels as well coming yes. up yep. um, with lovely claire and of course wonderful inspiration and talent um gorgeous kits don't go anywhere make sure you check out your baskets we'll be back after this Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? 
then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones, unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking. I d how did we get on this conversation? Oh, we're talking about um, a, a blowtorch, weren't we? Yes. Talking about and then it went on to fondues. Yeah. Love of fondue, just cheese. Yeah. Just cheese in general. Yeah, cheese on toast. And then, then, then you spoke about marmite. Marmite. Yeah. And I was like, mm, I like marmite. I prefer bovril. So I'm gonna. I haven't. I haven't. You've not tried I've bovril on toast. It. No, and I love, love, love marmite. It's yeah. You'll love it then. It's, it's a bit beefier. Try. Ooh. It's a bit more beefy. Yeah. Ooh. Mate. Might get some later. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claire. Yeah. Treat yourself to a jar of bovril. I will do. I don't I'm like excited. it in a drink though. That's just wrong. Beefy drink. Drink. Yeah. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, I love bovril, but not in a drink. You like it in a drink? No. Not sure about that. Um, Claire, seriously. Oh, do you know? I, how beautiful are these they bracelets? Are, do, I feel like, though, like, feel the, feel the weight of these. Feel the... Seriously? Just, they are lovely, lovely. That's solid, lovely. isn't it? We're not talking about hollow silver no. here. No. Which, you know, most jewellers, not saying all, many jewellers, let's say many, many jewellers, if they had a sterling silver bangle like this, it would probably be hollow. Yeah. Not all. And because um, I can remember the jewelers that I worked at, we had hollow bangles. And if ever a customer was looking at them, I'll be honest, I used to cry, cry and steer them away because 
I know I knew what would happen. It would it wouldn't take long for them to literally put their arm down like so. You get a dent in a hollow bangle and then it's it's That's irreparable. It, yeah. It's irreparable. Whereas this is solid silver. So you're never going to dent these. Yes, absolutely. And it, it just it, it it takes on the reverse of that. It takes, you know, texturing, hammering, shaping, you know, so so well. I feel that you know the different profiles that we've got of these wires, they are oh clear, are, and the different that it's the different look that you get with them. Um, and I mean, they are, you know, I wore I wore um, the three of them together. I mean, they are they're lovely. Really, oh clear, really lovely. but you can see so slightly the two in the middle. Um, are uh, uh, you know the same shape but you'll get a different look depending on what you do with it how you texture them but yeah I mean just so look so lovely that. gorgeous They're aren't they absolutely beautiful oh so that's a great noise isn't it were you wearing all of these yes I yeah don't blame you yeah absolutely stunning now hang on a minute I'm not I'm not a silversmith Claire so does this this kit hour include me you, you could definitely, definitely do this. So I've tried to do, I've tried to do. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else, but not me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what I've done is I've had to go with, um, with, with uh, both ways. So with annealing them. So if you've got your, uh, if you've got your torch, brilliant. But then also uh, not, so if you don't have a torch, um, whether you can still do them and you absolutely, you can. So we're going to have a go with it, with it without it being annealed as well. Okay. So, I would say if, if, if say maybe you're um, if you're happy to work with heat, amazing, brilliant. Um, if you don't fancy working with heat, then you don't have to. Okay, because um, Adam just said he's a bit scared of his blowtorch. Well, no, I'd heard him. Yeah, he needs to. Um, he was he was car car caramelizing bananas on the weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, and he said he's a bit scared of his uh, his blowtorch. Yeah, so, there you go. Yeah, it's just and there's not it's it's good to be a bit. Not frightened of it, but no. respectful. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, okay. Well, no, gonna... we're going to have a go without, and we're going to use some other tools um, to get that get that shape. So we've got all the silver. We've got the mandrels. Yeah. Got all the tools, um, pretty much that you need anyway. What do you want me to start with then, Roscoe? Should we start with the mandrels or the silver? Which would you prefer? Or um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, silver. 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 Let's start with the silver. Okay. Um, so we've got square, oval, and round. I don't physically have it here, just so you know. So I've got I've got some examples there, if that's any good. So that's the um, that's the square and the round. I've got this. Yeah, I'll borrow uh, yeah. Claire's square and round then for now. Um, oh, so that that's an, another done? an example of. Um, so that that one is um, one that I wear quite a bit. So with these, because you've got. Thank you. You've got so much silver there, um, so you can tube set beautifully on the on the end. Of on them. the end, yeah. yeah. How good is that, Claire? Yeah. Can I put that one there? Because that's amazing. Yeah, it looks really, um, really nice. Here we go. Let me give you yours back Thank then. You. Thanks. So, if, which one am I starting with? The round. Okay. So, if I show them to you in that direction, firstly, you can see that they are solid sterling silver not hollow I mean, they are chunks aren't they yeah, yeah. heavy yeah. really heavy i'm going to start with the round one sorry ethan sorry lovely and i can tell you you can really feel the weight of this silver mm. um you can see the measurements as well so it's 15 centimeters which is the perfect length for a talk i guess yes yeah, so i haven't taken anything the, the, the bangles that you can see i haven't taken or added anything onto them that is that's using that that piece, and I also so I also think with this because of the nature of um, and I'm going to use the uh, the sort of the oval mandrel. You know these are these could be gents pieces, so they're yeah. quite delicate wrists, larger wrists. Um, you know it's um, really really a great size. Amazing. Um, hello to you, Avon. Saying uh, morning, girls and crew. Your jewellery is stunning, Claire. Everything you make oh. is so unique and a true artist. Um, I can see it's going to be fun today. Oh, Definitely. Thank you. Thank but do you know, very much. Do you know um, yeah, isn't that lovely? Yeah, it's lovely, really nice. Avon. Thank you for that message for our lovely Claire. Um, do you know what really strikes me? Straight away, it was the weight. Yes. But also, it being silver, it's malleable, isn't it? Yes. So I could, if I wanted to, 
Look, I can literally bend yeah. it with my fingers. Which, which is, it, I think that is, that is, so maybe maybe you've never, maybe you're a beader or maybe you've done wire work and, and, and you're thinking, I, I don't really, you know, I've never worked with, you know, because 4.2, it's, it's that is a considerable It's a thick, thick yeah. yeah. Please, please, please don't be put off with this because the tools I'm going to show you how to use and you'll be able, and, and like Al has, you know, this is, this is malleable now, but don't forget what we're going to do to it is we're going to hammer rooms. it. Yeah, it's a, you can see it's 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 a fabulous weight, isn't it? Absolutely. They are lovely to wear. I mean, if you wanted to sell these, you'd have to have them hallmarked. Yes. Basically, because yeah. they'd be 22 grams of silver each. Yeah. Anything over, what is it, seven point something? It's considerable. Yeah. Considerable? Yeah. yeah. There's 22 grams in, in, in this piece. And again, you know, and when, when it is complete... You know, you, you've worked hard on that, so I can't bend that one. Yes. But yeah. this one, I can. Yeah, because obviously what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to, you know, we're going to strike it with metal hammers, you know, against the, the, the metal mandrel. So we're doing different processes to harden it. So, yes, it will be hard. So which of the bracelets is the round? Did you have so that, the that, round this one? one is, yes, is this one and uh, I think that one And there. that one yes. there. Yes, yeah. 29 99 that's incredible, isn't it? For 22 grams of silver? Absolutely. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And, and, you know, this is so, if you look at the difference, so what you're getting there is, obviously, you know, is that unfinished. So you're, you're going to polish that up and that's how it's going to look. And don't forget as well, I mean, I've done all, all bangles with these. There's nothing to stop you. Um, you know, if you want to use your, um, uh, you know, saw it and, and sort of cut it into small and it have fabulous pendants, there's nothing to stop rings? you. Rings? Know. They'd be yeah. lovely rings too, yeah. wouldn't they? yeah. You can yeah. turn these, you know, cut them into shorter sections. Twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? Fifty, but they are going quick. Uh, Susan's got two. Sandra, Mary, Victoria's got three. Lorna, Alison's got two. Beverly, Ayrshire, Jacqueline, uh, uh, sorry, Jackie, Lancashire, Julie. Well done, Anna, Valentina, Kafili, new customer, Sharon, Jane. Uh, Karen, Lorna, London, a load of you there. A lot of multi-buyers on this one as well. Beautiful. So we've got them in the round right now on your screens. We've got it in the sort of rectangular shape. Um, and we've got the square. Out of the 50, we've got just 11 of these left. So you need to be quick. Some of you will miss out. Unfortunately, we are over-allocated. Joy, Maker, Jane, Kafili, um, well done to you, Somerset. Make sure you do check out. They're down to the final six opportunities. 22, I'm blown away by that. That's a, 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 a wonderful price, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Can I have a go? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Your demo yeah, because you've got, um, yeah, yeah. We've got, can. I can have a go with the, one of the, one yeah, of the studio could, sample yeah. mandrels. Yeah. Um, I'll leave those final three with you. Amazing. Let's go oval next. I like the oval. It's, do you know, it's, it's really, I'm not sure that I've worked with that one before and it, I really, really like the effect, um, effect of it. Because it's quite, it, you know, it's thick. Yes. Square is available yeah. on pre-order if you want to shop ahead. And I think I wanted to, you know, with that one, so it's, it's sort of the one that you're resting on, and you can see there. Oh. I, I wanted to show how, you know, you've got so much silver there and, it, and the different effects you can get from it, you know, by having that, that plain section, having it lovely, you know, brightly polished in the middle. Um, and don't forget, you know, you could stamp or engrave onto these, you know, I was going to say, them. how nice would that be as an yeah. identity bracelet? It'd be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Really lovely. And then that, but then again, with that, that dappled, that, you know, that dimpled effect um, that really, really catches the light. It's a really lovely, oh, do you know lovely what? shape. I might have to buy this if there's any of them available because I'm just thinking, how nice would that be as a Father's Day present? It'd be perfect. You could put it? Like, a little yeah. message on there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it'd be sort of handmade. How beautiful. Yeah. I love these clay. And again, I'm holding it this way as well so you can actually see it's that that is shape. a solid piece of yes. silver. It's yeah. not hollow. I've, told, I, I, I've spoken about hollow bracelets countless times on air before and just saying I always used to sort of navigate our customers away from them mm. yeah they might be more um, more affordable um, I don't think even then they could have compete with what we're bringing in terms of the prices but they would last five minutes um, whereas these are completely solid half the stock has already gone 21 and a half grams of precious metal you can shop ahead on the square as well which is lovely I'm torn between this I like them all it's hard to choose, isn't it? Which I just think it's very, are. very clever dimensions and clever shapes that it, it will look. It looks lovely. Um, it, it, like I, I had them all, all together, and I think it, you know, it looks quite. Um, a, it's a feminine, nice movement. Yeah. But then it could, it could equally be, you know, um, masculine. Yeah. I think yeah. so. 
29.99 only to get hold of just under 22 grams of precious sterling silver yeah how amazing could you buy a bracelet like this for 29.99 not in a million years no i don't think so either i i, I no i agree just because it, there's so much weight behind it mm -hmm. i mean look how lovely that is is that with the square yes so yeah. that's coming up you can shop ahead on that one look at that and they are super heavy Beautiful, Claire. Absolutely love these. So busy this morning. A lot of you getting involved. If you want the mandrels, they're coming up as well. Um, they're available on pre-order. I assume you're going to need some form of hammer as well. That's yes. going to sell out. Let's do the square. Let's do the square, which is... We had 90. Uh, 47 have already gone. I'm, I'm torn which one to get. But look how different, look how different this is. It. So you are, if it's you, if we form it and we keep it like that, so you're just forming the shape and you're not you're using your hide hammer. So, so not necessarily metal on metal. You're going to get that lovely, smooth, polished finish. I think this is my favorite. But then if you put it and you, that's exactly the same wire, but it's different processes and texturing it, you know, you get that that different look. I mean, they look lovely together, don't they? I thought you could patina these, couldn't you? Yes, Adam's absolutely. Just asking. Yeah. Yes, yes. Sorry, Adam, I zoned you out. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I think he's hinting there. Yeah, I think yeah. I think Adam's hinting. And for especially this if you were if you're going to stamp onto it, um, that it would pick up really well, wouldn't it? But I just I love how the different you know by using the different tools that you've probably got, um, or you could use mixtures of them. Um, you know, you'll get different different looks completely by hammering it you get that lovely you know 29.99 yeah that's incredible isn't it absolutely amazing i want to get hold i need to get hold of some of these i think they're absolutely awesome how beautiful all that silver all that yes. gram weight yeah and wait and you know if you order it and you get it home i mean you will f you feel it straight away don't straight you? away yeah, yeah immediately here it is so it comes like this obviously you're looking at it unfinished here unpolished it doesn't take much though to polish it up no and it's a really nice process to you know and you, and you can and polishing wise you can you can um invest quite a lot and it's you know obviously with your dremel as well but also look at things you know like we've used those buffer sticks and uh you know you like emery files yeah, yeah 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 amazing yeah. mandrels are coming up if you've got any questions do feel free to message claire uh, we are live in the studio um let's have a go okay this so cool. i'll talk, talk you through um some processes so if you want to um if you if you do want to anneal it um <laughs> what you'd be doing is um so you, you put it on and you're just going to go along and and so if you've got if you've got one of the um the durston torches because you've got slightly uh, bigger more, more power to that so you just be going along and heating it up um, ideally you want it to glow if you've got a bigger torch great um, and that's so if you anneal it and, and soften it and then then you start working on it but we're not going to do that if, if, if you don't want to um, you know to still give you the option if you haven't got a torch um, and you want to see how it's going to work without so all that what annealing will do is, is soften it a little bit um, but we'll see now how it works without it being um, annealed so I'm going to work with a mixture of tools uh -huh. So if we have a look, so I'm going to work with some forming pliers and I'm going to work with the mandrel and a couple of different different hammers here. Because you'll see if you've got, um, you know, the uh, the texturing hammers, that was the... Uh, this one. Yes, the one there. So it was sort of where it's that, you know, you've got those, um, the lines. Um, and I also, I did, I accidentally hit it the wrong side and that, that does actually come out on it really nicely. So if you have got, what you know, any of our different texturing hammers, I think that might be quite an old one. So um, I don't know if we've still got that one anymore mm -hmm. so I'm going to start off um, so like I say so it's not been annealed so you can see with when Elle had hers you know you've still got um, you know a, quite a nice curve in there so I'm just going to start and I'm using these forming pliers so it's it's a case of we're going through now and don't forget with if you are going to anneal what you can do is you can start you can um, start to shape it if you feel like it's getting uh, really firm or you need to uh, you know you need to soften it but you can just go back in um, and anneal again so I'm just going to start working my way around and we're going to get that start to get that shape so I'm just going to keep keep going and you can see how this now is starting to form so I'll pass you these oh, when I've and then you can I'm start excited. doing yours so I'm also just going to start and just 
curve that in. So I'm just holding it in the in the forming pliers and I start to bring in. So I've got almost like a, not quite a horseshoe, but it's starting to be like a bit more, you know, like a crescent, like a C. Yeah. And we're going to bring this in. Okay. So I might have to borrow them again in a minute, but if I give you those. Yeah, just shout. Yeah. So now, so I've got forming pliers. my... So I'm going to start now, and so I'm going on to, you can see, so this one um, depends what you depends what you want to do with these. Both of these, the, the mandrels that are coming up, I would say are uh, really, really great, if not essential tools to have in your workshop. So you can see this one is the, I, I use these for wire work cuffs as well, not just... Um, anything that I'm going to solder, but you can see the difference. So this one is that oval, so you can see the, uh, the cross section there. And that's really good for making these um, uh, cuffs that are open like that. Whereas if you want to do so something where, so if we look at this one, so if I take that one off, to make the other one, so you can see the difference in the, so something like that, the, the, the bangle that I've made there, which is a complete one, this is one that you'll want to work with with the round. So if you can get both, it's great to have both because I think once you've started to make these, you'll then want to go on uh, and make the complete Because I assume rounds. you could solder them as well, couldn't you? Yeah, so, so these, one, these ones are soldered once you've made that, um, that round. But you know, if you want to do, um, if soldering is not your, your cup of tea and you want to make you know, extendable bangles with wire work and using your pliers, these really, really come into their own then. Okay. I mean, the, the mandrels are, they're really, really good to have, really good. Right, okay, so pop it back on there and don't forget there's nothing to stop you from you can also um draw and mark so if we um what i tend to do when i'm at home i'm obviously sat uh lower uh i'm standing now which isn't uh isn't great but i tend to sit and i have this sort of um uh, it might sort of be sort of like pushed into into um uh into my stomach into my um sort of like midsection my core there and it, that just helps as well just think about how how you're um how you're going to do it so i'm going to hold it hold it here i'm going to start to if i give you i'm going to start to go in i don't want to make too much noise here so if you've got your if i give you this one and no I'll don't rush your and what can help is, because obviously it'll move around, if you put a, a, a marker, so if we, if we go, you know, if you put your permanent marker here, you've got somewhere to aim them, because obviously it's going to slide up and down, um, and you know, if, you, if you're, um, you want it a certain size, but it's going to be quite flexible anyway. So if I just pop that on there, and what we're looking to get, and you can use this as a mixture of working with the mandrels, and your forming pliers. So if I hold it like this as well. So that's the nylon, isn't it? Yeah. So at the moment, we're just looking to form, form a round. Now don't forget, it's a, in the same way if we're doing a, a, a ring as well, <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn it over. You're looking at it from all, all angles. So we want it to be, We want to have a look. So we're thinking about the shape that it's going to go around that way. So if we take it off. But then we also want to think about it. Is it a bit sort of wavy that way? So we're going to um, we're going to also use our um, steel block as well. A steel so, block. Yeah. This is very therapeutic. Oh, and I tell you, if, if anyone's annoyed you, yeah, this is a brilliant way of getting it out of your, out of your system. Okay, so when you're quite happy, that you formed it, um, formed it nicely. You start to get the shape that you're happy with. So I'm also just going to go. We'll pop that on there. So you can already see. So although when I held it up, it looked like it was quite flat. If you put it on the block like that, you can see. You know, it's not sitting. You can see there that it's, it's, you can see that that wave. So we're going to. Um, Do you want that back? Not, is that all right? Thank yeah. you. I'm just going to start and give that. And that's going to flatten that out. Okay. So already that is getting, 
that's a lot more, that's a lot tougher. Okay, so what we want to do now is, <laughs> you okay there? What we're going to do now, if I pop that on, let's have a look at some of the, so I'm going to hold here. Oh, you're texturing yeah. yours. Yeah, so I'm just going to try and Like that. What is going on? Should I tell you what? Let's bring the oval mandrel to air, which is what you would, you've made these yeah. forks with, isn't it? Yeah. So yours is a bit more curled than mine. So if it, if it goes like that, so don't forget that. So what you want to do there, I think the difference is, and only because I've made made loads and loads of them. You know when it's you're going round. Yeah. Don't forget to. You want to spend some attention on this side here. That that flat okay. bit. Okay. it's what you're going to want to do is, is really like push down into this part here so that you do get that not just the curve you're getting that that where it goes into the flat flat side yeah the other thing that you can do is um so if i just take this off there is don't forget to go in as well if you feel like um you know to to grab and, and you can also you could also do this with if you've got maybe your uh, nylon jaw pliers you won't get the curve but for this part if you need to sort of hold it and you're bringing, I'm trying to bring in just a little bit so you can see the difference there. So see how I've got the curve there, whereas this one, if I hold it like that, you can start to see how we're getting that to, to go in. So I'd say have well, a mixture better. of your going in and make sure that you pay attention to where it is on the, on the mandrel so that you're, it's making contact here. So it's a case of really working with both. Gosh, that's really firmed it up now. Isn't it has, it? isn't it? Massively. Yeah. You know, and so at this point, you know, no heat is involved in, in either of the uh, the pieces that, that we've that we've had. Wobbly. But you can see there, so that's where we've got that that dappled effect. So that was using um, this side of the of the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So that's it. Perfect. That better? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Because it's amazing, isn't it? How when it looks, you think it's quite flat, but the minute you put it onto that complete flat block, it's really not, is it? Yeah. There you go. Good, yeah. So are you, are you texturing yours at all? Or oh, you... why not? Let's yeah. do it. If so again, are... like Ellie's, so I've textured on the, no, on the you, mandrel, you need... yeah. I've gone on that side, just on the outside of it. So what, what you would do on yours, don't forget, you, it's a, it's a three-dimensional piece, isn't it? So on yours, it's up to you. So you, if you want to texture it on the top. Harder? Yeah, and, and try if you can as well, holding your hammer right at the end so you get a bit more... A bit more swing? Yeah. Oh, look how lovely that is. It's very therapeutic. It's great, isn't it? Wow. It's looking good, isn't it? Yeah. And, that, and I just think, I just think when you look at, I think it's, I think it's everything, isn't it? It appeals to all senses. It's beautiful and shiny. We know it's that, it's that precious metal. And then that you've made it yourself, it, you know. How cool! Looks great, doesn't it? Polish that up nicely, and yeah. And, and polishing it, you would just use the emery boards and things. Again. Emery boards. If you've got a tumbler, you could work with a tumbler. If you've got your Dremel, you can work with your, you know, um, and give it, you know, the uh, the polishing cloths as well. Things like that. How have you done this? Because I like this detail. You've got that tapering. So what I've done there is on, on that one. So depend, like I say, so when you've got it at this point and you're happy with the shape of it, all we need to do with that one is it's a bit more uh, smithing as well. So you, we're looking to force the, 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 the silver into a certain shape. So you can just see there, it's, I've just put, applied more pressure with the hammer uh, so that it splays out a little bit. So you get it that like widening um widening look That's, they're, they're, they're they're lovely absolutely beautiful i love these kits they're stunning aren't they and the fact really you can nice get that thing. mandrel as well this is the oval's about to sell out there are only five of those left um let's bring you the round because uh, because uh, I, I don't know my bangles at home i'm just trying to think most of them are round actually um but so it's preference i suppose it is they're, they are both really really useful and i would say as well if you um uh, the the round one, you know, for for wire work is really good. How lovely is it? So amazing! I so want to finish that. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I need to get all these bits, don't I? 
Yeah, get, so how cool. And the fact that, you know, you don't have to be a silversmith to actually create these. Right now for the round, and this might look a bit strange, but I'm going to show you. There you go. So there's the, spare, uh, there's the difference between the two. I know this is fairly obvious. One's oval, one's round. Um, these are weighty mandrels. So the idea is you can hammer on these, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, so they're perfect for that, aren't they? Perfect. Um, you know, they've got that, that, good, that good weight and nice, super smooth. Nineteen ninety nine, and you're not going to damage it. Let's be honest. No, it's unlikely, no, not, isn't no. it? Yeah. I mean, you'd have to be going some to damage and, and that. And don't forget, let's have a look. So if I if I show you, so if that if you maybe you want something that's a little more delicate, mm. can I have the round one for a yeah. minute? Is that here? You go. Okay. Thank you. So if we look at, let's look at something like this. So if I cut that one off, and let's have a. So I'm going to start. Ooh. So again, if I just avoid, I'm not going to go, uh, I'm not going to do it right on the ends. It's a lovely sound. It is, isn't it? Start to see. Part of it will spring out because I haven't gone all of it, but then this bit here will have will have held that held that shape. So if I bring that out now, so if I'd have gone all the way around, there's part of it there, and you can see the slightly added luster to the areas that you've um, uh, that you hammer. But if we have a look now, if I just take some other sort of standard pliers, so with something like that, so you can see, so I've gone maybe one and a half times around. So if I'd gone all the way around. And then I bring these. So I'm going to, the bits that I haven't hammered. So if I turn in, so I'm going to bring that in. So I've got a right angle there. I turn it over and I'm going to go again. So I've got about, about a half here. And again, I'm going to just turn that in so it's going on the inside. So if we look at both of them, the thing to remember is either both go on the outside of the circle or both on the inside. Then I'm going to snip off to about a centimetre on that side and a centimetre on that side. And then if I turn, so I'm starting from the inside of the circle and I'm gonna go out and join that back up. And you can use, if you've got step bail makers, you can use that or just your round nose. You've got a loop there, turn it round. So again, so I'm starting from the inside of the circle, support it and turn out. So if I bring that in so it closes. And now if we'd have done Just all of that, angle. yeah, which I mean, this is an incredibly large one, but if you've hammered on it, it's going to be work hardened, which is exactly what you want for that. Got a couple of questions for you, Claire. Oh, okay, yeah. um, hello, Joan, saying hi, Claire and Al. Um, could you ball the ends with these wires? Oh, don't. I think you'd need um, the heat that you'd need to do that would be, might have to be um, map gas or something like that that is... So like a heavy blow torch. Because it, it's what is that? Because concentrate. there is so much. Yeah, there's, silver. they are so. There's so like what is it? Four point two. Yeah. Um, yeah. I but, mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need a lot of heat, I would imagine. Because That'd of be, the because of the ground. Yeah. Line. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It's a great question, though. Thank yeah. you for that, Joan. Yeah. Um, did you say you've got another one? Got another question as well. Uh, Hello, Diane in Cornwall saying, Claire, what polishing soap do you put in a tumbler, please? Um, Diane, I just use the, uh, it was, it's just called tumbler soap. I don't know what make it is, sorry. It's just the, um, yeah, just tumbler soap. So okay. I would like look at, I mean, we don't at the moment sell don't any sell of it. that. Okay, fair but enough. I, I, hopefully if nagging works... Oh, keep nagging. Claire. Oh, I am nagging. I'm keep nagging. nagging. I like that. I've got so a nagging, nagging meeting this afternoon. Oh, amazing. So, yeah. There you go. So you got, um, you got, yeah. You, you're I mean, ready. If, if you've got, if you've got a tumbler, brilliant. There we go. Yeah. Um, and watch this space because, you know, I know Claire, she's persistent. <laughs> um, we've still got one more brand new mandrel. Yeah, and lovely. there's a hundred of them. I love this. It's really good. Yeah, the tapering is obviously so that you can get different sizes. Yes, um, obviously. But what's really exciting about this one is, if I point it in that direction, is you have a, a hexagonal shape. Yes, How and beautiful. unfortunately, I can't um, show you the hexagonal bangle. It wasn't for this one, um, but I have worked with it. But somebody, somebody pinched it. Someone, <gasps> someone called Ellen. 
who uh, lives in Liverpool, who sent me a photo. Of what she way. pinched it for? Uh, because she really loved it. Because it, I think a bangle is a beautiful piece of, of jewellery, isn't it? But I yeah. think if you add, if you're adding Oh, it I thought you meant she pinch, pinched your mandrel. Oh, no, no, she pinched the, bang, the, the, the bangle. Bang, the actual yeah. bangle. She left me the mandrel. So that's Fair enough. Sort of thing. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. That's okay, because you can make another one. Yes, yeah. Well, the, um, and this, so this is the thing. When you've got a, a mandrel like that and you've got that tapered... Yeah. You know, Ellen has got tiny, tiny hands, tiny wrists, you know, but you can you can you choose so you just mark out if you wanted to with your permanent marker um uh, and, and measure around but it's a really lovely way of make creating just just the fact that you've got those angles in there so wonderful hoops yeah. she's put an order in for um she'd like some hoops to match the bag i love that your daughter's putting orders in. yeah you. absolutely <coughs> it's really really good so you can see there so you've got that even even shape um, that we can then do exactly the same. So if you wanted to work, um, uh, I would look at, I mean, it's, it's, it's not the metal, so you'd be working it in different ways, but certainly with all of your wire work, it would work really, really nicely. Maybe work with your, uh, you know, your hide hammer going around it. Yeah, I was gonna, that was a question I was going to ask before I started choking. Yeah. You, treat, yeah. you use it in the same way that you would do um, a wooden mandrel. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and, and they are... Um, it's, I, I like to have both, so I've got I've got wooden ones in the um, <coughs> in the round and the the oval and the the um, hexagonal, and I've got the metal in in both. Now this is brand new. We're under twenty pounds only. We're not going to stop there. The fact that you have that hexagonal shape as well. I mean, there's the design, isn't it? Straight away. Yeah, and it looks it looks really really good. And I teamed it with. <coughs> um, uh, you know, when we've done some of the hexagonal gemstones and settings, it looks oh good. lovely. Really good. Wow. Um, if you're wondering about why there's a question mark on your graphics, it's because our, our graphics don't like uh, the inches. Oh, is icon. it? <laughs> yeah, they don't like it. So they always put question mark there instead. So 15 question mark? No, there is because it's 15 inches, basically. That's why it says that. Um, very random, but 12 99 only. Yeah, that's very good, isn't it? For any, so for any good. Big, big tool like that, I think if you're looking under £20, that's, that's pretty good going. Because you, yeah. you're only ever likely to buy one of them as well, aren't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's solid wood. Yeah. You know, this is, this is, it's a heavy, solid, quality piece of kit. It's not hollow, so it's not... And I've seen where people have um, personal, you know, with the pyrography and, and things like that, and that's a really nice look as well if you wanted to um, decorate it. And I would also think for display as well. You know, it, yeah, that's a look, great idea. They, you know, they look lovely. Yeah, you could cover there. it with a bit of fabric, couldn't you, and put all your bangles yeah, on there? Yeah, yeah. How amazing. Yeah. We had 100, they are brand new. Susan, Jackie, hello to you, Asia, Gary, Susan, Mary, Mary, uh, Lancashire, Deborah, hello to you, Christine, Molly, Hilma, Muriel, uh, Lancashire, Judith, Christine, amazing. Make sure you all check out, there's lots of multi buyers on this as well. And you know, I have got little to no skill whatsoever in making jewellery or working with silver. Um, but even I felt. I've heard of that. Yeah. It's such a lovely project, And I know that's it? something I want to finish. Yeah. I do yeah. want to finish yeah. that. Yeah, because you know, you know, you know you, what prices you'd be looking at uh, to, to buy that from somewhere. That, and do you know what I'd like to do is put maybe a nice little message or maybe the girls' names inside. Oh, lovely. And that would be yeah. a really lovely gift. Yeah. I love it. And I, and I feel confident wor working with these tools, yeah. which I've yeah, never really, really done before in terms of silversmithing. Um, Twelve ninety nine only, brand new premiere today. So, again, just works in exactly the same way. It's just the uh, same way as the other mandrels. Yeah, and just so, a different shape. Yeah, and so when when you're working with it, just you know how we're not with the oval. Um, just try and keep your try and keep hold of the wire so that because you're putting the angles in. Um, yeah. Do you so want to show? Like that. Yeah. So just when you're um, when you're working with it, if you don't hang on to the wire, what you might end up, which could be could work. You know, it depends what sort of shape you've got. Because don't forget. Um, I mean, you could do uh, you can do any shapes with these, can't you? You could you could sort of maybe use the angles for squares. But if you want to get that fixed hexagonal shape, mm -hmm. you're just trying to control yes. where it stays on the mandrel. See, that would be nice. You know, like we do the 1.5 or the one millimetre yeah. wire. Yeah. Just solder together as a little child's bangle. Yes, well, you could do that, couldn't you? Because it gives you that, that option. So that is just with my... Oh, let's have a look. These would be lovely. Um, really nice hoops, wouldn't they? Hoop earrings. So let's have a look with that. We take that off. Yeah. I mean, how perfect is, you know, that's a great... 
Sorry. Beautiful. And it's so pronounced, isn't it? That would yeah. be a hard shape to create without the mandrel, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, it you know, would. if you if you tried to create a hexagon, you'd have to measure each of those sides. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tricky, isn't it? And get the correct angle. It's nice. You need your mandrels really for that. Um, yeah, well done. These are absolutely flying out. I'm not surprised at all. So it's not just bangles. These were great in um, in, in in any form of yeah. firework, really, yeah. didn't they? Or metal smithing. Uh, make sure you do check out lovely jewelry makers. We've still got. Thank you, Claire. Amazing. Yeah, I've loved My that. Pleasure. Very popular kits. I'm not surprised. Amazing demos, of course. Um, you've still got beautiful kits coming up at, at midday with Claire as well in your masterclass. Coming up after the break, a gemstone I'm obsessed with. I love it. Um, we don't often get it here at Jewelry Maker. When we do get it, it always sells out. This is Spiny Oyster Turquoise coming up as your deal of the day. We haven't had any in for months, months and months. Um, I've got rounds, we've got uh, flat drops, and we've also kind of got these beautiful trapezoid shapes. That's it. It's a very rare occurrence for us to get this beautiful treasure. Um, don't go anywhere. It's your deal of the day, and it's up after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker.
I'm excited about your Monday deal of the day. I love this gemstone. Um, it's just so distinctive. You know, at the, at the end of the day, uh, I love the stories of gemstones. And I think that's one of the reasons why I immediately fell in love with this amazing company, because, you know, they, t they share the stories of the gemstones and the histories of the gemstones. Um, but you know what? They're all bonuses, aren't they? In terms of the, 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 the history, the beliefs attached to the gem, where it's mined, how it's mined, etc. When it comes to jewellery and ultimately the treasures that Mother Nature offers, what's the initial thing that really should appeal to us all? It's the beauty. We've got to think these gems are beautiful and that's one of the stipulations and the questions in the GIA. What qualifies a gemstone as a gemstone? It doesn't say natural, by the way. It, it could be it can be man-made. Still co comes under the gemstone question. It needs to be rare. It needs to be beautiful, and it needs to be durable. That is what a gemstone is. Well, it is all of those things. This, these are literally like works of art. But I know also there'll be people watching the show today for the first time that maybe haven't heard of Spiny Oyster. So let's talk about it. This beautiful little mollusk that exists with almost like a menacing appearance. There it is. A Spiny Oyster literally has spines on its shell. I don't think I've ever seen it. It's wonderful, isn't it? It looks a little bit sea urchin-esque, yes, doesn't yeah. it? But beautiful, there you go. You can see that lovely vibrant reddish orange, which is, as you'll hear in a few moments, the most desirable colour. So there it is. Now, spiny oyster is often reconstituted as with your deal of the day alongside turquoise because that colour combination just seems to work in perfect harmony. Um, but let's read on. Spiny oysters are not actually oysters. They're cl more closely related to a scallop. They are a bivalve mollusk who live in the warm waters of the Sea of Cortez, um, Gulf of California, um, on the, I can't say that, Baja Peninsula and thrive from North Carolina, is that right? Um, peninsula and thrive uh, from North Carolina to Brazil. Their hinged shells have dangerous looking spines which serve as protection, uh, giving them their name. Their colours range from light pink to brown with orange a, a common choice. Colours vary from region to region and they are based on what the mollusk eats and the depths of water they live. They are edible but are more frequently uh, um, used for the beauty of their shells. So how do you, uh, you know, at the end, I like the fact that much like your abalone as well, their colours and the markings that you see within an abalone equates to what that mollusk was once eating. So these beautiful oranges and reds that you're about to see in the next photograph is down to what that mollusk was actually eating in the depths that they lived. Archaeologists have found spiny oyster um, in their excavations throughout Southern America. It was used in artwork, jewellery, and occasionally as currency. Obviously, it was revered by many cultures in the past, um, but it's still sought after today. Spiny oyster was harvested by free diving down to collect the bivalves. Um, it is still done the same way today, although many divers use air tanks when diving. Uh, the way it's collective, uh, collected often determines its price. The deeper and more dangerous to collect, the more expensive it will be. And I guess that makes complete sense. Mm, yeah. Um, you know, if, if, if the divers are having to, there's that element of risk, I guess, with all diving. Um, but if they happen to go to, I, I guess, waters, that will be possibly... Uh, I don't know, with dangerous species under there, then I can understand having to invest. Underneath it said, sorry, Warros, what was that? Um, beads in multiple strands show an array of warm colours in the spiny oyster family. Here, turquoise beads are added for additional interest. But, you know, even in this presentation, you know, you can see that's the choice of gemstone to go alongside your spiny oyster. And we could admire some more pieces. I mean, look at this. Often teamed alongside your precious metal, beautiful mm. sterling silver. You have these lovely slices and turquoise slices literally sort of uh, pieced together like the most beautiful perfect puzzle. You have pieces like this. 
I love it. And this was actually the design, by the way, because we launched Spiny Oyster when I was actually over in Tucson, so that's a year ago. And this was the piece that kind of uh, sparked the interest in this gemstone. Um, I approached Jake Thompson, our gem investor, and actually said, look, is there any chance of us actually sourcing this beautiful gem? So he said, absolutely, you'll probably see it in uh, in Tucson. Um, but again, it was that design, the, com uh, you know, the, 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 the combination alongside the turquoise. But we have three strands. Whenever, if you think it was, I, I don't know if it was officially launched only last year. You might have seen it prior to that. I don't recall. Um, but look how amazing that is. Last, last when? Last, that's right, because it didn't land for Tucson. That's right. So it wasn't launched until about seven months later. That makes sense. And they were tiny, tiny, tiny quantities, and they sold out. The biggest quantity that we had then was 40. These three, three strands today, the lowest quantity is 70. The biggest is 150. I can tell you that each of these pieces, really, there's 100 of the rounds. How amazing. I want to get a couple of those mm -hmm. strands. You know, because think, think spring and summer is around the corner, isn't it? You know, when, I don't know about you, you wear your floaty maxi dresses, maybe a denim jacket, something like that. You've got your shades on, your sandals, whatever it is. I don't know, you might be in a beer garden or off to a wedding or whatever. Imagine your spiny oyster literally around the neckline. It's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It, 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 yeah, it, it, it conjures up images amazing. Artists, for me, you can almost see that uh, uh, Picasso inspiration, this wonderful, uh, this wonderful sort of reconstitution. To, uh, reconstituting, I can't say that, reconstitution um, of beautiful gemstones. Yes, it absolutely reminds me of Gaudi. There we are. Yeah, you've, uh, that's in Barcelona. Look at that. How I've been to Barcelona. How have I not seen this? Look at how beautiful. The artist Gaudi designed the whole garden. How beautiful. It conjures up images like this, doesn't it? So visual, so striking. A hundred of the rounds. We've got the trapezoids and also the pears. Anne and Sue have created the most beautiful jewellery. Look at how lovely. Pieces of your wonderful, vibrant... Spiny oyster, again, you see those oranges and reds. They are the most desirable, usually the most expensive, with beautiful, beautiful pieces um, of your turquoise, all reconstituted in this wonderful copper, um, copper-like colour. Are you ready for this? Now, I expect these all to sell out. When we only had 40 of them, when they were launched, what, in, in July last year, um, you haven't seen it since. These are brand new. This is the official relaunch. If you've seen like, the odd strand on our website, that will be the same ones that we launch, maybe, where we'll have one or two available. Are we starting with the rounds? Let's do it. Let's do it. There's 100 available. We're going to give you a countdown, though, so everybody has the same chance. 100 seems oh, like a massive definitely. quantity. Believe me, it's not. That can still absolutely fly out the door. Look how beautiful, Claire. They are, aren't they? It's like a, the perfect marriage of the two colours. I love it. I've only ever seen it in um, cabochons before. I love these. Oh, yes, we did have it in the cabochons. Yeah, yeah, I've not seen it in anything else. It's wonderful that you've got these drilled different shapes. And I don't think you need to reinvent the wheel with this. No, I think gosh, really no. really simple. No. Because you've got something that is so, so amazingly visual. Yeah. Um, you could, I don't know, would you go for the orange silk or would you go for maybe a turquoise coloured oh, silk? Oh, I don't, yes, or, it's a, yeah. Or would you just literally restrand it with a couple of spacer beads Absolutely. in between? Absolutely, and how lovely the different looks. I love the examples on the presentation, of, you know, with the silver, but I'm seeing gold as well. I yeah, think. lovely. I would, I would, you know, I would go gold. with gold as well. Be quick, though. We have 100 available opportunities. I, I don't remember there being rounds last time. No, I might no. be wrong, of course, but I don't actually recall us having spiny mm. oyster and turquoise rounds. Four to seven millimetres in their graduation. Dial quickly. 100 seems like a big quantity, not, not when it's your deal of the day. It's actually a very, very, very limited deal of the day. Look at how beautiful. Uh, hi, Lorraine. I have this gemstone from Jewelry Maker. It's so unusual. It is, mm. isn't it? It's exciting, I think. Um, thank you for that, by the way. Jill, hello to you in Manchester saying, hi, ladies. I bought most of the shapes in the Spiny Oyster last year. Couldn't resist them, but haven't cut into them yet. Beautiful gem. I get that. 
I get that, Jill. It's mm. one of those gemstones that you, 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 you're you almost... You need to know what you're you going to make. You just want to keep in mind. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You need to plan it out. This is also look beautiful pearls, don't you think? Yes. Alongside yeah. some pearls. Yes, but go on, Jill. Be, you need to be yeah. wearing it this summer, I think. Yeah. You know, when the sun starts shining, you need to get your spiny oyster turquoise out as well. I think yeah. it's one of those gorgeous... And it shows personality, I think. You know, something this visual, something this vibrant and fun and cheerful. I think it does show personality. Straight away, I can tell you, there are rows upon rows upon rows of you with it in your baskets and on the phone lines. Um, don't let that put you off. Our call centre are absolutely keeping up, to, up, to, up with every single one of you. Sourced from around... Well, it says... It, it was the Gulf of California. So that's where this will actually have been from. Beautiful intensities of color. At 249 pounds, I can tell you that's a steal in comparison to the spiny oyster that I saw over in Tucson last year. We're not stopping there though. Not stopping anywhere near here. But we have to stagger an auction like this. With 100, not a huge quantity, but when we know it's as dem uh, in demand as it is, if we don't stagger an auction like this, we can crash the phone lines, we can melt the website. We are not stopping here. We're just giving you all an opportunity, you know, to ease your way into this auction. There will be lovely viewers who have shopped with us since, uh, since the beginning or have that confidence and trust in us here at Jewelry Maker to take it to the lowest price point. And they know that even though Valerie, Margaret, Jackie, um, London, you customer, you've made your confirmations already, you know you're not paying £149. These are the only rounds that we have, not just today. These are the only spiny oyster rounds that we have in the business, in the entire business. Look at that. Ah, oh, they're that little works of art. That, that mosaic. And, and it's only, but that, that's what I feel like that strand is. Like you can get that overall wow, don't you, from having them all together. And if you use them, you know, like you say, don't, you don't need to reinvent things. You could just knot those, restrand it. But then when you look at them individually, there is so much going on in each, each of those Totally. Recon firstly, the turquoise would have been selected for the best quality and of you turquoise. Can see that. Look how because bright. it's so minimal yeah. of matrix. Yeah. You are not going to put an inferior quality of turquoise into yeah. spiny oyster. Yeah, and as Claire said, you can see it. I mean, look, there's hardly any I mean, matrix post rock within. Yeah, that I've seen, and it's and it's in each and every one, isn't it? Hello to you, Jill. I'll make myself earrings. I think I'll team it with the blue Olmec Jadeite. Wow, and some pearls. Jill, yeah. that sounds amazing. Please send that photograph into the Wall of Fame so we can admire it. How beautiful. Yeah, oh. cut, cut the strand and be brave. Go you on, you it. need to be wearing it. Yeah. It's a beautiful gemstone. Today, you are going to get the only spiny oyster turquoise strand that we have in the entire business and quite possibly in the entire partnership for under £100. Every single one of you that has already confirmed a multi-bought, don't you worry. Everybody will pay that final low price tag. We don't see it very often. Well, you think it's been, what, eight months? Is that right? Eight months since we last had spiny oyster on show. Um, and now, repurchased, I've got three strands, three different mm. shapes and cuts. Today, £69.99. £69. Those flashes, they do look like flames, don't mm. they? How beautiful. You know, earlier on, um, a couple of weeks ago, Dave launched the Phoenix, didn't he? Mm. How, imagine mm. your Phoenix alongside yeah. Spiny Oyster, because yeah. you can see that flame. But it's like you've got, you've got both, haven't you, there? You've got the, the, you know, usually you might have like your, your warm palette or your, your, your cool palette. You've got both, haven't you? And it's a perfect perfect pair. Stunning, stunning. Well done, Susan, Sue, Geraldine, Jackie, Margaret, Barbara, Kath, Valerie, Wiltshire, Ali, Sue, Elizabeth, Norma, Cheryl, Lancashire, Lynn, Pauline, Maker, Lorraine. Did you think this was your deal of the day price? Because it could be, and it absolutely should be. Like I said, my experience of Spiny Oyster at wholesale a year ago, um, just over a year ago, was three figures all day long, all day long. And there was very few traders that actually had this amazing uh, gemstone. Here at Jewelry Maker, today, the relaunch, and it's been eight months in the waiting, under £50. Pounds. 
40% of the stock has already gone. Like I said earlier on, 100 quantity might seem like loads. It absolutely isn't. Um, we've got a lot of collectors saying, OK, thank you very much. If it's under £50, I might as well up my order in terms of quantity. I don't blame you. Simply, re I don't know, knotting it, simple beading, popping a couple of spacer beads in between. Lovely as earrings. I think that's a lovely idea as well. £49.99. It's so gorgeous mm. and so unique. Yeah, and so usable as well, isn't it? You know, like I, I loved, I loved the cabochons. There's loads of you know amazing wire work that you could do with cabochons. But you know, I'm thinking, you know, like Mark's lovely macrame. You could yeah, do that. Yeah. That would work really nicely, wouldn't it? Yeah, just taking a couple. Yeah, just yeah. taking a couple. Maybe I don't know, one or maybe three. Yeah, just having them um, with cord. Uh, loads of different. Um, different mediums you could work with. Stunning, these shapes are also coming up. So let's go back, let's read about that spiny oyster shell because you can really, there he is. I can't make out whether he looks menacing happy, or tearful. Think. You think he's happy? I think he's happy. He does look quite chilled on there, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, chilled, on, sat on his rock. But there's all his lovely, uh, his spines, beautiful spines. Loving that, that intense, gorgeous colour. You can see the quality of the colour in your strand here as well. Um, get involved, 49.99. Joy, Kim, Wiltshire, hello to you, Susan, Ali, Sue. Geraldine says, I'll have three. Maker says, I'll have two. Sean, hello to you. Half the stock has already gone. There's a whole heap of you with it in your basket still. Ross has just said L, even though it says on my sheet. It does say that, doesn't it? Forty nine out on my sheet. That was never your uh, your deal of the day. Hello, Sally. At L, I have the square spiny oysters in earrings as my first ever make. I love it. Wow, says mm. Sally. They sound amazing. Mm. And you can imagine that colour from the ear. Be absolutely yeah. Yeah. beautiful. And you could do the same with this strand. You know, you could just do a little wrap loop, or you could put maybe a flat head pin through the drill hole itself to nice. nice yeah. little studs. Yeah. So much potential. Thank you, Sally. They're absolutely amazing. I'd love to see those. We are going lower. Producer Ross did say on my star buy sheet that it was going to be $49.99. He was pulling my leg again, wasn't he? He's back from Prague. Back from Prague. Um, and yeah, making an impact right now. We have over half the stock has gone. Again, so many multi buyers getting involved. Beautiful spiny oyster with the most desirable of colors those oranges and reds, those kind of fl that flame like fusion. The most popular of color of your spiny oyster. Apparently, I'd, I'd be intrigued to see it in pink. I would mm. be intrigued. I imagine it's not a powder pink, I think it's probably a pinkish tone, like a tinge to it, like a corally like oh, yes, yeah. color. Yeah. I might be wrong though. Wow, 39.99 for the only strand of round spiny oyster turquoise that we have in the entire partnership. Again, I know this would be hugely popular on our sister channel, especially as you know, this time of year, I think we're all craving the spring and summer months, aren't we? And this yeah. is bringing you the spring and summer months um, in your beautiful jewelry. Denise and Lancashire, Wiltshire, Lanarkshire, Sean, Joy, Sandra, Kim, well done. I've got Anne, Kathy, Julie, Sue, Elizabeth, Norma, Cheryl, well done. This is the only round strand of spiny oyster that we have in the entire business. That speaks volumes. You know, listen, I've got more jade than I have spiny oyster. Mm. I've got more grand digit. Well, I say I as if it's mine. It's not mine. Um, Gemporia or jewelry maker ultimately have got more grand digerite than they have spiny oyster. They've got more rubies. They've got more diamonds. They've got more sapphires. They've got more of pretty much every single gemstone than they have spiny oyster turquoise. 60% of the stock has gone. Oh, Ross. I mean, eight months is a long time, isn't it? It's a long time to wait. And when we first launched it and they sold out and we had, what, 40 of them, and we did say we will endeavor to get more, eight months, our viewers have been waiting. Ross. There's a lot of people with it in their baskets, isn't there? You know what I'm asking, that's why you're rubbing your head. You know what I'm asking? <laughs> Is there anything you can do? Just because I can see so many people with it in their baskets. What do you reckon, Ross? He's thinking. Oh, there you go, there's the answer. 
Thank you, Ross. But know that we are literally making friends. If you see your name on this side of the list, you've kind of forced our hand right now. We can see you there, but maybe we're not quite at that price point. But this is frankly irreplaceable at what you're about to see. Um, eight months we've had to wait for this. Eight months. And ultimately, you've had to wait for this. We should absolutely be stopping. Well, I thought 49 99 was your price. You're getting 40 carats of the most beautiful mosaic, well, that's what they are effectively, aren't they? Of spiny oyster and turquoise, these beautiful reconstitutions that are highly reminiscent of Gaudi's work, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. But Ross has said he can do a little bit more. The only reason he is doing it is because so many of you have it in your baskets already. We shouldn't be. Can I force your hand though, Ross? You can use me as an excuse. That's fine. Just use it to say L put me on the spot and was very naughty and produced from the floor. <laughs> he, let out, he let out a little yelp. Yeah, there, didn't yeah. he? Oh. That's, That's really incredible, bad. isn't it? I'm just looking at this here. We talked about the gold, hadn't we? It looks so, so such a nice with the graduation. Gold. Yeah, it's so beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. What we are making right now, jewelry makers, as you know, look, we are a business. We, you know that. We're a shopping channel. Of course, we've got to make profits. Of course, we do. Otherwise, we can't broadcast to you. We can't show you amazing demonstrations yeah. if we don't make profits. However, do you know what we're making right now? And this is equally as important, friends. We are making gemstone and jewelry making friends. That is all. Yeah. How fabulous. Eight months in the waiting, but it was worth the wait for sure. The only round strand of spiny oyster turquoise um, that we have in the entire business, you know, because they are so visually striking, you could literally just have one. I think I was just thinking, I was thinking, you know, when we did the extendable bangle yeah. and just, I mean, you know, with that design, you can have a lot, you can add lots to it. I think I'd probably just have one nice. because you would, you would study it, wouldn't you? Because yeah. all the, all the, you know, how much is going on in, in one well, look. on a head pin. They're absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. Look at that turquoise as well, come next to that. Just heat. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the most desirable colour of a spiny oyster are these oranges and beautiful reds. We will be set we will sell out of these for sure. For sure. Um Hi, ladies. Couldn't resist, resist these. They're stunning, says oh, Teresa. Lovely, they are but, stunning, yeah. Teresa. And you know what? They look amazing on our screens, on our recording here in the studio, but wait till you get them home. They, you become obsessed with spiny oyster, I think, and just conjures up of tropical destinations and glorious sunshine. I don't know, it's quite cheerful. Um, these are on the verge of selling out now. Amazing. We're actually over allocated, um, and that's how many we've got. So, maker on the phone lines Lorna, Diane, uh, Diana, sorry, Lynn, West Midlands, Amanda, Julie, Sue, Elizabeth, Norma, Cheryl, Sandra. I can see you. If you've got your name on, um, if I'm reading out your name right now, um, you might not have checked out, although saying that, Sue, you just have done, and so has Norma in Devon, and Maker's just got three, amazing. Um, hello, Sally saying, thanks so much. Now I can make it, uh, a necklace to go with my earrings. This price is wow, fabulous. Yeah, Please yeah, send yeah. us a photograph, yes. Sally. We'd love to see that uh, those pieces on the wall of fame. You never know, we might also make you a little bit jewelry maker richer. How fabulous is that? Vivian, well done. Lorna, well done. Valentina, and Lancashire, Kathy, Wiltshire, Lanarkshire, Sean, Sandra, Kim, Susan, Ali, Geraldine, County Antrim, hello to you, Gillian and Frederick in my home county of Monmouth, Teresa, well done to you, I can't keep up with you, um, hello Kent, um, there are nine left, it's going to say those two words in a matter of moments, sold out, so make sure you check them out, now I've got two strands, still got two strands to bring you, Because this is that necklace, isn't it, Ross? Mm. Yeah, it is. You know, the one that I, uh, this, the one, that's it. It would have been probably about two years ago. I don't know where time goes. Um, and I spoke to, I had a meeting with, with Jake Thompson and said, right, Jake, um, you know, he invited me to go over to Tucson. He was like, right, you need to pick some gemstones that you're going to try and purchase over in Tucson, learn about over in Tucson, and obviously sort of relay back. 
Um, and I found this piece of jewellery. This piece of jewellery really is what inspired the purchase of Spiny Oyster. Now, as it happened, we weren't able to purchase the Spiny Oyster at Tucson, and it actually took us a, a half a year to get it, but get it to your screens. But this piece that Anne and Sue have created is very reminiscent, mm. only better, I think. Because actually, the spiny oyster here, you actually look in a very shallow part of the, the, the actual shell itself, aren't you? Um, and it's lovely. It's nice. I, I, I like that piece of jewellery, hence why, hence why I showed it to Jake. But I, I prefer Anne and Sue's. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Mm. This is nice. It's that graduation, isn't it? But I, th I feel with the um, the one we've got again, it's a, you've got a larger surface area, so you're seeing all of that. Seeing more of the patterning, yes. aren't you? Yeah. They are so beautiful. We're actually better off looking at it on. Here we Look go. Look at that. Just because, yeah, because um, my the tassels are all covering the, that one. So let's show it here. It's easier. Look at that. Um, or in Anne and Sue's. Oh, it's a bit Gustav Klent as well, isn't mm. it? You can see yes. a little bit of that. Yeah. Look at those colours. You've definitely got the red. You've definitely, definitely got the red. How many have we got of these? What? Pardon? Have we ever had a quantity like that before? Claire, you could... Gallery wire. I was just thinking. I, I love how they are. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, can you imagine rings with that? Because that's, <gasps> a, that's a, they're slabs, aren't they? And, you, and you'd be just. Did staring you just hear what I heard? Yeah, I did. Did. One of the things that we said on the original launch of Spiny Oyster Turquoise that it was that we will never get big quantities. Mm. It is still to this day, in the same way as it once was, free dived for. Granted, the divers have got you know oxygen tanks these days, but it's still free dived for you have the rarest of colors here in your oranges and reds but this is morning all i missed out eight months ago so ha uh, so happy bunny today well oh, done amanda lovely. amanda you're not alone like we've had quite a few of those yeah. messages today oh, that's wonderful isn't Do you know it? what amanda there's 160 of this strand I, I the reason why i'm shocked is because we were taught we were told when we were trying to source this gemstone we'll never have big quantities of it so 160 is huge. And that, you might think, okay, well, how does that benefit me right now? Well, it usually means we can bring it to a much better price point. Uh, Ross has just said, L, this is the deal you want to get involved in. You've got a pendant, you've got a pair of earrings, and you've still got two loose stones left over. Yeah, incredible. Yes, it's drilled, but you don't have to use no, it, do you? you're not going to see that at all. I'm just thinking of, um, do you remember when we did, I worked with the rounds, I think it was with you, and I used the, the bezel strip wire to down the middle because you, if you've got the same shape yeah. you could do like a, it's almost you know, like a, a, a 3d well that was what, what piece, that's it? what made me think of it claire is, yeah. is it was you bezel stripping yeah those. oh look at I that i mean look at that I, i'm literally just wrapping a, but you can imagine it on yeah. hand can't you look at how beautiful that is it's a vision of color it's like a bonfire flames of beautiful oranges and reds perfectly complemented with the finest quality turquoise mm. We have 160. The reason why I'm emphasizing and getting excited about that quantity is, A, I didn't think we'd ever have that quantity of spiny oyster turquoise, but B, the fact that I know that that will equate to an amazing deal for you guys at home. And if I show you on this strand, very, I'll, I'll do my very best anyway. Um, if I double it over ever so slightly, Ethan will be able to show you. There's the drill hole. You don't have to use it. If you've got your gallery wire or your bezel it's strip, clever, yeah, or your clever. wire work yeah. even, yeah. Yeah, prong setting you could do as well, couldn't you? Because you're not going to notice that. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Use this time wisely. Even if you make your confirmations right now, everybody will pay that amazing deal of the day price point. We had 160, but already lots of people are getting involved. Do you want to see how serious the deal is? Even though these are bigger, these are bigger, we're going to show you a price that is not where we are stopping. Not like, stopping there. I mean, one pair of earrings would be, wouldn't it? Way yeah. more than that. Oh, and again, and this is perfect. Work. How you know how you say about if you're wearing a lot of dark colours, maybe, and this is a way to, yeah, introduce colour to that stunning. Oh, lovely! Isn't that beautiful? Mm. 
That's, that's, I'm totally feeling like the maxi dress, the denim jacket, glasses, sandals vibe. Yeah. I'm totally feeling that. Literally, that summertime, boho chic. Look how beautiful this is. $29.99 is not where we are stopping already. So many of you are getting involved. They literally caress the decolletage because of how beautifully shaped and carved they are. There is a queue on the phone lines building. I'm not surprised at all. If you, if you can use the web and the app, that would be great. If not, bear with our amazing call centre and they will um, absolutely, absolutely get to you as, as, soon, uh, as soon as they can. 24 24.99 seed pearls as well that we've done that, oh. that, would be, that would be really nice wouldn't it Keshi seed yeah. pearls yeah your seahorses your carvings yes. your Amazonite yeah. that's coming up yeah. today 24 pounds and 99 pence only for some of the biggest spiny oyster that actually even you know looking at those photographs the pieces that we saw elsewhere beautiful take you know i mean that's an, an enormous piece of spiny oyster there that one that big statement ring but these these this, these bangles uh, uh, again loads of silver beautiful pieces they're little slices mm. though aren't they yeah little yeah. slices we've got a massive quantity ross we've done it though that's surely the quantity price can you Should we pay a premium for this? Yeah, there's turquoise. Turquoise is not inexpensive. Spiny oyster, which is literally free dived for. A beautiful work of art in terms of their, you know, their composition. But because we have the quantity, and we literally would have snapped up every single one of these strands that we possibly could, we pass those savings on to you. Never. Ross has just asked me the questions, L. When I told you that we had spiny oyster today at, in today's show, did you ever think it was going under twenty pounds? Definitely not. Or if I did, I was thinking one individual piece. You know, it'd be maybe a cabochon, mm. one yeah, solitaire, yeah. and a smaller cabochon at that. No, I wouldn't have thought strands. Wait a sec, I can get both of these now. If you're making that promise, Ross, that means I can get the rounds and these for less than 50 pounds. That should be the price of the round strand on its own at Jewelry Maker. Outside these four walls, you can multiply that considerably. Um, there is a little bit of a queue forming on the phone lines, but it is minimal. Our call center are on it. They know how much you love your spiny oyster turquoise. As do we, we had 160 at 20 pounds. That's so good. So, so, so good for this beautiful gemstone. It's eight months in the waiting, eight months. You can still add a couple of the rounds if you wanted to, so you can get both of these oh, yeah, I love for it. under £50. How amazing is that? It looks like loads of, um, I don't know, koi carp tails, doesn't it? Swishing, oh. they're, in the, in the, they're in the... I can see that, Claire. Yeah. They're beautiful. They've yeah. got they've got wonderful flashes yeah, of orange. Of, yeah, and red, there's a they? movement in in each piece. And when you're looking at the recording, you can see it on the edges as well. So it's the front section, but the edges as well. Like wonderful movement. Hello, Teresa. Saying hi again, ladies. Wasn't going to get anything else today, but how could I resist this wonderful deal? Uh, they remind me of uh, Clarice. Oh, yes. uh, uh, Clarice, Clarice Clip. Clarice Clip. Yes. yes, that's the uh, pottery, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they do. Clarice Cliff. Uh, um, she does. Yes, oranges and reds, yes, isn't it quite a yeah, lot? Yeah, lovely. They do. Yeah. Isn't it funny? There we go. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Teresa. Yes. Um, beautiful, yeah, beautiful amounts of colour. Isn't it funny? They're all reminding us of amazing artists, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. And I don't so think there's going any on, right or there? wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful. Works of art. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Now, these are absolutely flying out. Elizabeth saying, wow, amazing price. Got mine. Well done to you, oh, um, joy, Liz. Yeah. They are absolutely beautiful. And, and again, just so wearable, aren't they? It's not something that you see on every single high street. I always say that when we're talking about something, um, uh, something, you know, as rare and exciting as this, because we are talking about something that is, you know, um, uh, 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 I don't know, it's not abundant. Diamonds are abundant. Mm -hmm. There's no two ways around it. it. They are abundant in comparison. These are beautiful, beautiful, closely related to your scallops. Oh. But with menacing spines yeah. and vibrant colours. Also edible as well. 
under 20 pounds we're in our fourth row of names so good luck to those of you that haven't yet checked out jackie kim cheryl gale janet carol janet patricia merseyside uh, uh manchester fiona barbara dawn sylvia wendy sean julie susan lorraine marion hello to you norma ali maker in lancashire mary well done shona keep on dialing through because i've still got one more strand to bring you oh scallops with like a pea puree mm. It's really nice, lovely, oh, and bacon bits, mm. delicious. Mm. Black pudding, it's nice with as well. Oh, or oh, chorizo, yeah. Right, the last. We've just got onto food again. Everything goes yeah, back to food, yeah. doesn't it, with us? Oh, these are beautiful. And if you've been admiring this amazing necklace that Anne and Sue have created, then start dialing nice and early. Did you say we haven't got quantity of these, Ross? 70 it's still big it's still a big quantity for spiny oyster turquoise that is still a significant quantity these are those beautiful they're flat on the reverse so they're going to follow the uh the neckline sit beautifully on the neckline or the hand or the wrist wherever you want to wear it Ooh, look at and we're going to go straight down to a price point that you are not paying today they're beautiful aren't they have you got a favorite do you know i'm finding it really really difficult because i love that it's round but then I also love the the shape and the and the size and that big surface area of the last jump. But then again, you've got it with this one, haven't you? And I don't remember the what the, area uh, exactly. They, these are they appear larger, but I think because of the width of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know which what the price points were when we first launched Spiny Oyster Turquoise. I'm fairly sure they weren't twenty nine ninety nine though. I'm fairly confident about that. I've got seventy available. You're beautiful. We've described them as hearts, but for me, they're more drops. Would you agree? Mm. For me, they're more drops than they are hearts. Whichever way you want to look at it, I'm sure you could turn it into, um, into a heart. Look at this. Look here. Look at these colours. Remember, oranges oh. or reds are the most desirable colour of spiny oyster. And you have those oranges and reds. Today, we have 70 of these opportunities and we are going to get this also under £20. That's incredible. So that tells me, lovely jewellery makers, I can get all three strands, simple maths, all three strands for under 70 Is that right? Sixty-five to be more. No, seventy. Yeah, I was going to say seventy, because the rounds are what twenty. No, twenty-nine ninety-nine, nineteen ninety-nine, nineteen ninety-nine. How amazing that you can get all three of these for that incredible price point, which should be the price. Should be the price for just one of these gorgeous strands. What a collection! Look at that. I know. And you could use them individually, couldn't you? Absolutely, because that, that one that we look, I, I could see floral, floral designs and that. It looks like an impressionist rose or something. It does. Yeah, it's wonderful. You know, at the beginning of the, um, I'm going to go off on a tangent a little bit here, so do forgive me. You know, at the beginning of Beauty and the Beast, I've got Disney, yes. I've got Disney right at the front of my mind yeah. at the moment because obviously I went to Disney on ice yesterday. But, you know, at the beginning of Beauty and the Beast, when you see that they are literally telling the story and it's all that stained glass at yes, the beginning so, yes i can see that yeah i can see yeah. stained glass windows all yeah. those beautiful colors under 20 pounds for your beautiful full drops they have the flat back so you could use them maybe as treat them as cabochons if you wish yeah. treat them as individual pendants if you wish jacqueline Teresa, mary and jerry ali pauline jill pauline cheryl sue cheshire valerie hello to you Teresa, new customer ivy jean hello to you pauline these i only have 70 of this strand um it is quite limited they are all very 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 limited and and again just for those of you that have just tuned in we'll probably have to wait another eight months until we see it again and that's the uh, that's the unfortunate reality of something as be as beautiful as visual as this i mean if you think all the messages that we've had into the studio about this strand it's conjured up images of uh, uh, and um reminded us of certain designers haven't they mm. around the world and artists um absolutely beautiful well done stay where you are now i can actually show you the strand from the launch last year 
Do you want to know how many we have of this strand? Ah, oh, just teens. It's marginally smaller. So these are two and a half to six millimetres. And if I put the other strand that I've just brought you, here it is. So if you wanted, the reason why we're bringing this to air, because they are, there's literally teens. But how lovely would that be on this strand to create a longer line graduation? Mm. Yeah, mix the two. You'll have yeah. to be quick though, because these, the smaller strand, the original spiny oyster round strand that we had um, is incredibly, incredibly limited. 24 carats, again, you can see that amazing quality that we will be, you know, as always, with all your gemstones, we will always endeavor to bring you the best, most sought after colors and qualities um, that are out there. But, you know, sometimes the most desirable comes at a premium. Not today, though, it seems. In 18 seconds, we are going to bring you the last remaining quantity of this beautiful strand. So you can see these are smaller, uh, 2.5 millimeter to 6 millimeter. Again, would be absolutely beautiful if you want to create that longer graduated necklace. Or maybe, I don't know, I don't, has the round from the, uh, the round strand we launched? A couple. There's only a couple. It will be a sellout, though. So this might be your only alternative. Or vice versa. Wow, $24.99. Wow, that's less. It is less. Cheryl, Lorraine, Carol, Sue. We didn't launch it at $24.99, though, did we? I don't think we did. Cheryl, amazing. Her Herefordshire, hello to you. Mary and Jerry, you've got yours. Ali, Geraldine, Sean, Cambridgeshire. Good luck. We only had literally teens in terms of the quantity of these. Um, they are marginally smaller again, so maybe you wanted the more petite look. Maybe you were thinking about these. Uh, maybe you were thinking about creating a longer line necklace with the previous mm. rounds. Um, hello, Jill. Looks amazing with antique bronze wire. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think it goes with all the all the metals, yeah. don't you? I think it'll look lovely rose. I think it'll look beautiful yellow gold, as Anne and Sue are demonstrating mm. here. I think it'll look beautiful with your silver as well, as we've shown on those photographs. Um, it's pretty much sold out, I think. Has it sold out? On the way. Um, oh... Yeah. Yeah. The turquoise rounds. The turquoise. Mm -hmm. See this? So maybe you want to make this. Instead of using spacers, which is what these are, how about if we said you can actually use turquoise? That's a wonderful strand, isn't it? Look at that blue usa turquoise a mega deal minimal matrix no Ooh. how shall i say it out loud how many have we got okay no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say it out loud but this is one of the best star buys I've ever heard of in turquoise, ever. You only have to look at our sister channel as well, who bring amazing turquoise with, with their beautiful jewelry at the most incredible prices, they really do. I, I, I reckon if I was in a room with any of our sister channel employees, they would be rolling their eyes at me, but I will say it out loud. We are about to bring you USA turquoise. It's available on pre-order right now. I'm not going to tell you exactly, but probably the lowest price you have ever seen on USA Turquoise Rounds. And it's up next. With little to no gemstone knowledge, we know that turquoise is an expensive stone, right? It's yeah. an expensive stone. Um, it's very shallow forming. It forms in some of the world's most arid locations where literally the earth seems to be craving some kind of rainfall. You know, think about Arizona. Um, uh, think about the Arizona desert where you see multiples of different turquoise mines. That's where this beautiful gemstone has more than likely actually been sourced. But that's exciting that it's coming from that location for many reasons, actually, because 
whichever the mind might be, and it might be Cochise, it might be Kingman, it might be Sleeping Beauty, um, this is a location that unearths turquoise with minimal matrix. Matrix is host rock, and I, I, let's, let's have a look at that necklace that we saw, that we showed earlier on. This necklace, lovely, and again, inspired the whole purchase with Spiny Oyster, um, but you'll see with those Heshi beads, they are, they have that matrix pattern, don't they? And we're looking, I know we're looking at the side profile, but they have the matrix, which is the host rock, how the host rock formation running through your beautiful treasures. The less of that host rock, the better, the more desirable the gemstone is. So if you imagine pigeon blood being the most uh, desirable color of ruby or cashmere blue to a sapphire, Robin egg blue is the most desirable color of your turquoise. And that, I say without any hesitation, is what I have draped over the back of my hands. The blue is that good, it beats the seed beads, which are imitation. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. yeah these, these are described as turquoise seed beads. They're glass. And that's literally a bit of dye. It's still lovely. And I'm not being insulting to seed beads. They've absolutely got their place. But this is a genuine gemstone. And it puts the seed beads to shame. Mm. And also, look how perfectly it matches the quality of the turquoise. Yeah. This is, I'm fairly confident, the lowest price point you may have ever seen on genuine turquoise in history. I just, it's a big claim, I know. It is a big claim, but I know what it's going to. For rounds of this quality, like for like quality, when you've got robin egg blue like this, when you've got, I'm not saying none, minimal matrix like this, when it's electrifying in its glow and its vivacity, and uh, you know, compare with ourselves. Three, four years ago, a strand like this would have cost probably 129, 149 pounds on our screens, wouldn't it? Yeah, with that vibrancy throughout the whole strand, because it is consistent, isn't it? It would have been it's a triple yeah. figure strand. Yeah. Do you agree, yeah. Claire? Yeah. Did you hear what it's going to? Yeah. Do you yeah. agree with what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Start dialing yeah. through, everybody. If you love your turquoise, there's never been a better day than today. 20 carats of beautiful robin egg blue. Perfect. Three to four millimeter rounds. You could do looming. You can do weaving. You could do your kiss cross. You can use them as little individual spaces. Uh, we're going to show you on the first price drop where we think we should be here at Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, and, not, and even more that than that, there are so many things that we've discussed right now, but you can buy from Jewelry Maker safe in the knowledge that it is precisely that. Because you know that our gemstones are laboratory certified and tested. You are not going to get this home and go, ah, oh, it's not turquoise, it's howlite or magnesite, or even, even worse, it's an imitation stone. And there's nothing wrong with magnesite or howlite, by the way, as long as they're sold as magnesite and howlite. Mm. This is not imitation. It's not a sea bead. It's a genuine gemstone that forms within the Earth's surface. And it's rare. Here would be awesome, Ross. Absolutely awesome. That would be this quality. That would be a deal of the day or a star buy at the very least. It's nowhere near, though. Do you know, Claire, I'm going to put this necklace down for a second. You're going to do a stacker. I think that's what you I know would. me for. You know that's me what so I, well. I would do. I, yeah. And I, absolutely, Perfect. out of this strand, Claire, yeah. I reckon I could make us both one. Yeah. Pop that's a lovely. Pop yeah. a couple of spaces in there as well. Look how beautiful that yeah. is. That's that colour is amazing, isn't it? Do you think that would be online or, or for sale at forty nine ninety nine? No way. It's going to be considerably more than that. Shall I tell you what, Ross? Can I ask for my PowerPoint? Um, only because I want to. I want to show everybody at home, and I'm sure you know this. That's why so many of you already have shopped ahead and pre-ordered, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But let's make talking of quality and price points. Let's look at some celebrities wearing this gemstone on the mm. red carpet, which, let's be honest, have got pretty deep pockets, haven't they? You know, I'm fairly yeah. sure, I'm fairly they sure. The best Here we the go. Kate yeah. Blanchett, very successful actress, part of the Lord of the Rings. Um, look at the quality of hers. Absolutely amazing. That's Tiffany's, by the way, that piece of jewelry. It's got aquamarine in there as well. Mm. Look at the quality of yours. This one's Heidi Klum. Looking beautiful, would you agree? The quality of, of your turquoise strand. Beyonce. 
Amazing jewellery, beautiful jewellery. Again, the quality's up there. Taylor Swift, looking lovely. As always, she really suits turquoise, actually. I think her eye colouring and skin tones. Look how beautiful. This is better quality. Megan Fox, what a stunner. I'm going to say it again. I think yours is better quality. Eva uh, Mendez, thank you. Yours is definitely better quality than this. In my eyes, anyway. Uh, Cameron Diaz. I realised after I included this photograph into the, web, into the PowerPoint, they're not actually turquoise. They're seed beads. Or well, I think so. I think they actually are seed beads. Now, I, I love this piece, this photograph, for many reasons. The quality, but can you also... I didn't notice it first. That's, that's um, Sarah Jessica Parker... But that's turquoise, which has been carved. Can you see? Mm. That's a master carved pair of turquoise earrings. They're absolutely beautiful. But you've got better colour. Better colour. Last but by no means least. Yeah. Dan. There he is. He's your hero. <laughs> Here's Dan's hero. There's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> there he is. Rocking, rocking his, his turquoise. Again, look at the quality of the colour in his beautiful piece of jewellery. And likewise with yours. Oh, oh, we have Cher back in the day and Scarlett Johansson looking amazing as always. Destiny's Child, that's Kelly Rowlands, yeah, wearing beautiful turquoise. And finally, you've also got Jennifer Lawrence. Um, can't stop wearing this vintage Dior necklace. Again, look oh. at the colour. Now look at yours. Yeah. Yours is more vibrant. The more vibrant your rob robin egg blue is in the turquoise, the more desirable the turquoise is. Anyway, we're not even stopping. We are not even stopping at £49.99. We are going even lower. Good luck to each and every single one of you because, again, historically, this has to be one of the best deals that we've ever brought you for turquoise. There's no way about no two ways around it. Turquoise is a considered stone. The history of this gemstone changes on a regular basis, and that's because it is so shallow forming. Compare it to the likes of your tanzanite. Tanzanite, we're digging at, de at depths what to the... Uh, uh, Burj Khalifa now we're, we're literally dig into those kind of depths not far off Everest itself to in a quest to get more and more and more and more and more pointless exercise doing that with your uh, with turquoise because it's shallow forming sorry Snowden <laughs> did I say it? did I say Everest sorry Snowden B bit of a difference there yeah um we're at 29.99 and we're not stopping there either there's a, reason, there's a reason why I said it's got to be one of the best deals we've ever done. There is a reason. Because we're not even stopping here. Claire, how often do you see turquoise? Maybe, no, excluding your nuggets. We don't see it as much, do we? We don't. And how often do you see it at 29.99? And no, and, and not in rounds as well. And not, like I say, that, that, you know, that, the uniform colour, it's throughout, isn't it? It's throughout the strand. You could use every single one of those. Any part, any part of your jewellery could be focal. The more focal vibrant color. the robin egg blue, the more expensive <clears throat> yeah. and desirable the turquoise yeah. is. And yet we're going lower. There was how many, sorry, Ross, remind me? A hundred available opportunities. We bring this to you on the back of your dealer day because it is the most perfect marriage alongside your spiny oyster turquoise. Oh, my goodness me. I hope, I hope, I, if you're a turquoise lover, I hope you've already dialed or you've already made your confirmations. If you haven't, you're thinking, eh. I get it sometimes. It takes, it takes me some time to almost register what's going on and the sheer, you know, enormity, I guess, of this saving. Hi, Gloria, saying hi again. I have this strand and paid lots more. Um, I love its colour and the light, uh, the light matrix. Yeah. Absolutely. Gloria, me too. Yeah. Me too. I've paid With significantly you, uh, yeah. more than what's on your screens right now. Do you know what? I think we need another 60 second clock on your screen. At the end of this sec 60 second clock, we will take it. And I'm going to say it out loud. Under £20. We used to bring you turquoise nuggets 
which were la lesser colour, still beautiful, much more matrix full, still lovely, don't get me wrong. We've brought you nugget strands at higher price points than that. Now, can you see why I think this is probably one of the best deals that we've ever done in turquoise? Rounds particularly, because they're expensive, you know, they're expensive, they're very wasteful. Think how turquoise forms, and I think we've got a photograph of that, haven't we, Roscoe? the photograph of turquoise formation. It settles between rocks, cracks and crevices between the host rock itself. So here we go, you can actually see where water has literally sort of trickled down. Now, if you think about it, what's the most economical way of cutting this gemstone? It's gonna be in slices, it's gonna be in ovals. Um, again, I'm reiterating the conversation that I had about a year ago um, when I wanted to bring you uh, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise when I went over to Tucson. I was told you can't do it in rounds, it has to be an oval um, because it is so expensive. You are getting rounds though in this entire strand. Here it is, as promised, mad deal, mad. Best deal ever, 19.99 so Claire. good, isn't it? And the thing is that, you know, you think about, um, you'll have whole shops, won't you? You know, it's such a popular, well-known stone. Love it with amber as well. Yeah, I was thinking, so amber, maybe you'd have entire boutiques of turquoise, you would. It's so, so popular. This with pearls. Yeah. This yeah. with your spiny oyster. Yeah. If this doesn't sell out, I'm not just going to get one strand of this. I'm going to be multi-buying yeah. on this opportunity because yeah. you don't see it very often. It is the only um, turquoise strand that we actually have um, available for you today. Can I also just show you this that's coming up a little bit later oh. on? It's absolutely gorgeous. We launched it only a couple of days ago. Look how lovely that is. Oh, that's is. incredible. Yeah. It's on the website. It's £20, very limited. It flew when we first launched it, and there is an amazing necklace if you wanted to sort of use them together i think that would be absolutely amazing both under 20 pounds sylvia virginia erica hello to you samantha west midlands mary and jerry sue susan mary mary valentina maker in essex amazing virginia shona lorna valerie victoria muriel patricia lorna Teresa. i can't keep up with you amazing look at that quality of blue um i mean I, that's it's got to go down in history as one of the best possible deals. If it was if it was turquoise, which was heavily matrix, kind of light, maybe a bit greenish in its colour, it is less desirable. But you know, I'm saying it out loud. The the more desirable colour is this robin egg blue, and you've got some which are completely matrix free, under twenty pounds today. Fabulous, well done. Make sure you do check them out. They are getting quite limited. They will go absolutely beautiful alongside your spiny oyster turquoise. Um, coming up. Up in the next hour, we've got a collector's opportunity, a gemstone we really, like your spiny oyster and turquoise, really ever get the chance to talk about, um, and that's aquapraise. So we've got aquapraise, like just a couple of strands, tanzanites to bring you, morganites to bring you as well, um, paparaccia sapphire to bring you, um, and we've also got some beautiful jade eye. At 12 o'clock today, you've got absolutely stunning masterclass. Can we show the jewellery actually? Because it's so beautiful. I don't think we have it as of yet. Absolutely amazing jewellery and carving. These are coming up at um, 12 o'clock today with our gorgeous Claire. Make sure you check out your baskets on your spiny oyster and your turquoise and don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. 
Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones, unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. You really do have a collector's uh, choice selection right now. Mm. Aquapraise. I, I love this gemstone and I, it's really exciting to hear, you know, we've literally been there from the moment, have we, with Aquapraise? Certainly if you've been with us for the past uh, however many years. You know, since it was first discovered, and many of our audience, you know, are not just jewellery maker viewers, they actually shop across different channels, you know, both our channels as well. You know very well uh, Yanni. Um, in fact, I know he's been here on your screens as well at Jewellery Maker because I had the privilege back during the pandemic of uh, Yanni Skyping in. And little did I know that Yanni is actually a jewellery maker as well. Is he? Yeah, he's really passionate about oh, jewellery making. Wonderful. So a lot of the pieces that Yanni wears himself, he has made himself. But it was Yanni, and uh, I will explain if you've not heard of Yanni before, um, who actually discovered this amazing, uh, amazing gemstone. So, but upon its discovery, here he is. You can kind of, you can find him, follow him on Instagram. You might just about see him in that photograph there. Um, yeah, every Le'Veon collector seems to uh, gravitate to this gemstone. In today's world of mass production and conformity, there is something very genuine about a gemstone that is not treated and is different for every single piece. You know, that's one of the celebrations, and I think this is something we touched on earlier on with your deal of the day, is that, um, um, is that they are all completely unique. Now, the reason why I'm showing you Le'Veon, Le'Veon in uh, um, 2021, um, the trend forecast. Let me just explain who Eddie Le'Veon is. Eddie Le Le'Veon is, if you like, um, I don't know who, I don't even know her name. Was it Anna Anna Win Winterman or something like that? Oh, Anna Winton. Win Winter, yes. Winton, yeah. you know the, the ones. The Vogue woman. Yeah. Yes, People terrifying. Looked, yeah. She is terrifying, absolutely. And I'm not saying Eddie Le'Veon is at all. Um, but she's kind of that, what she says goes in the fashion world, 
Eddie Levion will forecast the trends of the years to come and all the other jewellery houses will follow suit. So here we go. Levion's annual red carpet review is one of Las, Las Vegas Jewellery Week's most glamorous and well-attended events. And while Jewellery Week was cancelled this year and most trade shows have gone virtual or have been delayed due to COVID-19 pandemic, the fine jewellery brand isn't letting the pandemic quash its signature trade event. Levion will stage its first digital red carpet revenue in 2021 trend forecast on a private invite only live zoom session for retailers and super fans on monday the event will be streamed for the public on uh, levion's facebook page the festivities will uh, happen live at a private home in the clinton uh, hill neighborhood of brooklyn new york throughout the presentation the brand will debut more than four and a half thousand new designs that were created to represent 11 key trends of 2021 the revenue will begin with a retrospective of red carpet arrivals from past years, then move away, uh, sorry, move into segments for 2021 fashion trends presented by um, Avril Graham, executive fashion and beauty editor at Harper's Bazaar. Following that will be the 2021 fine jewellery trends presentation, illustrated Zoom style in five mini movies. Then the living room catwalk will commence. Well, here it is. The exotic oh. gem of the year, literally winning. And look, the, look at the look at the the, the model's oh, outfit wow. itself. It's like the gemstone has literally inspired the fabric, doesn't it? Um, so the exotic gem of the year of 2021 was Peacock Aquapraise. And I have to tell you, this is, uh, you get different varieties. You can get the gem jelly one. You can get the one which has got that peacock color. Ernest Jones followed. Like I said, Eddie Levion announces it, discusses it, whatever the gemstone, the trend, the colors might be, other jewelers follows. But what do you notice about this photograph? Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Guess every single one. Immediately, yeah. the world fell in love with Acapraise. In love. And you're very, it's, you're in a very unique um, situation, you know, a, a position, really, um, in the gems. You know, bear in mind, we are talking about, look at those prices, £1,499, um, <clears throat> £1,399. You're in a really unique position right now because you are... Through your relationship and your custom with jewelry maker and Gemporia, you are effectively one of uh, one of a friend of Yarni's, and Yarni literally discovered this gemstone. However, the control that he once had has now gone um, because the mine itself, whilst he was one of the, he was the person that literally discovered this gemstone, it has been bought out. And so, yeah, these kind of prices are literally irreplaceable. Take a little look at this from uh, Levion. Um, 14 carat vanilla gold, aquapraise candy. What's that? Seven to eight carats um, ring with nude diamonds. Nude diamonds, okay. Um, 2,896. How amazing is that? How amazing. Look at this beautiful pendant here. Um, 6,000. I think that's on First Dibs. It looks like a First Dibs website. Six thousand pounds to get hold of that, and you know the accompanying gemstones. We're not talking about, you know, the most expensive diamonds. It's all about the aquapraise itself. Beautiful. It's visual. They're like otherworldly, aren't they? Um, here we go. Thirteen thousand pounds for those amazing aquapraise earrings, but they still sold out. How beautiful. Um, a simple 22 karat gold pendant on a uh, four strand chain, £4,500. You know, that's literally just the aquapraise mm. itself, yeah. and that's yeah. a slice. Um, I do love these earrings. 2,963. Beautiful turquoise. You can mix it maybe alongside uh, the strand that you had just previously. I think that would absolutely work beautifully. Um, Levion, once again, you can see it there. 1,229 absolutely beautiful can you see in this piece as well it's really exciting because um it almost looks like an aerial view of a tropical destination doesn't it you can actually see that level of translucency which is reminiscent aqua praise mm. you know um, which is quite reminiscent i think of uh, um, the most crystal clear tropical seas um but you can also see that chrysoprase color as well within um okay so this is a message a whatsapp message between yanni and dave and i want to share it with you and it's talking about boucheron boucheron is another big brand i used to deal with boucheron many years ago as well they will pay high prices for beautiful gemstones so um a small present for you uh, hang on okay and what's this some information i assume boucheron just launched 
Aha, so this is Dave talking right now. Oh, Yanni's in white, Dave's in green. Okay. Boucheron has just launched Gem Jelly Acropraise. I've been working on this for a while. You can break the news to Steve. That's Steve Bennett, our founder. Amazing. Um, Dave's words. That's amazing, mate. Congratulations. I, th I, um, I think you should. He'd love to hear from you. Uh, one of the hardest things about COVID, COVID has not... Uh, has been not being able to know what close friends are up to and how they are winning. And this is a win. How lovely is that? Uh, we should create stronger gem jelly collections. 100% gem jelly is uh, uh, just became um, super exclusive. Exactly. No more silver. We can't even get the rough. So don't give it away. That's what Yanni is saying. He's basically saying this gemstone has to be exclusive to gold now because he cannot get hold of it anymore. And yet, are you seriously doing these, stra these prices for the strands, what you've just said? Really? Okay. Let's look at a few more pieces. Boucheron. Peacock Acropraise, Deep Sea, Blue Topaz, a new diamond bracelet. What's the love about Peacock Acropraise, the newest gem on earth? It is unique, it is natural, and it just makes you feel good. Absolutely. Look at this. Um, if you're looking for a gemstone where each and every gem is special, Peacock Acropraise is the perfect choice. Every gem is natural. It has a different, unique look. No two are alike. What else makes uh, this gem so popular? The unique combination of colors and matrix, reminiscent of waves crashing on a beach. Give this gem a soothing beach-like feel that you can wear and admire every day. And those are the words of Levy on mm. themselves. Mm. Um, Acropraise, what is it? Well, it's the newest gem discovery on earth and the first new gemstone discovered in the 21st century. This variety of chalcedony, acropraise displays colors, patterns and variations of transparency entirely unlike uh, other varieties of chalcedony. Each and every stone is entirely unique. Patterns are not repetitive, giving each stone its own power and personality. And that's the thing, this is so amazingly distinctive. You know, we've said it about Yanni himself. This is Levion saying this. When was Acropraise discovered? In 2013, legendary gem explorer Yanni Mellis discovered a new gemstone and a unique gem in Africa, a previously undiscovered deposit of blue-green chalcedony. Mellis recognized something special and different about the stone, something unlike any other variety of chalcedony he had seen in his lifetime. Various opinions about the true nature of the stone had previously been expressed by miners and others who saw it. Some suggested it was a chrysoprase Praise. Others even summarized it may be an opal. After several years of studying, the Discovery Mellis uh, submitted samples to several gem labs, including the Gemological Institute of America. After intense studies and testings by the lab, Mellis received a call confirming that he had, in fact, found something incredible. It was not chrysoprase or opal. The lab informed Mellis that his discovery was a new type of chalcedony that had never been seen by the lab before. How exciting. I know. Him. That's wonderful, isn't and it? And we've been part of that journey with Yanni. You know, he's a great friend of ours here at Jewelry Maker. He is often here at, sort of in the studios across the partnership as well. Now, we have this this opportunity for you as well. It's the only strand that we've ever had um, like this. There are two. They're both from our coveted collection because it's the best we could source for you. You get it boxed and presented. Remember the words that Yanni said, no more silver. This has to be exclusive in gold. That's because the likes of Boucheron, Levion are all paying whatever they need to to get hold of this gemstone. And in particular, it's the Peacock Acropraise. Now there are 20 available of the rounds, 20 available of the tumbles. It's incredibly, incredibly exclusive. It's incredibly beautiful. And they are absolutely oh. huge. Oh, look. Yeah. Do you know, all I would do is put this onto a precious metal chain. Mm. I think I'm wear them exactly as is. Mm. And I, I can tell you that if you make a comparison, much like this one here, 
the aquaprase, aquamarine, smoky citrine, tourmaline necklace. You know, there's not a huge amount of gold invest, invested in that. In fact, the, even the prongs look relatively lightweight, don't they? £6,000. £6,000. And allow me just for a second, because that's on a white background. So let me show you here. Look at the quality. See that otherworldly connection? Every single one will be completely unique. Boucheron recently launching them to the world. I have 20 available, one for the collectors and the connoisseurs. You know, 2021, immediately the world fell in love with Peacock Acapraise. You know, even setting the stage, inspiring fabrics of the red carpet. Straight away we have... Uh, collectors getting involved. Now 17, yeah, I'm not surprised. Beautiful graduations. You could literally just put these on a precious metal chain, couldn't you? Um, and away you go. The rarity, those areas of translucency, look at that one there. Areas of translucency, then there's beautiful, bold fusions of colors. Remember the crashing waves? against a crystal seashore. Well, if you look at Levion's photograph, that's exactly what they are describing, aren't they? You can see it in the background. Here, that's amazing. £1,299 for natural aquapraise. The best round we've ever launched here at Jewelry Maker, hence its coveted status. But there's only 20. What would you do with something like this, Claire, of this level of Set, uh, Definitely separate um, one eyed, like you say, on a... On a Buy a gold chain. Mm. Single gold chain. Yeah, yeah. And just one individual yeah, stone. Yeah, Beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to be that, that central one to be that large. It's huge, isn't it? it? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Even here, the fact that you have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine individual solitaires, nine beautiful stones, that you could do the, the simplest of designs... You know, none of them really. If you take a look at the pendant at the top, that heart cut uh, on, on this article, the heart cut pendant just here, it's not massively complex, is it? But lots of them are, are sort of about that. And there's not lots of, um, of the metalwork around it because it it's about all about that. It's about the stone. Stone, yeah. At £499. Beautiful, natural, peacock aquapraise, areas of wonderful gem jelly, that beautiful translucency. And then you have, yeah, like I said, otherworldly patterns. You can almost see um, the crashing waves breaking, can't you? You can see mm -hmm. those flashes of white running through. You can see sort of the, the rocks, I guess, that naturally occur. Areas of translucency and opacity. We are down to the final 14 available opportunities and we are tiptoeing our way down to your amazing collector's price point. Oh, my goodness me. Um, Ross, of all the pieces that we've just shown um, in that presentation, can I ask you, were any triple figures? Oh, here you go. There's one there. In the sale, £799. There's one. Okay. We're about to bring you a whole strand at a double figure price point. There are 12 of these left though. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs, a gemstone. You know, just when you think that you might have all the gems that are available, Mm -hmm. yeah, I've got the most amazing, I don't know, tanzanite, paparaccia, sapphire. You might have those incredible jadeite carvings, which you know I know so many of you do. You know, to add something as rare as aquapraise is really exciting. And again, the history, the story behind it. This is a gemstone, the newest gemstone discovery, first gemstone discovery of, of the 21st century. Half the stock is gone. And we are going lower. Can't believe we said this out loud. Double figure price points for a staggering 35 carats of beautiful aqua praise. If you know Yanni, you'll know how excited and passionate you've seen the literally messages. We've shared WhatsApp messages between Dave and Yanni saying, no more silver. This has to be a gemstone, especially of the quality that I'm holding here before, uh, you know, within my hands. You know, it is that beautiful gem jelly. At Boucheron launched gem jelly aqua praise. I've been working on this for a while. You can break the news to Steve. Um, Dave basically said, no, you should, mate. 
You should. You're winning, and this is a great winning story. How lovely is that? 100% gem jelly is the super is super um, exclusive. No more silver, please. We can't even get the rough. They can't get it. Even without Boucheron actually using the gem jelly, which is what I'm holding right now. Even without that, this is something that's irreplaceable. Something that's completely irreplaceable. Victoria, Samantha, Margaret, Judith, new customers, amazing. Don't forget this is part of the COVID collection. Uh, COVID, what am I talking about? <laughs> Sorry, this is part of your coveted, sorry, I'm talking too fast, coveted collection. So it comes beautifully presented and that just doesn't come with like a uh, um, sort of a willy nilly title. The reason why it is coveted is because it's the best we could possibly source for you in a single strand. Um, down to the final five, Lorraine, well done to you. Judith, amazing. Make sure you check out your basket. Totally and utterly natural that 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 central one is just is, is blowing it's otherworldly yeah, isn't it is it? it is yeah i've got one more strand claire could i have a look at it of course yeah. you can thank you i'll pass that to you oh <gasps> thank you oh this is a tough one for you guys is there only 20 again oh my goodness me i think that there was pendants weren't there which had this exact same color this really beautiful, vibrant green. Oh, beyond that, this is actually better. Look at how beautiful that green color is. Wow. It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. The best we could source Possibly, I don't want to say indefinitely, because like I said, Yanni is a jewellery maker himself. He was really excited to actually join us on the show. And that was during COVID. Mm. So in amongst all this uh, uh, amazing activity and global demand for this amazing gemstone, he joined, uh, I had the privilege of him joining us on the show, Skyping in, talking about his love of jewellery making. Um, you know, we've literally sourced two strands. That's it and 20 of each quantity. You've got to remember we are, we are actually against some of the biggest jewelry brand names in the world, Boucheron. They are all about the gem jelly qualities, which is what you're looking at right now. Wow, we're at a double figure price tag. These are your beautiful smooth tumbles, which again, you'll see there's a lot of these, um, a lot of the pieces that we've actually showed um, are not sort of conforming to your standard calibrations. They tend to be in, in uh, your cabochons rather than any cut stone. And that's because this is, you know, it, 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 it's, it's exciting and visual in its appearance without it confusing it, I suppose, with any facet. There are some which have kind of got your unusual shapes. Um, so if that's what sort of ticks uh, all the boxes for you, then this is the strand for you. It is actually the only other strand of acapraise that we have available. That's it. Once they're gone, they are gone. And if we're not allowed to actually uh, create with this in silver anymore, and I don't know, you know, how that conversation panned out moving forward, and I don't know how Acopraise, um, how available it is on our sister channel, certainly when, in fact, in fact, you know, Ethan, you've, you, you've only just come over from Gemporia. How much Acopraise is there now? Not, not that much. And it's still in gold? Yeah. Mainly in gold? Yeah, we'd still be naughty and doing some in silver when Yarny doesn't look. Um, okay, not that much available now. 69 pounds or 34 pounds and 50 pence. It's so distinctive, that's the thing. So distinctive, a brand new variety of amazing calcedony. You know, think, you think about that. Look at that, that second one, I love that. Which one? The, the second one down. So this is incredible green, isn't it? The, the markings on this one, I know. the interest is amazing. Absolutely beautiful. See those areas of trans translucency yeah. where the light kind yeah. of pools? And then you've got these beautiful like sandy shawl mm -hmm. colors. It's all natural. And you're getting it for a double figure price tag today. I don't know anywhere other than of course Gemporia. Um, that can offer such amazing deals as this. Well done, Samantha. Well done, Victoria. Well done to you, Gail. Well done to our new customers as well. 
Um, how beautiful. Again, instead of, I, I get why Yanni, and Yanni is kind of protecting his baby right now as well mm. by saying that no more silver, please. He is, he's protecting it. He's probably worked really hard, you know, um, working alongside your Boucheron. Uh, and it's understandable mm. that they are saying, right, sil gold only, please. How fabulous is that? Well done, everybody. See. Okay, still got lots to bring you as well. We've got some lovely sterling silver components. Shall we do this amazing piece, which is so unique? We can bring you your traditional curb chains. We can bring you, um, you know, your Figaro's. We can bring you your, um, I'm trying to think of different links now, Belcher chains. We can bring you your cable chains, all the different designs. We can bring you sort of your um, paper link chain. You, you get catchment drift. But actually, sometimes, how about the design element? You know, this doesn't need a single gemstone on it. For me, I think you've actually got that um, look already. Sorry, Adam. Um, but I'm just picking it up because you can actually see it's a lariat style with a really beautiful kind of T-bar at the bottom just there. It is a finished piece of jewellery as well. So as you can see, but you can actually wear it in a multitude of ways. So you can actually wear it kind of longer like so, um, but or just simply like this. Now, again, there's a lot of sterling silver. You have the different tr three different links of chain. You've got a twisted chain just here. You've got more um, of a rope chain, um, and I think it's a belcher on the other side. All that 925 sterling silver. Oh, it says just there. That's making life easier for me, isn't it? Double cable chain and the Singapore. Thank you. Now, there are just 50 of these available. You can wear it in a multitude of ways. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's the like joy that's of a lariat. Yeah, yeah. It does look like two necklaces, absolutely. Not what you are paying. 14 99 And we could do the, the, the usual. We could kind of say, right, pop along to, I don't know, uh, Beaver Brooks or Ernest Jones, have a little look down the high street, maybe pop into sil uh, to, into Tiffany's and Co. Look at the gram weight of the sterling silver and make your comparisons if you wish. Would any of them offer it to you at fourteen ninety nine? I don't know. I'm not going to say yes or no, but I think it's unlikely, isn't it? It is unlikely. Big gram weight of sterling silver, quite intricate. Quite, you know, I like I like the idea of this. It's a bit different, isn't it, in the fact that it's. You can wear it in different ways. You can wear it, have with that lovely T-bar, um, fully stretched, if you like, down the front or down the back. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you can add to it, can't you? Like you say, it's, it's gorgeous on its own, um, but you could absolutely add. There's lots of areas to, to add into. I'm just thinking as well, Claire, would this be easier to put on? It's going to be easier mm -hmm. to put on, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's a T-bar, so you can literally bring it to the front of the neck yeah. and put it on yeah. like so. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah, that's, that's, that's four very grams very of silver. Yeah. That's beautiful. And earlier on in the show, we actually had those really nice um, topaz, didn't we? The sources of topaz. Oh yes, you could add in. Yeah. And just imagine those sort of yeah. that looped into there with some. And have you got? Is it the larger jump ring at the back? Yeah. So, yeah. So you could, if you if you had it that way. Let's bring it to the centre. So you, you could do that, couldn't you? Yeah, like a bubble cluster of those. Um, of those sources uh, down there, yes. that'd be really nice. Yeah, beautiful. And then you can dictate the twist as well, can't you? How much of the twist you have on, on that side. So you put the T bar at the back. Yeah, that's a nice idea. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you could add to this detail as well, couldn't yeah. you? You could put more, more chain if you like down here, mm. more gemstones if you like down here. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. This is one of the heaviest uh, neck. I don't want to describe it as a chain. For me, this is a necklace. necklace Would we yeah. agree? Um, you could absolutely add to it. Being jewelry makers and wonderfully uh, creative, you could. Uh, do your twist to create your version of it or literally just wear it as is. $12.99 again, lots of multi buyers getting involved on this. Um, how many of you, I, I'm, I'm saying this a little bit because that's what I'm thinking when I'm looking at this beautiful necklace, but also because I know it presses Claire's buttons. Um, <laughs> how many of you are doing your Christmas shopping? Oh, yes, I am. Are you? No. Oh. This would be nice to put away. It would be perfect. Presents, wouldn't it? It would be. I know it's only February, Adam. Or well, about birthday then? Yeah? Birthday gifts. You haven't got to worry Mother's about... Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Up. Yeah. Yeah, it's only yeah. 301 days until Christmas Day, you know. <laughs> Mother's Day, 19th of March. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Think of all the birthdays. Yeah. You know? Amazing. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Okay. We've got some more. 
And there are 50 available opportunities in this next opportunity. I'm going to put one of those on there. Oops. You get this. You get, sorry, Ethan, this. In fact, shall I put them all on the desk? That's easier, isn't it? Because then you can see them all. You have your split, sometimes referred to as bunny ear bale. You have the most beautiful La Peregrina S drop. And you have the chain, which is like silk. So all I need to do Bit of glue. is put it together. Yeah. yeah. It's going to take seconds. What? What? Is that right? Why does it say two times though? Oh. Wait, so that's 15 pounds each. How wonderful. I did, it did confuse me, Ross. It really confused me because I was like, okay, which one am I, which one am I looking at here? It really confused me because I could see these in a separate dish. What do you mean you're not done? So they're 50, did you say? Do you know what? How many of you have got an Etsy shop? Not, not all of our audience sell. That's fine if you don't. Um, maybe like me, you gift predominantly. Um, I mean, seriously, though, if you did get an Etsy shop, that's a natural, genuine cultured pearl. These are genuine sterling silver. Fifteen pounds each. All you need to do is a little dab of glue. That's it. Leave yeah. it overnight. Yeah. Job done. You'll, I hope you would charge more than fifteen pounds. They're, they're drop pills, which are arguably one of the most expensive because it's rare for them to form in this droplet shape. You know, fifteen pounds just for the sterling silver chains, which are a classic eighteen inch. The fact we're going even lower. And it's a classic design, isn't it? It's a sort that you, you know you could, if you're going to do wedding fairs, things like that. It'd be great for. Um, that type of jewellery. Um, wow. That's Wait such a, a good price. That's amazing, Ross. Mm. That's £7.50, one-handed jewellery making here. Per necklace. Oh, look at, yeah. See, look, lovely. Look how lovely that is. That's very elegant. Let me hold it up with a pair of tweezers. Wait a minute, Ross. I mean, these aren't glued, obviously, so I do need to do that. I need to secure it into place. But a little bit of jewelry-making glue, that on that chain. How beautiful is that? £7.50. If this were a kit, that's £2.50 per component. That's how we would describe it. How unbelievable. Genuine cultured pearls, not faux, not similar, not plastic. Genuine cultured in that beautiful uh, uh, drop shape, plus the beautiful sterling silver yeah, eighteen inch metal. chains. Yeah, yeah. Seven pound fifty. And each. look at the um, look. At, you've, got, you've even got the thread on the. Um, I mean, some, yeah. of the, some of the pegs you'll get will be smooth, and they work, you know, as well. But the, it's the attention to detail, isn't it? Because you're going to get a lot. It's going to grip a lot better. Purchase peace yeah. of mind. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I tell you what. See, you were all, you're all rolling your eyes at me, weren't you, when I was saying about Christmas? But now, do you see where I'm coming from? <laughs> see where I'm coming from? I mean, it's £7.50. Are we yeah. going to be able to get pearl necklaces at £7.50 in the build-up to Christmas? Well, even here at Jewelry Maker, I'd think I'm going to say it's possibly unlikely. No, there are definite benefits to being... But at that price, yeah. just because. Yeah. You know what, Claire? Popping around for coffee, just because I'm going to bring you a beautiful st uh, oh. uh, sterling silver and pearl necklace. That's lovely. £7.50. Yeah. To make that piece or you might separate each of these components they are flying out though eileen's got two jane's got two valentina's got two samantha's got two julie's got two sue's got two amazing you disappear off the bottom of the screen um and by the way that means you've purchased two so you're actually getting four i know it's obvious but just in case um for seven pound fifty each how amazing uh catherine you've got two well done bristol you've just got two well and grace susan jane valerie herefordshire samantha julie cheryl grace tracy uh muriel lynn london amazing new customers getting involved as well look at the quality of that sterling silver chain you know we've we've we've, we've spoken about sort of our, our precious metal and how competitive we are with our precious metal we will always endeavor to do so <laughs> 
you know, but if you can go to somewhere like Argos and you can get one of their sterling silver chains, you can, can't you? And they're, um, and they're I can't remember, what were they about 15 pounds? Something, they weren't far off what's on your screens right now. And that was one. Samuels, they were 35, yeah, 35 pounds. You're actually getting the two and the two pearls and also the sterling silver bales. Well done, what a deal, fabulous. Um, okay, is that what I think it is? 10 available, natural. Oh, this would be lovely with your acapraise, wouldn't it? Gorgeous, yeah. Put that round in between, oh, yeah. Somebody needs to speak to Yanni about that, don't you think? Mm. Type A, honey. Oh, yellow jade, yeah. It is perfect. The most yellow, isn't it, that we've ever seen? If you got amazing that amazing dragon carving, or if you got mm. some of the red jadeite that was launched this weekend as well, that was absolutely beautiful. Was it red? Yellow and red. Um, oh, it would go beautifully with both of those, wouldn't it? But you know, we were describing because they're very literal about the description of jadeite colours. You know, mutton fat, for example, um, moss and snow. I think is quite quite literal. Um, for me, and I was trying to put my finger on a description of the colour. We, got, I, I think, I, I think I've, I've got there with the red. I would describe it as a cherry tomato red. Mm. And we said with this, it's the egg, egg yolk. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like dippy egg yolk. Yes, colour. yeah. I'd like it even more really if they called it dippy egg. Dippy egg, egg yeah. Look how beautifully vibrant that is. Sweet yellow is the highest in jades. Suet like jade, the white mutton fat jade, the second. Yellow jade is difficult to get while white jade can be seen from time to time. That is why white jade is treasured more than yellow jade because of the former's scarcity. So what this is saying, and it's written in 2014, yellow is rarer than white jade, rarer. Um, Ming played jade, uh, uh, appreciated yellow jade, the most precious of all. To the Qing dynasty, yellow was only monopolized by the royals. The respect by the royals about yellow jade pushed its status to a peak in history. It's interesting, isn't it? Because your red and your yellows, which come under the same umbrella, we know they get this color from oxidization. And we know that it's normally millimeters, if you can see that beautiful color. These are entirely yellow. There tends to be kind of moments or suggestions of yellow. I mean, if you look at the websites, uh, Sotheby's, Bonhams, Christie's, it'll be one of those. That translucent yellow Guan Yin uh, jade pendant sold out. It's not entirely yellow. Um, the one in the middle, uh, I see faint green with vivid honey yellow um, patches, yellow patches, um, jade carved um, at lobster. A beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Gosh, yeah, you can see it. That's the yellows in its tail. Um, I see honey yellow jade eye earrings. They, they, I would say they're definitely yellow, but they're not quite as vibrant, are they? Sold out, sold out, sold out. How about this ring, this cabochon? Vibrant honey yellow cabochon jade eye. I see translucent honey yellow uh, jadeite cabochon. Um, ice jade ring is set into 18 karat yellow gold with diamonds. Um, so what's up us now for the, for the price point? We did. Um, this yellow cabochon uh, priced at 3,800 US dollars. And that's for one single cabochon. Technically speaking, you are getting rounds, full rounds. So it's kind of that double over. I don't know the carat weight of the measurement of that piece. Um, look. Here we go. The only other bracelet we could actually find. I'm, I'm dubious about this one, though. I am really dubious about it. Is it just me? It looks like an agate mm. or it's dyed. I don't, I'm not confident. It's just the fact you've got that perfect red seam running through so many of them. Um, so I would, be, I would be cautious with this one. I think the green is the jade. Yeah, the way it's written, if you look at it, 100% natural grade A uh, jadeite ice yellow beads bracelet. 
I don't know. I'm sure that's maybe the green and the yellow is something else. I don't know. I'm really dubious just by the look on that one. Anyway, regardless, even if it is right, 799 US dollars. It's, it's considered. Yellow jadeite bangle, look at this one, back in 2017, sold for uh, 12,500 US dollars. Again, that's the kind of color that we're aspiring to reaching. Look how beautiful, look how buttery, look how literally egg yolk yellow oh, yeah. um, these are. And they are totally and utterly natural. Now, I have how many of these, Roscoe? 10 available, the final 10 opportunities. If you were fortunate enough to get hold of um, hold of any of the carvings that our amazing team launched you this weekend, the reds or the yellows, I think they'd be absolutely heavenly together. If you got hold of maybe that Olmec blue jadeite strand earlier on, again, I think it'd be absolutely heavenly mm. together. Yellow jade just seems to complement. It comes under the red jadeite umbrella. It forms this amazing colour, very rarely, very seldom, um, purely because it's uh, part of the boulder that has oxidised ever so slightly. But we should expect it to be only a tiny percentage of each and every single one of these rounds there's eight of these left and straight away we've got collectors and connoisseurs getting involved this strand it doesn't get any better than what's on your screens right now if you were to say to me l i want the best of the best of yellow strand that you can possibly bring to me from your vault this is it this is literally it it's not honey it's yellow you know, it is a vibrant yellow. Um, this is the first time this strand has ever been on in 2023, and we could only actually bring you 10. This is premium grade, premium grade. I mean, look, we're comparing it to lots that's, look at that one. I know there's diamonds, it's on a cord. I know there's imperial green. Look at the ring if you want. I'm going to ask you something. Never mind the price, which is absolutely staggering, by the way. What, 14 and a half thousand US dollars? I mean, look at the colour. And now look at yours. Should we look again? It doesn't get any better than what's on your screens. It is the best yellow I've ever mm. seen. Would you agree? And again, it's, a, it's uniform, isn't it? It's consistent across... You know, each and every one, you could pick, pick, pick one out and have that as a focal, focal stone. Ethan... Did you have much yellow jade on gems? I don't think I've ever seen yellow You've never seen it? Gems, no, the green Can you believe that colour? It's amazing, isn't it? I didn't think gems had yellow jade yet. £149. I hope they do get it. Because it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Do you see that dippy egg yellow? Mm. It is, isn't it? I, need, I think we need to spread that one around. If mutton fat's acceptable, I think dippy egg yellow is acceptable for yellow jadeite. Natural, not dyed, not impregnated, certified type A. Definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. The final five that we have within business, Suja, Victoria, Sue, Heather, Sonia. You've done it, sit back and enjoy. There's five of them left. Hertfordshire, Essex, um, anonymous maker, Essex, I can see you there, you want two. Um, Susan in Essex, you're right there. You have to check out these baskets though, otherwise they will be on screen sellouts for sure. I'm down to the final three already. Again, I mean, you know, the re there's a reason why we show you these photographs. It's not necessarily to sort of go, um, it's not just about the price point, which okay, sometimes we do reference, of course, but it's to show you the quality as well, the quality of what you are sourcing right now. You know, never mind the price, never mind. And, and look, it's not entirely accurate anyway, because it would sell more than that now, because that was back in 2015 pre you know uh, the current status of the jade market so it would sell more than that anyway but compare the, the quality of the color that's what's so important right now on your screens you are getting premium grade and it is completely natural suja is up to a quantity well done my lovely nicolette you're there oh you've just got yours i've got two live chances we are over allocated don't let that uh, let that put you off dialing through though there is still opportunity for you to do that um dial our free phone telephone number and speak to our amazing call center it's so beautiful and it's drilled as well isn't it so i mean you yep. can do something you know very complicated with it if you wanted to or just something very 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 simple incredible and if you're happy to mix that you know and wear it alongside other gemstones with some of the, the turquoise that we had oh that'd be know, lovely yeah. i love it with black jade yeah the omphacite yeah. black i think it looks yeah. lovely with yeah. that really nice 
Amazing, well done. Victoria, well done. Now we have some honey jadeite. It's a different color. Mm. You know when you know if you see honey, making my mouth water actually. Um, actually, in ah, oh, what do you call it? In uh, honeycomb. Honeycomb. Thank you. That you know that color. Mm. Um, sorry, when I was on holiday last, actually, they used to bring out honeycombs. And you can literally just scoop it out. Just delicious with yogurt. Mm. Um, okay, so yeah, your honeycomb. It's a slightly darker colour, isn't it? A richer, almost caramelised. Mm. We have a longer strand. This is your honey jade. Again, it comes under the red jade eye umbrella. Um, I've, you, know the, you know the diagram that we've shown you so many times before where it has almost like a cross-section of a jadeite boulder and you have the green which makes up the bulk of the flesh and then you've got that sort of red skin that halos it and surrounds it. Um, yeah. Oh, let's show these actually. Let's show these. Sorry, uh, Roscoe. Um, because look at that. How amazing is that? Two little beads. Look at these, tiny, 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 just a couple on those drop earrings from Mason and Kay. Look at the ring, there's three cabochons, literally cabochons at Mason and Kay. Mason and Kay are really, to the west, the pinnacle, if you like, in jade suppliers. Um, and I know the team uh, met up with them when they were over at Tucson. Look at that. See, this is off there. This is the reason why um, you can see the little video icon is because I screenshotted this when I was watching a story um, when they were at, 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 at Tucson. They were advertising where they are on the booth, but there's literally just a couple of those um, honey tones in that piece of jewellery. And I'm fairly sure that would carry a four-figure mm -hmm. uh, price tag. Now, it's a slightly longer strand. You've got a mixture of your oranges, I think your reds and your yellows. Slightly warmer, slightly sort of deeper saturation. Again, totally natural, no enhancement to this whatsoever. But again, think about that cross section of the boulder. There's a reason why these colors, why red and yellow tones are the rarest colors or one of the rarest colors. A, because it was never stockpiled. We know of that. You can see the red and yellow together on this. This is off Mason and Kay's website. We quite frequently show it. But also, let's read what it actually says down the side. I can read it to you. The boulder skin has completely disappeared from the market as it's the only material that has never been stockpiled. This has resulted in the most drastic price jump that the jade market has ever seen. We strongly feel that it won't be long before the auction record is held by a purple or a red jadeite, which changes everything we have ever understood about jade. That was said last year at Tucson, and it's absolutely coming true. Now, you, there it is. There's that cross-section. There's that cross-section. Remember... Red and yellow, and look at the look at the actual boulder itself. It is that yellow colour. They come under the same sort of umbrella because it's the oxidization that transforms the saturation. This is why it's as rare as it is. A tiny proportion of jade will actually have these warm colours. How many do we have, Ross? There are 30 available opportunities. Four millimetres in their size. It's a full what sorry? 38 centimetre strand, first time on air in 2023, um, a huge collector's opportunity. Again, so much potential with something like this, but you could really keep it quite exclusive, as you said earlier. This would be there. lovely knotted, wouldn't it, with the, you know, the carving that we had earlier, yeah. the really balanced carving. It's natural. Mm. Again, certified, natural, laboratory tested, genuine, type A, Burmese jade art. You've got the rarity of that gemstone, firstly. You're sourcing one of the world's top 10 rarest gemstones when there's over 6,000 different minerals on this planet. You are sourcing one of the top 10 rarest gemstones. And then beyond that, you're getting one of the rarest colors naturally. How exciting is this amazing uh, oh, channel that we are part I of? I know, we're lucky to see it, aren't How we? How exciting. Yeah. And, you know, I'm always reminding myself never to be blasé. 
I know, I know, Adam. I know, I know, I can't, yeah, exactly. Because the reality is 6,000 minerals on this planet, probably more, some of which we don't know about. This is one of the world's top 10. So 10 out of those 6,000. And it's one of the rarest colors that's never been stockpiled. And we're bringing it to air at what will be an uncomprehendable price point. The reason why I showed you the Mason and K pieces earlier on, again, not just to com compare, I wasn't comparing prices, they didn't show any prices, did they? It, it wasn't even necessarily to compare, you know, the quality of the stones, because I'm absolutely confident you'll agree the quality is there. The reason why I wanted to show you Mason and K is because they use tiny amounts. They use one, one in a pendant. Small rondelles. The one with that elephant carving at the bottom. Was it an elephant? Pig. Sorry, pig. The yellow are minuscule in comparison, aren't they? And it's other materials and techniques that, that we do. And, you know, and we Macrame. do that. Yeah, yeah. Jada, maybe that's one of the reasons why we fell in love with Jada, or one of the many reasons, I should say, is because, yeah, absolutely, it does tend to be knotted, doesn't it? It mm. does tend mm. to be, it does tend to be sort of your macrame, your cords, really mm. basic, quite historic techniques yeah. um, in terms of the completion of the jewellery. Yeah, you raise a, I, I agree. We've actually got a bigger carrot weight on this strand. It's longer. Um, they are smaller. So it's all down to what you want. I don't know if there's any of the other one available still. Two, true left of the previous strand. So I'm going to call that the egg yolk yellow strand. This is those honey tones. Totally natural again, even if we were to stop at 999. Longer strand, bigger carrot weight. Should we be doing this? Mm, maybe not. But we're going we're gonna to match the price of the previous strand. The two would be lovely together. And with the um, the rice beads that we have. Oh yes, yeah. I think those earrings were very similar in one of the slides. Do we do we still have that strand? No, the rice beads. The the there's still a couple available. Have a little look on. They there. are those earrings that that are on one of the slides, aren't they? They are that you know, and, and it's just you're using a couple of them. Gorgeous, Dan. Handed them in. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, yes, Claire. So that's using what four of the rice beads? That, yeah, yeah. Four of the rice beads and two of your uh, of your type A yeah. Burmese honey jade. Yeah. And it's it's the colour, isn't it? Look, colours, the scale of both of them together. That is. Look at the shepherd hooks, though. I mean, they're pretty basic, aren't they? Yeah. No disrespect yeah. to Mason and Kay, they are because it's all about the stone. Pretty basic, though. You could recreate those, couldn't you? Mm. £149, and I'm listen, I'm useless at maths, but, you know, you could probably make bigger carrot weights. Well, yours would be a bigger carrot weight than these as well. Even if you sold one pair of earrings for the price that you're paying for this one strand, how amazing is that? Actually, actually, how much was this strand? 99 So, yeah, you could probably cover your costs, I reckon, with one pair of earrings. We had 30 opportunities. It's a bigger carrot weight than the previous. Because of what we said about the rice, uh, the rice beads, even though they, you know, technically this is a bigger carrot weight in, uh, than the previous strand. Yeah, shall we, Ross? Shall we? Shall we? I tell yeah. Ross has just said, shall we take both of these strands under 100, as in separate? So you can get both together for less than £200. And you could do, I mean, I think I'd be tempted to, and that you could do even like half those, couldn't you? If you're going to do earrings, one of the honey and one of the rice. Oh, purely because we've got a bigger quantity. When you say bigger, 30, that's right, sorry. 30 available, Essex, Anna, Susan, well done getting two, Sonia, Angela, amazing. 70 carats of type A natural Burmese jade eye in these wonderful shades of honey. Sharon, well done. Ja oh, I say well done, you've got to check out. Jax, well done. Um, when you check out Anna in Derbyshire, well done. When you Oh, you've done it, well done, lovely. I've got Anonymous Maker, I've got the trade getting involved. That speaks volumes. When you've got trade literally shopping with you alongside you, you know you're getting an amazing deal. I've said it out loud, it is going to a double figure price tag. And also, trade, 
you know, we've mentioned Boucheron and Levion. Do Boucheron have, have, have Honey Jade on their website right now? Probably not. The reality is it's probably too rare for them to have it on their website because they will need a certain quantity to do certain delivery, uh, to deliver certain lines within. You know, it tends to be really Mason and Kay and Pillar and Stone that you can actually source jade like this. Either that or Sotheby's, Bonhams and Christie's, the auction houses, or literally going over to the east. Press your option one, we only had 30. Jack's well done, lovely. Essex, well done. Muriel, well done. Hertfordshire, Sharon, Anna, new customers and, um, as well. Make sure you check out. Congratulations to our buyer in London, West Midlands. Hello to you, Jan. We only had 30 opportunities. And to be honest, I could probably count the amount of jadeite strands um, in the yellow tones that we have in the entire partnership. I don't believe they're actually on our sister channel as of yet. So um, it'll be exciting when that collection actually, or those collections do actually launch. Well done. Absolutely amazing um, price point. Only under double figures because... I've got the drum strand over the back of my hand as well. You know, we played that way a way mm. long time ago, didn't we? Mm. You can still get hold of that as well. So if you love this combination, um, have a little look on our website or chat to our call centre. So hang on a minute. This closed previously at £199. Today, do you know what we've done, Claire? Gosh, yes. You buy yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, you're basically, basically getting both for that yeah. same price point. Fantastic. For what you should have yeah. been paying for that rice bead shape. <laughs> well it's not you buy one is it it's not that because that's half price <laughs> I, I i i kind of started the sentence and then backpedaled yeah you're basically getting both for the price that one should actually be down to the final four good luck everybody please i you know if you've got your heart set on owning it don't leave it in your baskets they are super limited we're down to the final four opportunities and if you are told that you've been unsuccessful, you can always wish list it. Down to the final two, amazing. Just before we dip into um, a break, um, okay, Ross has said, I have found one other, and this is it then. Oh, look at the tones. Oh, isn't that that's, beautiful? That Should is, I put them all together? Yeah, that's lovely. Oh. Now, the biggest carrot weight of honey that we've got, I'm just going to show you them wow, all together. together. So this is the egg yolk yellow. That's the one you've just seen. And now we're on to this one. It's all down to personal preference, which color you like. Oh, they're all That's beautiful, amazing. aren't they? This is the biggest carrot weight though. So if you're looking for bang for buck in one of the world's rarest, most beautiful colors and gemstones, never been stockpiled before. Uh, Mason K, or, or rather, uh, Roland Schlussel actually said that he believes that the title moving forward may well be taken by the lavenders or the reds or the honey tones. There are only eight opportunities. If you want to get the biggest carrot weight for your money, then this is the strand for you to get involved. It's not vastly different from the previous. Um, it's, uh, again, still definitely described as your beautiful type A Burmese jadeite round um, with those wonderful soft, it's quite a, it's like a creamy honey color, mm. I think, with this yes, one. Yeah. Really Power beautiful. Honey, like a what? Yeah, yeah. You know when you know when it um, honey starts to crystallise, you know? Yeah, and it kind of gets a little crunchy and delicious. Mm. It's like that, isn't it? It's like that crystallising honey colour. It's the only other strand of yellow jadeite that we have within the entire business. And today it's £129. The final seven opportunities, a full 38 centimetre strand. My goodness me, I mean, imagine this I would definitely use alongside the um, Aquapraise. Yeah, yeah, again, that, maybe, the, um, maybe the tumbles you could use with mm. that one. Yeah, all the rounds though as well. Because this is the sands, isn't it? Yes. This is yeah. your toe in the sands. Yeah. Just toe singing. What an absolutely <laughs> unique set of gemstones, isn't it, then? <laughs> 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 Not just one together. Oh, dear me. <laughs> just treat the one toe. Oh, no. 
<laughs> All the others, no, they're not no. getting that. Not getting that special Stand treatment. Amazing, but it does, doesn't it? It conjures up those amazing images. Uh, type A grade, well done, everybody. <laughs> Sorry for the moment of madness. Just a single toe. Um, <laughs> literally crying now. Um, stay where you are. We have got the most amazing masterclass coming up with our gorgeous Claire. Take a little look at the website because these kits are already going to be um, uploaded for pre-order. The carvings are amazing, mm. absolutely amazing. All about the under the sea vibe. Yes. Love it. Yeah. You've got your little turtles and your beautiful little seahorses in three different kits. So do take a little look. Join uh, Claire and I after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Due to the Crown of Light's unique dome-shaped crown, light is reflected back out at several angles at once, providing superior fire and sparkle as well as having a unique design. Here at Gemporia, we've taken this one step further and applied this diamond-specific cut to coloured gemstones, unlocking the Crown of Light's unique properties in a myriad of other beautiful gemstones. The Crown of Light by Gemporia. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back. I've just realised, Claire, you and I got the black memo again. Oh, I know, yes. We're always in black, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. You wear colour more than me. Yeah, I try to. 
I do try to. I wear a lot of um, floral midi dresses, and then I read somewhere that they're going to get rid of them. Why? I don't know. I feel like they've taken over. But I love a floral. Who's going to get rid of I them? I don't know. I don't know. Whoever's like in charge of making clothes. What, phasing out the midi dress? I think so, yeah. I love them. Was it, was it that Anna Winter? <laughs> Was it her? Scary one. Yeah, listen, I think Anna. Yeah. Leave the midi dresses, we like them. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Can't beat them. Oh, Mark Claire. These kids are so beautiful. I can't help but have do 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 in my head as well. <laughs> Under the sea. Oh, right, yes. There you go. Get yeah, me. yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Claire. It's, just, it's, it's lovely that, um, yeah, to have, to have the that's carvings to have that it is the um has the he got creatures. a little eye have you given yeah Seamus i've given an him eye? i have given him a little eye i mean it's he has got an eye he has got an eye so he, he's got an he's, oh. got an he's got another one <laughs> look at him <laughs> his actual eye is probably is down a bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> and a little mustache <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are so cute, aren't they? They are lovely. Horses? Yeah, really lovely. So I've tried to do a bit of both where you could just have them because they've got the drill hole, whether you use them with your beading thread or your wire, and you can just keep them. I mean, they'd be great on cord as well, wouldn't they? Um, but I always say with this, you know, if I turned up today with and just put the beading thread through there and then left it at that, which you absolutely, if you were making jewellery and maybe if you're going to sell well, as well... This, this would be a great way um, to do it. And I think it would work beautifully like that. Yeah. But it's obviously trying to show you other ways as well. So you can use that drill hole and do it if you, you know, wire work is your thing. You can use your wire work. Oh, these are so beautiful. And they're, they're three nice, aren't they? So lovely. And it's really nice to see as well, because we tend to be quite spoilt in your master carvings of jadeite, don't we? Yes. And yeah. we have got the seahorse, and you get both of them, by the way, the seahorse and the turtle. Yes. The turtle's really cute as yeah, well. Yeah, he is. Oh, bless them. They are all available on pre-order. So we've got them in, in your jade, so in Taipei jade. But we've also got these kits in other gemstones. So you're looking at right now amethyst and labradorite. So your turtle's labradorite. Yes. And then the little seahorse is amethyst. Yes. Um, and then on the other kit, you've got amazonite. And lapis lazuli, mm. a little lapis lazuli seahorse. Gorgeous, yeah. How they are, they are lovely. Yeah. And sterling silver components. Uh, oh, yes! Also available on pre order, you have a little turtle pendant, which, ah, oh, how cool is this? It's like a little kale, uh, caged pendant. Let me hold him up. There you go, like a locket, oh, if you like. There he is. And if I turn it that way, can you see? It's a hinged locket. And then just here, you've got your labradorite, and that's what you pop inside. Oh, gorgeous. You pop it inside, like this. It's coming up, and it's available on pre-order right now. Oh, perfect. Um, all three kits are flying. We've got double-figure quantity. Sorry, double figures of each one have gone already. I'm not surprised by that. And I can tell you, we're going to really look after you on this. Now, we're going to start with the Type A Jade. Um, type A Jade, yeah. Type A Jade. Um, here we go. <laughs> here we go. You've got a strand of Type A Jade in your... Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Lovely, isn't it? yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. These are six millimetres in this size. Um, I might be wrong, but I think this is the first time we've ever done a Jadeite... Seahorse. Look at him. Look at him. They are so sweet, aren't they, yeah, seahorses? They like, are. I will never yeah. forget. They had a name. It was something like, I don't know, Frank. Something like that. Frank the seahorse. And he couldn't find a mate, bless him. And everybody was Aww. properly rooting for Frank because he Aww. needed to have babies. I'm glad and, that, that, yeah. Glad and it, that, it all yeah. turned out well. Frank had his, uh, his babies. And they literally lay thousands upon thousands of eggs, don't they? Um, so there you go. <laughs> and you're getting your type A jadeite. Beautiful sea turtle there. Amazing. Are they I mean, part? Partic yeah, particularly the um, particularly the, the the turtle. I mean, he's he's a beautiful ornament as well. He's, yeah, you could have it. He is. Yeah, he's really um, 3D. 
I love I love the the upturned nose. Yes. As well, like a yeah. Turtle, perfect. Like yeah. 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 Wonderful. Still not done though because you've also got. Your sterling silver elements, so um, these and come these, alongside. Yeah, these are these are really lovely. Well, those earrings, Claire, are beautiful. And that's yeah, and there's using. nothing to stop you. So if I bring those over, they've got. I've used the labradorite in those, but you could absolutely do the same, couldn't you, with all of these? Totally, absolutely. Let me move them out of the way for a second. Um, yeah, just popping one onto the gemstone. How many have I got of the type A jade? I only ask because it is usually more limited. Um, 50 of these, the most limited of the three. But for Jade, that is, you know, quite an exciting quantity. Type A Jadeite. Look at the details. You've even got his nice it's little... Oh, I like little, that. His little turtle face. Yeah. Can you see it? Um. Oh. Are you ready? It's my, my turtle face is very similar to my sloth face, to be honest. <laughs> um, oh... How, and I'm sure, it's, I'm sure absolutely as with most animals, like the uh, um, elephants that we spoke about, you know, dragons, mm. deers, uh, peacocks, uh, they've all got meanings, haven't they, in Chinese history? Well, not just Chinese history, and um, throughout antiquity. I'm sure turtles and seahorses will alike. You get sterling silver components, you get the six millimeter strands, you get those two amazing master carvings, your turtle and the seahorse. Very, I mean, they're amazing creatures. That the choice of the, of of species, I think, is genius. Yes, it's a lovely collection of them, isn't it? Oh, 50 of these, and already we've got collectors getting involved. Absolutely amazing. And do you know that? I mean, it, it, the mate, it's the the. The focal bits are, aren't they? The, the seahorse and the turtle, but that strand is beautiful. Is, it is gorgeous. So lovely. Well, Clay, you and I know what this kit's going to, don't we? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Would you agree? In all honesty, that's maybe the price of your your strand, and you're getting everything else for free. Yeah, yeah. Or it's the price of your seahorse, and you're getting everything else for free. Yeah. Or it's the price of your turtle, and you're getting everything else for free. And that's here at Jewelry Maker. That's the thing. How much would these carvings be outside of our four walls? These are still type A grade, hand carved, using those ancient techniques those those for hundreds of years they've literally abrased this gemstone polished it literally on wet bamboo it's not something that okay just pop a little boulder into say a, a computer system and they'll map it out they'll carve it themselves this is all literally done by hand so i'm going to say this i think you're purchasing either one of these either the strand or your master carvings and you're getting everything mm. else for free. Yeah. And I mean, you look at, I mean, the, the translucency on, on quite a lot of those rounds, you know, it, they are, I would I'd be, I'd probably be taking those out and, and maybe yes. just using them individually because they are exquisite. Okay, right now, even if we broke it down, and all right, it might be a bit excessive on your silver, but that's, even if you said £50 for that strand, £50 for your seahorse, £50 for your yeah. turtle, and I know you pay probably less for the silver, but you get the, you know, you get the general gist. That's absolutely mm -hmm. amazing for yeah. type A jadeite. Yeah. Genuine jadeite. £199 or £66.33 on your split payment. It's not your price point, though. We had 50. Susan, who's got two. Susan in Aberdeenshire, Alison, Valerie, Lincolnshire, Cheryl, Gloucestershire, Joanne, Susan, Victoria. Much like we said about the, the elephants earlier on, people tend to collect turtles as well, don't they? We know that these are a species that we need to nurture and protect. And he's a very tactile piece as well, isn't he? Like, yeah, he's weighty. Yeah, yeah. He's an older sea turtle, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Just amazing. It's not your price. Are you ready, though? I can't choose my favourite. I do like the turtle's little, little upturned, upturned nose and his yeah. little face. Look. <laughs> Look at him. Got a little grumpy expression, isn't he? <laughs> Whereas the seahorse... It's like he's just been woken up. Yeah. Properly happy. 
We're going even lower. Good luck, everybody. Plus, you get the uh, six mil rounds. Plus, you get your beautiful sterling silver. I know these are going to sell out in a heartbeat. Do you know why? Claire and I have been privy to this uh, this price point for a while, and it is absolutely amazing. Now, can you see why we said you're buying your six mil strand and you're getting everything else yeah. for free, or you're buying the seahorse or the turtle and you're getting everything else for free? This is one of Mother Nature's rarest and most beautiful treasures. You've got that same gemmy translucency that we haven't really discussed enough um, over the last few jade auctions that I've brought you, but you know that we bring you that level of quality. Hand carved hand carved in that abrasive technique and you're getting it for a double figure price tag so hang on a minute that's 25 pound each now same mentality 25 pound for your sterling silver 25 pounds for your um for the type a turtle 25 pounds for your type a seahorse 25 pounds for your six mil strand it's an absolutely mm. unbelievable deal valerie allison susan julie susan pauline lincolnshire samantha Anne, frida cheryl new customer people are multi-buying on this as well crazy that you can get this home for 33 pounds on your 0 percent interest split payment how many times have you heard um mr troth himself actually say shouldn't be able to source this gemstone at money that you can get out of a cash machine 29 of you have confirmed well done that is half the stock it's 25 pound each yeah that's amazing when you look at it that way Still got 21 chances, yeah, but I still see two full rows of names. Can we? we? If we can give an extra saving, then we will. So if you see your name on this side, Christine, Nina, Maker, Cheryl, Gloucestershire, Joanne, Susan in Essex, Victoria in Kent. You disappear off the bottom of the screen, by the way. That's the people that haven't yet confirmed, and I, can't, I can only see a tiny percentage of you. We're only doing this because, well, Ross said, if I, can get, if I can offer a saving, then that's exactly what we'll do. How about each component? How about £20 per component? I mean, where on earth would you get... A type A jadeite carved Carving, gemstone yeah. for yeah you know, for for twenty quid. Yeah, yeah. When you say it out loud, Ross. Yeah. Where else will you get a type A jadeite carving for twenty pounds? This isn't a soapstone, which is much more abundant and also easier to carve. It's jadeite, and it's the first time we've had both of these carvings, I believe. Anyway. I love the seahorse. I think the seahorse is super cute. Look at the detailing, that wonderful coiled tail. His lovely little belly, his beautiful fin, those pucker up lips. Yeah, I, I agree. I never thought I would actually be describing a seahorse in such. Low, look at him. Uh, <laughs> what about me? What about me <laughs> down here? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> He does look a bit Victor Meldrew, doesn't he? <laughs> How amazing. £79 only. They are both drilled as well. So all you need to do technically is, as you said earlier on, Claire, you could just literally put, pop them directly onto uh, um, some bean yeah, thread or some yeah, cord or yeah. macrame. Yeah. Um, so many techniques. 19 of these remain. And get hold of it today for, what, £26.33. There were only 50. Let's, you know, that's... Sorry, I shouldn't say there were only 50. It's type A jade. I, we should never expect big quantities mm. of this gemstone. Um, that's me correcting myself. So um, well done. Um, the other two kits are available on pre-order. Um, so there's 17 left of the type A jade. I, I'll leave the graphics on your screens. Um, the other two kits are coming your way. Any questions that you have for lovely Claire about her beautiful jewellery, do feel free to text in and cue me when you want to do these kits. Okay. Uh, yeah brilliant thank you okay so these are really nice for um maybe if you haven't done very much wire work before because you've essentially got um you can they're all drills so you can just use the drill hole if you want to for uh your wire or you, on your beading thread but if you wanted to add that that detail on the outside these are a lovely way and a good intro to do some wire work if you want to because you're essentially just following the line um uh, of the carvings anyway so i'll um Start with the, I think a, a natural thing would be maybe go for the simpler one, which is the, um, the turtle one. So you can see, you can see there. So I've sort of 
a, a cross between so you're doing sort of almost like a heart and then the shell um, and a little bit of detail there so we'll start with that one and then we'll go on to the more complicated um the seahorse so what what you're going to do i've used with mine i have used um sterling silver um with the ones that i've done but the, you know you absolutely can work with your um you can work with your plated wire if, if you wanted to. On, I think on the, the jade out deserves. I silver. think so. And if you want to certainly um, ball the ends, then then that would have to be your your sterling silver. So you can see. So I've got um, I've got here. Uh, you can either work with your uh, one mil or 0 0.8. So I've probably got about maybe 20 centimeters there. So what we're going to do? We're going to form almost like a heart shape. So I'm going to start here in the middle. I'm going to start and just work my way around. So I'm just going to bring that in now so I can push now because I've uh, like when we discussed on the larger scale with the, the bangles, you know, I've, by just adding that little angle here, I've worked hardened there. So when I push, that's going to stay the same. But these pieces of the wire are going to give first. So I'm going to go round and hold it in there. So I want to have we're remembering that we've got. You know, this is going to be a, a, a 3D piece. So I don't want too much of this up here. So I'm just going to hold that and grip so I'm going to go a little bit sharper a sharper angle and I'm just going to just add in a little bit of a, a sort of a kick up like that okay so I'm going to pop that in see where we're looking here so if I just bring that one over the top I'm then going to start and just follow the curve around so that when I take that off I can start to see where the curve of the shell has gone. So I'm gonna go about here. Let's keep that so it's quite central. And let's bring this off. Okay, so now if you've got, um, if, you, uh, if you've got a ring mandrel or a pen, something like that, let's get that next curve in. So I'm gonna bring this round. And I'll bring this next one here. I'm gonna try and pop it back on, see how it's looking. Okay, and this one, so I can know, I can bring that down, push that in a little bit, and it's going to come out the way. And I'm going to do the same on this side. So, again, over the top so that I can access both of those. And now I want to get it so it's nice and even. So I'm just pulling those, so it's going to go, it's reducing this. I can push this in a little bit. We're going to try and keep it so that we've got simple wire works so we want to keep it as even as, as symmetrical as we can so you're looking for these these the shapes that you're creating with these pieces of wire to look very similar so i'm just going to bring this up so it's a case of like shortening lengthening the wire and you can see i'm not using that many tools so that it, the, sort of like the the less angles i can have in here the better so that if i do need to open it up i haven't put any sharp angles in there either so we've got something like that. I'm just going to bring that back in. And now I'm going to snip that off. So what I've done with the sterling silver one, uh, I'd snipped a little bit longer. It leaves sort of probably about um, half a centimetre or so if you want to ball the ends because that's going to, it's going to sort of shrink up and then you'd have your, um, the two uh, balls of silver here. But I'm just going to snip off there and snip off there and then we can bring these in. So I'm going to hold here, swap my pliers over now, so I've got my round nose. So you're creating that heart shape. So it's just it's just important to remember that you've got two components. So you've got your your obviously your wire work element, but then it needs to sit and sit so that it's ah, nicely on, on the top there. So obviously what we need to do now is I'm going to now prep the. Uh, I'm going to go down a gauge in, in my wire. And I'm just going to anchor this on. Shall I anchor this on while um, you you've got anything? Have you? Um, it's a, I, I can do this. Is that all right? Just for I while what, I get the next. Let's do the Labradorite one because it uh, does seem to be proving very popular on pre-orders. Yeah. It's not too dissimilar to the kits that we uh, that we had just a few. Well, in fact, it's not. It's just different gemstones. You've got the two sterling silver filigree uh, um, details here, which are really beautiful. And I know they've kind of been overlooked somewhat, haven't they? In this. 
um, in my description. So you're getting the two of those. You've got two of your beautiful starfish, which are double-sided as well, spacer beads. Then you've got some amazing amethyst in your six mil strand. Um, and you've got your beautiful labradorite as well. So how lovely are those? And last, but by no means least, you have your beautiful master carvings in this. Ah, he's beautiful. Look at his little belly as well. Look at the labradorescence on the belly. Sorry, Mr. Turtle. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. So you've got your labradorite turtle, which is not coming across in there, but you have got labradorescence that should go across his lovely shell. Again, all hand carved. And you have your amethyst seahorse as well. Look at him. Look. Beautiful, isn't he? So beautiful. Look at that strand of labradorite though, Al. I know, full of beautiful labradorescence. It could work, just work. This kit really yeah. works, doesn't it? I think labradorite and amethyst go so perfectly together as well. Um, so same carvings, and that's across all of the kits, by the way, um, but just different gemstones. So if you want to get involved, you want to make be making with these amazing masterclass kits, but maybe don't want... Um, I mean, that was an incredible price for Taipei Jade, let's be honest, but you want it at... Maybe a slightly more affordable price tag. Um, you still want it to be beautiful, genuine gemstones, then here's your chance. Because amethyst and labradorite, labradorite sorry. It's incredible quality. You've got full Aurora Borealis Schiller in those. Six millimeter rounds. You could just alternate them together, couldn't you? You might keep mm. the seahorse and the turtle as little ornaments. I, yeah, they do. They work very nicely if you alternate. If you, I've, I've mixed a couple of mine. Just put, taken a couple of the amethysts off and, and pop them, uh, pop them in. You can see. Oh yes, on the one on the end. Yeah, just the two there at the front. You can see. Oh. You can see how just sort of mixing, mixing a few. Thirty-nine really pounds well. and ninety-nine pence. I'm shocked by the price of this kit. That's amazing. They still are carved by hand. You know, just because these aren't jadeite, don't think that they're, you know, uh, um, any easier, I guess, um, to actually carve. You've still got to literally uh, chip away at the gemstone, file and carve the gemstone. Um, it still needs to, it's got that artistic element to it. Yes, yes, it has, yeah. It's lovely detail on that. Beautiful. How many did we have of these kits? 60 of this kit, Alison, Alison, Anne. Jenny, Chantal, uh, Susan, Janice, Victoria, Nina, Nita, hello to you, Pauline, Joanne, Gloucestershire, London, new buyers getting involved, Dorothy in Worcestershire. Oh, okay. That's true, you're actually getting the five components. You were thinking £10 per component, okay. But actually you get the two strands, you get amethyst, you get labradorite. Yeah. You get your lovely little seahorse. And you get your lovely turtle. Here he is. Equally, he's not a very happy chappy, is he? It's a beautiful colour combination. Your cashmere greys, absolutely. And then alongside that wonderful soft amethyst colour. I mean, the flashes of, of blue that you're getting in that, the, the, you know, that strand of Labradorite, incredible. We are going lower, Claire, but only because... Well, I don't even know why. Ross, 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 oh yeah, I do. Ross thought it was uh, the same quantity of components as the previous kit, but it wasn't. There's actually two strands in this one. 29.99, how That's amazing. Brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Think back to sort of your um, uh, mineral man shows. Mm. We used to bring you beautiful carvings. First yeah. time really we started introducing carvings to jewelry maker. You know, this little turtle would have probably cost 29.99 and, on his own. And I, and, I mean, I know that this is going back, but both of those strands I feel warrant tassels on the end. That's a definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, you're talking about what six pounds? Six pounds for the turtle, gosh, yeah, six pounds for your little seahorse. Well, he's not so little, is he? Six pounds for your amethyst and your labradorite, and then all that sterling silver as well. Yeah, I, I'm just, I mean, it, if you set completely separated them out and you did, I don't know, stretchy bracelets with your. Mm -hmm. With your four, which you could make four of. Bit, yeah. Goodness me, I'm just thinking back to those mineral man shows. And yeah, been about yeah. That each, wouldn't yeah. I? Definitely, 
Here you are, getting them all for twenty nine ninety nine. Amazing. Back to you, Claire. Make okay. Sure check out. There's only twenty. Uh, there was only sixty of that kit at the beginning of that um, so opportunity. What I've done, I've just anchored on um, some of my 0 0.4, and I've gone onto this side of the heart, and I have left a little tail because sometimes what will happen is when we start, we're going to start weaving up in this direction. But sometimes what will happen is you might find that you have a bit of a gap and we need to do a little bit of weaving in the other direction. So if you leave yourself, um, you know, a couple of inches there on that tail, you've got the option of uh, without having to add in extra wire. So again, I'm going to pop that on, check that it's, uh, I need a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to just hold it, hold it open a bit. And then I'm going to start and I'm just going to do a figure of eight, only a couple, just a, a couple in between this section. So I'm going to go round once and then up through here so again this is a nice intro way of you've got a bit of structural wire and then it's a only a little bit of weaving um, but then you can you're following the shape around so this is a nice perhaps um, maybe beginner project so again so i'm going to come around and i'm holding once i've done a few of these um, wraps it will support itself but i want to make sure that, that heart the, the gap in between doesn't close up too much so that it does sit on the on the shell so let's bring that round i'm just going to do a few more so i like we say figure of eight because if we looked at the cross section it would have that it would look like that figure of eight or an hourglass so i've probably done uh, three to four sort of going back and forth. So let's see how this is gonna look now. So it's sort of holding its own shape and that's gonna go on there. So I am gonna do maybe a couple on this side. So I'm just gonna bring this through and I'm gonna utilize that little tail that I've left. So I'm just going back here and it's obviously easier to access because I've got the open ends there. And I'm gonna do one more there and make sure I've got a double wrap. We'll snip that off. If you've got some spacer beads, so I just use the spacer bead there and you can just add the spacer bead on and then snip that off. So you've now got that section. So that's gonna sit going across here and we can probably leave it at that now. So if you wanted to add on uh, anything else before you snip it off, but we've now got this bit. With mine, what I did do is, um, because it was a sterling silver, I'd given it a little hammer and you can see, so I've balled the ends and add the, uh, the spacer. So now what we want to do is we're gonna add in, so I'm gonna take a little bit more, depending on how you've, um, what you're gonna thread it onto. So I'm gonna take this next one. So again, this is a, remember this is a 0.8. So I'm gonna bring this, bring this up and then we're gonna sort of just create a little bit there. I'm gonna cut that off here. I'll pop that on top. And once you've hammered that section, I'm just gonna bring this up because we're then gonna curve that and make sure that it's sitting around the carving and we can shape it as well. And then we bring that round and that has then connected oh, it's on like here. like his little backpack. He has, yeah, he's going on an adventure. So I'll bring that in, <laughs> snip that down. Sorry, why have I got the Hobbit in my head now? <laughs> going on an adventure. <laughs> but that little turtle is doing that. He is, isn't he? <laughs> so then you can oh. see, so he's there, and then you can add in whether, uh, you know, your rosary link and, you, you know, coming off. If you wanted to add more detail onto it, but you have got that lovely, that lovely carving in the same way. Which, ones, which one are you working with now? Labradite? So that one, no, that one is the, um, is this this kit here? Oh, the Amazonite. Yeah, the Amazonite oh, one. Amazing. The, yeah. Well, we're yeah. just going to do that now. So he's beautiful. He's lovely, isn't he? Really beautiful, whichever way you look at him. Now, natural Amazonite, always a firm favourite and very similar, actually, in terms of its colour saturation to many of your jadeites. Um, there he is. Boop. Um, then you've got natural Amazonite in your six mil rounds, teamed alongside some beautiful lapis lazuli. This is flying on pre-orders, by the way. Again, you've got your filigree uh, sterling silver details and your starfish, and you get a lapis lazuli seahorse. Look at him, all totally and utterly natural. 
from the original location of source. This, uh, the seahorse is actually Sari Sang Lapis Lazuli. How amazing. Um, this is the final kit. They've all been uh, less than 100 in terms of quantity, but when you've got master carving, I guess we should expect that. They all have lovely lips, don't they? Yes. Do seahorses yeah. have, have, have pouty lips? Pouty lips. I guess so. Never looked at a seahorse's lips before. No. It's sort of their nose, isn't it? That's yeah, they nice. kind of turn. They kind yeah. of turn up. Um, amazing lapis lazuli plus your amazonite. The two carvings, the two strands, and the sterling silver. The most limited of the kits. If you miss out on this, though, there might be a couple left of the previous ones. And they're all beautiful. It's actually really hard for me to choose a favourite. I love them all. Well, they're all beautifully done, aren't they? And they're all and the colours are, and the I think the gemstones work very, very well colour-wise with that with that theme. Look at his face as he comes round now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the little turtle. Look at his face when he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. That, that is what they look like, isn't it? They How clever do. and skilled look, is that? Look at him. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> They're so cute, aren't they? Twenty nine ninety nine, Claire. That is brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. Love it. And I'll be honest, I didn't research the seahorse facts or turtle facts, which I would normally. That'd be interesting to do, wouldn't it? Now, yeah. I'm going to research my seahorses. Yeah. Just incredible, yeah, he's aren't lovely. they? It's the only species on the planet, isn't it, that gives that where the male gives birth. Just amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And fascinating to watch. And they don't just give birth to one, do they? Obviously, they have thousands. Yeah, it's loads. Yeah, but, for thousands yeah. of them. I don't know. I am no David Attenborough. I am no expert on seahorses, but they're intriguing, aren't they? Um, there's how many left? Less than 20 of these remaining. Hello to you, Denise, Deborah, Roz, Rod, Geraldine, Pauline, Samantha, Jane, Alison, Donna, Rita. Good luck to those of you that still have it in your baskets. There are You literally disappear off the bottom of the screen, so I can't see everybody's names. Um, but again, well done to those of you that have already checked out. You could literally do this as, uh, you know, as simply or... Um, or you know, we use it as a, as a, as a, as a, as a base, as isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, because you've got the drill hole. So you can see, so to do, if you wanted to do like slightly, um, like, like Al says, a slightly more um, intricate way, you're just going to follow. And so in the same way I created that, that heart shape, you're going to use your pliers and just use your wire to go around this one. So I've gone around the outside and then you come up and it doubles up in the, in the tail section. But you can see everything is very, very clear here and you can, you can follow it all the way around. Mm. And then if I show you, so you just anchor on, onto the back. So I've just got one very, very thin piece of the silver here and then going through. That's why I've, I have utilised that, the drill hole here. But before you, you finish off anything, if you wanted to add this detail, that's where... And I've, and I've shown you how to do that wire work many, many times. That's where that comes in and you just add it to how, you know, however much you want to do. Keep long tails so that you can then, when it's on the, um, on the outline, you can then go and you just add in. So very, very small details here. And if you want to do that, you're just hand coiling using your pliers every so often. And then just, just you can create sort of like freehand like that. So you do something like that. So the same principles, you're just following the outline of the seahorse. Ah, oh, it almost, it almost uses brilliant, the carving it? as a mandrel. Yes, yeah. Well, it's, it's, like a, it's like a drawing, isn't it, that you're following around. Yeah, you're just tracing the shape. Claire, yeah. as always, absolutely oh, incredible jewellery, isn't it? Lovely. As always, um, these kits will sell out for sure. There's loads of you there. This one's actually not far off selling out. I'm not surprised at £29.99. I've got one more opportunity. Um, oh, well, we'll see. Um, that we're going to squeeze in. Might, might be able to squeeze a few more. Um, that, that, that all things being considered, though, I do think this is going to sell out super fast. Because earlier on this morning, we were talking about elephants and we were saying that they tend to be a species that most people love. I think, uh, um, I think turtles are the same, certainly on the back of sort of Nemo, for example. Yeah. You know, um, that's one of my favourite scenes in Nemo. I can't believe that. 20 years old. I, I first saw Finding Nemo when I was in Australia visiting my sister, she lived in Australia. I didn't know it was that long. 20 years. Oh. When was it? 2003. Oh, Dan. Five. Stop it, Dan. <laughs> Stop it. I was on, I was in, I know, literally in Australia. So they are a species that I think we immediately love. We know they're obviously protected at the moment. Um, 
But what an amazing design. You've actually got engineering in this piece. Mm. I mean, Claire, you are a silversmith, an amazing artist. You know, to create that hinged locket like it's so detail. discreet though, isn't it? I've just yeah. seen how because I was thinking, well, how does it close? How does it lock in place? That is very clever. It kind of literally opens and closes, yeah. doesn't it? Like a book. Yeah. Inside you have a captured labradorite cabochon, which is you know, it's not a small piece. You can see the uh, labradorite is 10 by 8 millimetres and it's full of labradorescence. So wait, can I just double check, Ross? Um, you get the pendant and the cabochon. Wow. So all I need to do with that is add a chain. And by the way, giving you that beautiful parve diamond look, that's genuine zircon not cubic zirconia not the same thing that's man-made zircon is actually the oldest gemstone on our planet and brings you more refraction more scintillation more fire so you've got beautiful melee size zircon across sort of the um i don't know what you would describe it crest of his uh, of his turtle shell he's beautiful isn't he mm. absolutely beautiful he's got a sweet face as well hasn't he look at his little eyes ah oh. Great detail. Turtles can live to be. Share some turtle facts with us, Roscoe. Have you got any there? I know they can live to hundreds of years of age, yeah. can't they? Is it something like 200? I like seeing that. You know, they are they, like they, little dinosaurs. They hatch, don't they? And then they go down. They have to run the gauntlet. Yeah. Run the gauntlet to the sea, to their yeah. mummies and daddies. Yeah. They are literally like dinosaurs. Here we go. Green sea turtles are what they eat. Green sea turtles are unique among sea turtles in that they, ha they are primarily herbivores, eating mostly seagrass and algae. This diet is what gives their uh, cartilage and fat a greenish colour. Ah, not their shell. How amazing. How beautiful. Aww. Lay their eggs in, an, in a nest. They dig in the sand with their uh, rear flippers. The group of eggs they call a clutch. Look at them. Look at the little baby turtles. Go, 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 go. Quick. Bless them. Gosh, they lay a lot of eggs. I didn't know they that do. one, eh? Sand temperature is very important. The sex of sea turtles, like many other turtles, is determined by the temperature in the nest. Cooler incubation temperatures produce male hatchlings and warmer incubation temperatures produce female. Temperatures that fluctuate between the two extremes will produce a mixture of males and females. Amazing. Um, message. Hello to you, Jane, saying, The turtle has great significance in South Pacific Islands. It is said to bring wisdom and patience to the wearer. Ooh. How amazing. Thank you for that, Jane. Um, okay, look, we've only got... How many do you say we had of these then, Roscoe? We've got 100 available opportunities. I think, again, it's one of those species that we naturally... You know, they're endearing, aren't they? They're amazing. Um, everybody loves sea turtles. Yeah. You know, if you go to these beautiful destinations like the Maldives, I think one of the aspirations is to see the sea turtles, isn't it? Um, we're under £20 for all that amazing craftsmanship and, of course, the beautiful gemstone full of labradorescence. That's brilliant, isn't it? Because you could, I mean, there's nothing to stop. You could use them separately as well. I'm thinking, you know, sometimes you get lovely pieces of um, sea glass, don't you? Ah, uh, that might or be nice. a pearl. Yeah, yeah. And so maybe um, you, you could pop a pearl in there if you wanted there. to. Yeah. Well, it could be interchangeable, couldn't it? One well, yeah, day it you might be with that. you might be feeling the labradorite. Let me just show you oh, look. how it works. It literally opens and closes like a like like a book. And perfectly situated, you have your labradorite within. Um, they're closing it over. Oops, I did that the wrong way around, didn't I? So pop your labradorite in, close the locket over that way. It's the last auction of the day, and then you literally just close that mechanism just there. Okay, let's do, let's do a finale deal, Claire. Ah, oh, it's only going to be a little saving because this is amazing, um, an amazing piece of jewellery, again. Just gift that as is, couldn't mm. you? Maybe you know somebody that's going on holiday. Maybe one of their dreams and goals is to swim with the sea turtles. Oh, yes. Then what a lovely gift this would actually be for you. Already at 19.99, a big investment in sterling silver plus the engineering behind it as well. Wiltshire, Jamati, Lorna, Susan. Thank you, by the way, for that, uh, that, that, that slice of wisdom. There we go. Mm. So to bring the wearer some wisdom and patience, I think uh, I could certainly do with a bit of that from time mm. to time. 
In 20 seconds, we're taking it even lower. We had 100. Susan in Norfolk has got four. Lorna, you've got two. Well done, Vivian. You've got three as well. Richard, Lynn, James, Mary, Anna. Um, well done. Denise, Frida, and Susan. West Midlands, Pauline, Fiona, Patricia. They're just so sweet. So, so, so sweet. Going even lower. Oh, it's a big amount of sterling silver. Have you ever done this? Do you like, see, this is something that Willow does it now. <laughs> no, it's awkward turtle. Apparently, you know, you know, like if you're in one of those scenarios, it's a bit awkward. Oh. A little bit awkward, like say, for example, you're out with a couple of friends and you know, or, or a couple, and they, they're like having a little kiss oh, and no. a smooch and a cuddle, or they're like that. Have you ever heard that? Is it just, is it no, just a Stephen's household thing? No, I remember that now thing? then. It's a yeah. Stephen's household thing. $17.99 only to get a hold of this. Just shy of three grams of sterling silver. The, uh, what struck me then when I actually opened this was just how perfectly the Labradorite fitted within. It did, within. didn't it? Yeah. Perfectly. Really yeah. Top yeah. quality Labradorite as well. Oh, and the zircon on the top. How amazing. Again, you might know somebody that wants this as their goal. We all have dreams, don't we? Dreams yeah. and bucket list things that we yeah. want to do. What's on your bucket list? Oh, I'd like to travel more, definitely. Yeah, see more the travel more of the world. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like that. Bucket list. I reckon turtles has got to be up there yeah. on my bucket list, too. Yeah. Northern Lights is another one. Oh, yes, that's a good one. I'd like to see the Northern yeah. Lights. Which is the Labradorite, isn't it? That's the, that's the look of that. What was that? There was Northern Lights up north. Was oh. there? Oh, amazing. Um, also, what looked like the Northern Lights, um, somebody took a photograph, actually. Where was it? I think it was in Wales, back in Wales. You oh. could literally see the colours. It wasn't Northern Lights. It was just a really pretty night. You know, it's, yeah, yeah, lampposts. <laughs> no, not quite the same. Really amazing. Um, well done, everybody. Lots of you still with it in your basket. Oh, he or she, whichever she is, whichever the hatchlings is. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It does look a little bit hatchling like. Yeah. Claire, I've, I've loved today. It's been such yeah. fun. We've had gorgeous kits. It's we've been had a lovely turtles. Monday morning. We've had seahorses. Sea horses. Um, and we've had elephants. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah, very lovely. Very cute, yeah. very cute species. Um, yeah. So Hannah's joining me tomorrow, and I know oh, we've got nice. a very, very exciting Wednesday show as well. Um, I have got my days right. Is it Jake with me tomorrow as well? Uh, so we've got the Crown of Light <gasps> launching tomorrow, which is so oh, amazing. Incredible. Be ready for this, because it's going to blow you away. Oh, lovely. Um, when are you back with us? I'm Monday? back on Thursday morning. Thursday morning? Thursday what morning. Uh, I've got Bear Copper. Ooh, oh, yeah, you said. Yeah. You mentioned about that. I'm going to go nag actually. as well again now. Yeah, bear copper. So amazing yes. demos. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everybody. We hope to see you soon. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Launch of Jake's Cut in the morning. We'll see you soon. Jewelry maker are